Everybody, <laughs> we made it to another Friday night. It is topic time number 10, and this is our one year stream celebration on YouTube. And I can see that a lot of you came early. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome everybody. It's uh, Friday, it's April 12th of 2024. It's seven days until uh, Suzanne and I celebrate our, six, our eighth year wedding anniversary. That'll be next week, next Friday. So after tonight, there won't be any streams next week. We do have a couple of important uh, meetings we have to attend. But other than that, we're going to celebrate all next week our our uh, an anniversary. Uh, but the official day is next Friday is when it falls on. So we're, we're excited, both of us. Now, if you notice behind me, <laughs> the background has changed. I am, but I'm right behind me is our big one huge window. And we have a couple of, you know, in our uh, curtains, obviously. And uh, right over here, just to the side behind me, is uh, Moon Pie. She lays right in her bed. And she's just, uh, oh, excuse me. I just had an awesome meal by my wife. So sorry if I'm burping a little bit. Sorry about that. I know it's rude. I apologize. Anyway. Um, now, we've moved this around so that we don't have any incidents. Uh, if, you know, if Suzanne, you know, sometimes doesn't know that I'm, like, putting on the camera, and that's fine because I, I get upset if I see that I exposed her in some way. And Professor Brainy Specs actually was uh, he in letting us know we should move around and, and, and not have her, you know, shown off to anyone but if she wants to wave and say hello she will or she'll come into the chat so as you know uh moon pie and deja vu's mom so if you see her in the chat say hello because she's there she's watching we got nine people watching this amazing stream oh my gosh you guys are so awesome okay uh and i appreciate you all for coming early i i do i really do um okay Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first person we have in the uh, bullpen here tonight is Jim's Landscape LLC number one, Commodore Productions. And he's also the guy that got me a gig with Repair 4, which will be coming up soon as a computer voice. Hello, Jim. Good to see you. Then we have our master moderator, the man himself, Sir Lemon Pie. And hello there. Hi there, Lemon. Good to see you. <laughs> and then, thirdly, we have our uh, cool lady that's over there in the Boston, Massachusetts area by the name of Gaming with Silver Wolf. And she says, I'm here early. LOL. <laughs> hello, Miss Silver. Good to see you. It's always good to see you. All right. Then we have our gentleman from the Netherlands, Mr. Patrick Nienoff. And he says, hey, all. Hey, Mikey. Congrats on your one-year celebration. Thank you so much, Patrick. You are awesome. Thank you. And, and Patrick is not only a good friend, but he's also one of our key uh, uh, contestants that we have that play not only Jet Nerdy on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern with John DeMarco and, of course, Professor Brainy Specs, also known as Jeff Franklin, but he also once in a while will play A Question of Trek which is coming up, I hope, again, this Sunday. I guess we'll find out, Patrick. Okay, and then Jim's Landscape says, Hey, Lemon Pie. Lemon Pie says, Hey, Jim. <laughs> you see, now, I acknowledge that you guys always say hello, and, and that's I think that's cool. Hey, Lemon. That's what Silver says. Jim! Silver. <laughs> Hi there, Silver Wolf. <laughs> Hi, Mikey. Thank you, Lemon. Oh, and look, we have our other wonderful lady in the uh, house tonight, Lady V Elements. Hello, Lady V. Hey, it's Mikey and Jay. 
Well, we'll have Jay later. He's coming in a little bit late tonight, but he will be here. He promised me. So I know he's coming. He says he's a little delayed, but he'll be here. Uh, squeezes Lemon. So when I see Jay enter the uh, chat, I'll go ahead and lay out the uh, uh, StreamYard link, and then we can have him come up. And then if anybody else wants to come up, tonight it's an open thing. We're going to be talking about just about anything if you want. So it's totally cool. Uh, Lady V says, hey, Silver Jim and, and Patrick. Yes. And Lady, our Silver Wolf says, Lady. <laughs> and Patrick is, of course, he's always polite. So he says, hi, Lady. And Lemon Pie says, hi, Patrick. And we have one of our other buddies in the chat tonight to celebrate. Thank you, Christian Carpenter. It's wonderful to see you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Yes. Wonderful to see you. Uh, Lady B. Hellman says, ha, 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 most of them shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> right? Uh, hi, Christian. It's Lemon Pie. Silver Wolf says, CC. Yes. Everybody's coming tonight. I love this. 11 people watching us tonight. This is amazing. It is a celebration. You guys are all allowed to celebrate with us tonight. Hi, Christian. Lady B. says, and hi, lady from Lemon Pie. And Matt Arnold. Hi, Matt Arnold. He's also a buddy and friend of ours from Jim's Landscape. Hello, Matt. It's good to see you. Hello, everyone, he says. And Jim says, oh, my. <laughs> That's funny. I love that. Um, lady V. Element says, hey, Matt. All right. Hey, we're still, you know what? You guys are awesome. Hey, give me a minute. I'm not going to be rude. Here, let me just mute myself for a sec. Okay, there we go. I just had to get that out of me there. All right, so Lady V Elements, hey, Matt. And Jim says, hey -o, Matt Arnold. And Lemon Pie says, that's a good idea, Mikey. Thank you. Uh, Jim's Landscape says, hi, at Lady V Elements. Okay. Matt Arnold says, hello, Lady V and Jim's Landscape. You guys are so nice to each other, and I, ple and I appreciate that. Hello, PVP. PVP will get you up shortly, okay? If you want to come up. Warm welcome. I'm just saying that right now I'm just kind of waiting for Jay to pop in. But um, I might give him, I might go ahead and let a few of you guys come before he gets in just in a few minutes. Okay. I'm just, I want to acknowledge everybody that's here, let you guys know why we're celebrating, you know. But like I said, this is open night. This is open mic uh, or open panel, open chat. We're talking about anything. But I want to tell you guys that it is a celebration. I'll let you know why. So, uh, just give us a few minutes to be patient, okay? <laughs> anyway, hi, Mikey. Thank you. Thank you, PvP. Yo, PvP. Oh, I thought you were going to give him some eggnog tonight, Lemon. <laughs> uh, hello, Matt. Yo, Lemon! <laughs> right. Hello, well, Hi, Mikey. Good to see you, Silver. And Jim says, hi, Pleasant Valley Bigger. And Lady says, hey, you Pleasant. And look, it's the gal known as Spicy Peach, one of our new uh, subscribers. Hi, Spicy. How you doing? Good to see you. And uh, PVP says, uh, hello, Jim. All right. This is great. I love this. Uh, Spicy says, hey, Mikey Chatters. Matt says, hello, Lemon. PVP says, ah, Lady V Elements, hello. And Patrick says, indeed, Mikey, although I will be otherwise engaged this weekend, most likely. No worries, Patrick. You're here tonight, and you know what? That means the world to me and Suzanne and our babies. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you being here. Uh, Sci-Fi Sift Down, of course, one of my buddies on previous streams. Hello there, Mikey Sus4. He helped us out a lot this week, so I appreciate that. And, uh, Lady curtsies. Thank you, lady. Jim says, hi, Dan. Dan says, hello there, Lemon. <laughs> Lemon says, Dan, welcome. Now, you know what? I love this. I love doing this because you guys are awesome. Uh, Dan says, hello there, Jim. 
Hey, Sif Dan, the lady says. And Dan says, hello there, lady. Okay. <laughs> We're still going. Hello there, PVP. And Dan says, Matt Arnold, hello. And PVP says, hey, Lemon, have you ever heard Led Zeppelin's Lemon song? Oh, yeah. There is a song called Lemon. <laughs> yes. I think we'll let PVP talk about that later. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, PVP, yes, I have. Oh, so start letting me know about it. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Uh, then PVP says, hi, uh, Dan. Yeah, Lady B says, good song. It is. Love's up. Yeah, PVP. Oh, yeah, Dan, right. One year, crack over the champagne and drink up. Well, <laughs> we we crack open diet Pepsi's uh, with no sugar. Yeah, we can't handle champagne anymore. Nice thought though, and I really appreciate you uh, mentioning that. But yes, and you know, if you want to go pseudo champagne, you know, pop there it goes. You know, can do, Mikey. Pleasant says hello, Dan from Matt Arnold. You guys are absolutely awesome. BBB says, I'm waiting for Gorilla to pick the Walton's review time. Oh, really? He hasn't picked it? Oh, okay. Well, you know, he's welcome to come. So is Resolute Churn, you know, whenever they're ready. Yeah, Sir Lemon says, the night is young. Ain't not joke, space surface. <laughs> okay. And uh, spicy beach drips all over the place. Woohoo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> pick up on, or uh, spill on aisle five. <laughs> we need some cleanup. <laughs> nice nice peaches over there are starting to, to drip. <laughs> Hello there, Spicy Beach from Dan. Uh, PVP said he got delayed. Oh, to a road accident ahead of him, and he had to detour 17 miles. Yikes. Yikes. We well, you know what, PVP, if he's had that problem, my, my advice to you is let him know. Maybe he shouldn't do the Walton's thing tonight. Maybe he should just hold that off until tomorrow or something. Because that's distracting, you know, if you have a, a bad accident. So I hope he's okay. I hope he's all right. Uh, let's see. All right, Spicy Peach gives a kiss to Sif, or to Dan. Spicy says, don't stop now, Mikey. Oh, no, 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 I'm still going. Uh, Sir Lemon says, I'm not convinced Spicy is new. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, Jim, I'm so sorry. Yeah, hey, Mikey Seuss War, you missed Jefferson Kelly on my private chat earlier today. So sorry, sir. Now, we were we were busy preparing for this tonight, and I was a little tired, but I did listen to, to um, I did I listen part of it. That was cool. Um, also, uh, I did have to talk to Jay, because Jay's been having some problems lately uh, of a personal nature, and he's also been, uh, you know, seeing his girl, Renee, so... Uh, you know, and he's our brother. We love him, you know, so. Yeah, Spice Speech says, I'm not new. I'm a fermented fruit. Perfect for biting into. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you know, peaches are cool. Uh, PVP says, Spicy Beach, LOL. Sounds sexy. <laughs> now, my wife is sexier than a peach, okay? She's my strawberry. I love strawberries. And there goes Spicy Beach. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, PVP said he said he was going for 5.30 Pacific. Okay, so he's going for about 8.30 our time. Okay. Well, if he still does, that's fine. And if you have to go, that's fine, too. I just don't want you guys to be too long. But if you are, that's fine, too, because, you guys, this is all about a party. Okay? We're going to go as long as we can. But, well, I think we're – well, we're going to try for three hours, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do, so – uh, let's see. That's the spirit. Stamina! Yeah, right. Uh, Sir Lemon says, good thing PvP has a thick enough shell to handle the eggnog jokes. Rim shot. <laughs> yeah. Spread that peach. That's what Jim said. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Jim. Careful. <laughs> L-A, man. L-M-A-O. But all fruits taste better with a splash of lemon. Amen, Lady B. Amen. Okay, I think we're caught up on the chat. Very cool, very cool. 
All right, so everyone, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. We got nine people watching. This is wow. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. And you guys and gals are wonderful. Uh, we we love you guys to death. Okay, PVP does say I do go on Gorillas Walton Street every Fridays. We both love the show. Yes, sir. And I wasn't questioning that. I just I just didn't know. I, I'm glad you're here to start us off because. Uh, I wasn't sure when you were running it, so I'm sorry about that. Um, Lady V is uh, uh, smiling and having a good time. Well, I'm glad you guys are having a good time. I appreciate this. Uh, we got 10 people watching now, so this is awesome. Remember, hit the like button tonight. Make sure you share this stream to everyone. It is live chat replay, so you guys will get to see yourselves talking and saying hello. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're two away, guys. Tell your friends. Tell your buddies. We're two away from 150 subscribers. Now, that may not seem like a lot, considering that our brother Jim's Landscape recently celebrated over 3,000 subscribers. And, of course, Auntie Derivative Jill uh, celebrated herself over 1,000. So, you know, that's great. And that's wonderful. And I'm just... You know, we're just a small little channel here that's trying to build, trying to grow little baby steps at a time. You know, it's just like baby steps. That's what we're doing. But we appreciate you guys being here for us. We do enjoy the fact that you guys have subscribed and you're a part of our, our channel and our community and our family. So thank you so much, guys. appreciate that. Okay. Um yeah, and he's he's just reminding me that the uh, three thousand. There we go, honey. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Jim just reminded us there he has three thousand plus stream yesterday. We went five and a half hours. We might do the same thing here, Jim. It depends on how I feel after three and a half, almost four hours. So if I go like <clears throat> like that, you don't want me to be doing that on stream. <laughs> you don't, uh, live here, you don't want me doing that on camera. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he's on at five Pacific, so I'll have to go soon. Maybe back later. I hope you will be PvP. I know, I know that your reviews for Waltons don't last too long. Usually about an hour, hour and a half, right? Sometimes two. But if you go, guys, if you guys uh, don't speed up on my account, okay? Enjoy yourselves, do your stream, have fun. But just know we're here for you, and if you guys want to come back and join us later, perfectly fine. Like I said, it's open panel, open chat. You guys are welcome. You're more than welcome. Lady B said, I came in at the end of that one, but it was fun. <laughs> I bet it was. But you're here now. You guys are early. And I was so surprised. Like, I wanted to start on time, right? I really wanted to do that. And I come into the studio, and you guys are already here. And I was like, I said to Suzanne, I said, oh, my gosh, honey. Everybody's in the chat room right now. They're all waiting for me, for us. And I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. Just, you know, you guys are amazing. You blew me away. You really did. And I was just, wow. And I didn't realize there was so much love out there from you guys. Lady V, thank you. And Silver, thank you, sweetie. Both sweeties. All, all of you girls. You're just wonderful uh, being there for me. Spicy Beach, everybody else. I mean, I love it. I love it. Okay, um, tell you what, let's see. Okay, at about 8.30 at the bottom of the hour, we'll go ahead and we'll set up the, I'll post the StreamYard uh, link and you guys can come in. Remember now, I only have the basic plan, so we can only fit up to six people in, okay? So please bear with me. We're going to be here for a while. It's a celebration. It's a party, right? So, you know, if, if you don't get in right away, be patient. You know, you can wait in the backstage if you want. I think they allow that for some people, uh, even if, when we have the six up here. So uh, if someone wants to, um, you know, after they've done their say and, and, and uh, talk and whatever they want to talk about when they're done, if they want to go and let someone pop in for them, that's totally fine. I appreciate if you do that. That's wonderful. Um, but like I said, we're going to try to get as many people in the panel tonight as we can. Uh, we're going to try to stay on, like I said, the minimum we're looking at is three hours.
but I'm willing to go longer as long as everybody is cool with that. Uh, because according to Streamer, remember, they only give us about 20 hours free time. And last I checked, we've got about at least eight hours leeway time. So I'm, I'm not going to say right now we're going to be here eight hours. I'm not going to say that. Uh, but I will say that we'll get at least three in and we'll see where we go from there. So don't worry. We're, we got plenty of time to fit people in and uh, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Yeah, you all sensed me. You did? <laughs> okay, Silver. Woo, she's got ESP. Uh, two girls in the chat, a YouTube record. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're cute, Lemon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> roll on the floor. Lady <laughs> B's laughing at Lemon, and so is Silver. <laughs> Dan says, hello there, gaming with Silver Wolf. Yeah, Dan, Silver is cool. Yeah, you need to check out her her uh, channel. She's uh, She's amazing. Yeah, Lemon says, I was a poke at the internet, not at this channel. <laughs> okay. Hey, sci-fi. And uh, Lady V says, Suze is always here, too. She is. She's at what? She's in the background right now. She's watching us, and she's uh, supervising. So, oh, but she'll come in. Sometimes she'll come in. She'll say hello and, you know, to everybody. And once we get people into the panel and, you know, stuff like that. So, Okay. Well, I got a few minutes to kill before we get down to the bottom here uh, of the hour. So let me let me explain to you why we're doing this celebration tonight. Now, approximately about a year ago, uh, right around this time, early spring, 2023, as most everybody knows, 2023 was a bad year. There were people dropping like flies. Everything was going wrong. My internet was a piece of crap, and my computer, I won't even go there. It was just bad, right? It was just terrible. Um, but that being said, uh, we had we had a plan. I had had the channel open for both of us since 2016 when we got married. And I felt, I felt that after seven years, we could go ahead and do, which it seemed like it did work. We wanted to go ahead and put out this wonderful channel on streams and on webcams. And for a while, it did seem to work. And I mean, we did manage to get in a lot of, uh, you know, different uh, shows we did. Um, I did shows about the uh, Indiana Jones franchise. I did shows about James Bond. Uh, I did shows about different topics. We discussed about everything. Last week, we had a really, really good stream. Uh, we had Professor Brainy Specs. We had Omnicast. Uh, we had PVP. We had Sif, uh, Sci Fi Sif Dan. Uh, we had Jim come in. Uh, it, you know, it was just wonderful. It was wonderful. And we talked about a lot of things. And you know what? We're respectful of each other. You know, we do care about everyone and everybody. And I think it's awesome. Now, there's Sir Lemon. Doing his awesome job. Silver Wolf's channel, everyone. Please check it out. She's a great gamer. Wonderful person to know and get to know. And uh, believe me. Yes, please check it out. Hi, Sashi. Greetings. Hello, Sashi. Welcome for coming uh, tonight. Sashi is one of our newer subscribers. Thank you so much. Okay, PVP's heading out. Be back later. Thank you, PVP. I appreciate your buddy coming in. Yeah, don't forget, we'll, we'll, we'll be here. We'll be here for a while. All right. And Lady V says, hey, Sashi. And Lemon says, welcome, Sashi. You guys are you guys are awesome. Okay. And Jim's Landscape says, bye, PvP. Okay. Yes, I, I, I just found, I just realized that too. But thank you for mentioning that. So I mentioned it to you, fellow um, YouTube creators, what Dan found out, that uh, StreamYards usually does give you a limited amount of time until in deleting, you know, streams on StreamYards, but keeps them on YouTube to maintain the amount of time left for you. Yeah, I do remember that. The other thing that I remember from Gorilla discussing with me before was that even if your time runs out, Right, if you do reach that maximum of twenty hours, if you're still on stream and you're still talking, Streamyard lets you finish, and then when you're finally done, uh, then they tell you, you know, you have to wait till you reset again. 
So for me and, and Suzanne, the reset is May 4th next month. So, but you know what? We're not going to be here for too long. Like I said, we're not going to be here all night, right? But we'll, we'll be here for a good amount of time, you know, roughly three hours, like I said, but we can go four, maybe even as five, but five would probably be the max because then it gets too late, gets tiring, and some of us want to go to bed. <laughs> so <laughs> we're all people. Come on. <laughs> you know, we got to we gotta be careful of that. We don't, we don't want to stay up too late. I'm a terrible person when it comes to staying up late. I'm a sleep apnea person. So, you know, that's me. Uh, hey, Lady B, that's all she says. And hi, Lemon Pie. And Lemon Pie says PvP just found an eggnog sale announcement. That's true. Or you would need to buy a plan from StreamYards. Yes, sir. Well, I don't have the fun. We, where you live on a limited budget, my friend. So basic plan, free plan. That's that's all we're going to go with. Hello there, Sashi. And hi, Sci-Fi Sif Dan. And Lady V says, I'm up late whether I like it or not. <laughs> okay. Well, we're so glad you're here. And look, we got 11 people watching. Oh, you guys are awesome. You guys and gals are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm overwhelmed. I am. I really am. You, you're, you're all amazing. You're all amazing. You really are. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, you're grabbing a drink, too. Yeah, I've got mine. No sugar. <laughs> drink. Be right back. Okay, Lady B. We'll see you. Come on back. Okay. All right. So we're caught up on that. Okay, so... Like I said, so about a year ago, me and Suzanne, we talked about it. We met our friend Jay Aldridge, uh, you know, great brother. And the three of us said, hey, you know, we should do this channel. Uh, I didn't really know Jay, though, early on. But as I got, as I, we got later into it, uh, that's when I met him. And he's such a wonderful man. He really is. And he lives in Bastrop, Louisiana. And he is funny. Some of you already know, and I mean, he's just great. And when he plays Jet Nerdy, you know, on Saturday nights, he's just amazing. I mean, he's very smart. Um, I'm telling you, I mean, he's a great, and he's a great friend to talk to. Uh, we usually, once in a while, if we can get on the phone, you know, we call each other. Our long distance is free, both ways, both, I, both ends. So he can call us for free, and we can call him for free. Now, isn't that a great thing? And I mean, we can find out what's happening in the world, you know, things like that, of that nature. And Jim says, hey, uh, Dan, did you order your red shirt yet? Yeah, because Dan is trying, uh, Danny is trying to hook up with uh, me and, and Matt Arnold and Jim and, uh, and Mr. Kelly. Uh, Jefferson Kelly, we're, you know, we're trying to set up some more future uh, fan films that Jim wants to put together. And Dan wants to be an engineer as uh, for his uh, Jim's uh, ship. So, and there's our buddy Hakeem. Hakeem, I'm glad you made it. So good to see you. Hello, Mikey. Congrats on the one year. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you from both of us. Uh, hello, Lemon Pie, Sashi. Uh, Dan and Lady V Elements. And hey, Jim. <laughs> and hi, Akeem. And hey, back. I'm back. <laughs> hey, it's Akeem. <laughs> Thank you, Lady V. Oh, you don't have to run. Come on. We, we got plenty of time. If you need some food, too, uh, please help yourself. Please go ahead. Um, it's no big deal. Uh, Suzanne made me a really awesome pasta dish earlier, and I had, had to make sure I finished it before I started the stream. But then I saw all you guys waiting, and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> that'll be a that'll be that'll be awesome!" I can't wait. That's you know to talk about that later. You, you guys and gals are great. Thank you. Okay, and as you can see behind me, it's already dark, so it it does get dark here pretty quickly. Uh, in springtime, usually about seven o'clock or so. So yeah, it gets dark, but that's okay. That's great. I like the backdrop. I love that the fact that Suzanne was able to move me around. So we've got a, you know we got this nice area back here. If I want to bring one of my cats up to show off to people, she usually will wait right behind me, and she's in her wonderful sleeping mode right now. So I don't want to disturb her. Uh, you know, with uh, Moon Pie, uh, Deja Vu will sometimes walk around and. 
I'll try to bring her up, but you know, she's she's a little skittish. I don't I don't know if she's really, you know, doesn't want to be around the camera too much. I know Moon Pie does, but I'm not so so sure about Deja Vu. So um yeah, I may just have to keep her over in the bed there and let her sleep. Okay. And uh Lady V said, Oh, you already ate fried chicken. Well good. Good. Yeah. That's great. Well, I'm glad you got to eat something. Yeah. And if you were still eating, that's totally cool too, right? So no problem. All right. Hello there, Hakeem. And Dan says. Okay, guys. Well, I know that Jay is going to be coming here pretty soon. So let's get set up. Let's go ahead and post the StreamYard link. And I'll do that right now. And I'll set it aside. I'll pin it. I'll do the star on it. So we can have it there. All right. So let me go ahead and do this. Copy it here. Okay, here's copy. Okay, there's paste. Okay, and let's start it. There we go. And uh, Lady V says, might need sober up snacks around midnight. Okay, <laughs> well, you, you got them available to you. It's your place, you know. Use them if you need them. Greetings, Hakeem, Sashi. All right, everyone. Here is the StreamYard link. Okay? All right. There's Admiral Duke Shepard. We'll get him in first. Hello, Admiral Duke Shepard. Coming What's on. the truckers going on today? <laughs> well, it's been a fun day. Um, lot We were pretty busy, so again, I apologize for missing the private chat, but you're here now, and so I'm happy. I'm glad you're here. Oh, he only stayed for 20 minutes. That's fine. As long as, however he's, long you're able to stay. He's seen a video. I was going to have Dan come over, but I didn't get a chance. So God he's bless me you. doing that. Yeah. God bless you, baby. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Sorry, Dan. Dang. Hey, uh, Sashi says it's a bright morning down here. And uh, Dan does say with lady with some nice mashed potatoes with gravy and a slice of green beans. I'm allergic to green beans, Dan. I'm sorry to what? say. I am. I'm allergic. I found out. I'm no. allergic to kale, green beans, peas. I used to you enjoy ain't. those things, and now I can't eat them. You ain't normal. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I could be an alien. You don't know. You don't know. I thought I seen green antennas <laughs> growing in your head the other day. <laughs> yeah, right. Along with a slice of beard with butter. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Patrick says, uh, 2.30 a.m. here, so I could already use some stay awake candy. Oh, well, really? grab yourself some, man. Come on. Uh, Booger414, hello. Happy stream of... Oh, stream of versity. Wow. Booger. Look at the Booger man. He's coming up with a an awesome... Uh, Word there, stream of versity. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming in. Really do. Uh, but it's all gone already. <laughs> we'll find something, Patrick. Come on. It's all, nothing but a party. Akeem says, hey, Booger and Patrick. Uh, let's see here. Lady B says, buttermilk biscuits, corn on the cob. Dang, close cool though, Sif Dan. Wow. Oh, damn, I'm hungry now. Oh, now you're hungry. <laughs> My son swears he's allergic to broccoli. Really, Lady B? Wow. I love broccoli. Broccoli is my thing. I love it. And Suzanne does really well when she cooks it, too. We put on that, you know, nice little bit of, of uh, oil, and we put on some Parmesan cheese. I mean, that stuff is awesome. My yeah. wife is a great cook. Uh, Lady V says, hey, Boogie. <laughs> Boogie. And uh, Patrick says, hi, Hakeem. And Hakeem says, mmm, butter biscuits. Sounds great right about now. All right, guys, no more mentions about food. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> Someone's going to be eating something, and then they're going to be walking away from the from the chat. Uh, broccoli rocks. Yes, it does, Sashi. And wife and I just finished dinner. We got to take out shawarma. Wow, nice, Booger. Yeah, you remember at the end of Avengers, the very first Avengers, and Tony took them all out for shawarma at the end? Yeah, you remember that? <laughs> And my wife and I, you know what's funny, Jim? We went to a shawarma place here in uh, Scarborough. 
It's really, yeah. it's really nicely done. The shawarma is wonderful. It's cooked right. Everything is is perfect. Have you ever had shawarma yourself, Jim? No, I, I, I don't know what that is. Shawarma? Well, it's like a form of sausage, but it's it, it's it's like it's really um, I don't know how else to really describe it. It's it's Mediterranean food, okay? But it's like a, it's kind of a combination of sauces versus hot dog, something like that. But it's yeah. really really good, and it's got really nice spices and herbs on it. So, yeah, it was really good. It was it was awesome. Uh, well, I don't know, Lady V. Uh, you're saying I'm ready to pop. I don't know. If I explode on air, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? It'd be like 100 people went watching then. <laughs> uh, same here. I, what's that, Jim? I'm not touching that one. Oh, yeah, no, I won't. Uh, same here. I love me some broccoli with homemade ghee on top. Oh, nice. Keen, yes. Oh, and uh, Lemon says mustard and biscuits. Mmm, sling blade. Yeah. Mmm, lady says. Yeah, LOL, Lemon. Love that movie. Me too. Me too. That's a good movie. Uh, Burger says, sliced grilled meat. Well, we had that a couple nights ago, Burger. Uh, beautiful Suzanne over here made some nice steak cuts. Sl thin slices. We had it with some uh, uh, wonderful uh, spinach. and Homemade spinach. And we had some uh, salads. Of the last couple days really wonderfully made salads so yeah uh booger said he had chicken wife had lamb all wrapped up in the pita nice and lady v says mikey i meant if you get hungry for you to talk about food <laughs> if you eat any more <laughs> you'll pop because you're already full right i knew what you meant honey i knew what you meant it's, it's okay so jim how hey. are you doing sir let us know uh what's up with you I didn't get much done. I made a sale well, today. Now, I finally made some money. Yay! He did good with his landscaping job. I don't do landscaping. I cut lawns for a living. Well, cutting lawns, okay? It's a form of landscape, isn't home. it? <laughs> yeah. See, every time a beast, I tell him I'm not home. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but at least no, at least that uh, you're making some money, and and I'm glad, I'm glad that you are. There you are, everybody. Look, he's lost his beard, he's lost his hair. This he's man is back. I get you get rid of this shit. Are you still <laughs> on power? Here we go. Dilithium yeah, backup power. Call by yeah. call BR five four nine for your special backup power. Celebration. Show. Thank you. My one year, my one, our one year uh, <laughs> candle. Thank you. Can I blow it out or do I have to like stamp on After it or something? Dilithium crystals. Okay. You don't blow dilithium <laughs> crystals out. I know. <laughs> I know. Dilithium crystals. Oh, there you go. Crystal. Yeah. They're glowing. Energy. They're glowing. Power. Yay. Yeah. Energy. Power. Yay. Aw. Just that's the sweetest. Words, don't shine. Lady V said that's the sweetest of you. You're such a sweet man. Mm. A lot of people like you, Jim. I oh, do. Boy. We 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 love you. Suzanne oh, and I we we think you're the bomb, man. You're yeah. you're cool. Uh pretty, pretty. Yes, <laughs> she says <laughs> your crystals are pretty pretty. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very cute. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, though, so then you made some money today, and then you well, you had your private chat, like I said again. I apologize, I wasn't there. I'll try to make it again, though. Uh, yeah. when you have it again, um, uh, I know because we're planning, well, yeah, it's cool yeah. Like, when we plan things out. Uh, yes, Sir Lemon, he does, he cuts special, grass for a lemon. I specialize yeah. in lawn care and snow plowing, so that covers a lot of field, too. Yes, it does. Long care and snowplow. Of but course. Well, that... now if it really snows all over the place and, you know, somebody is unable to clean up the walkway or do something, you're there, right, right with the snowplow. So, but the reason it's called Jim's Landscape because a lot of people know that Landscapers has equipment to mow the lawns. Right. Yeah. Well, that's fine because yep. that's a job. It's a job, dude. Have, yeah, have job, fun. Right? Have pride in it. 
Yeah, you're making money. You're having. You're doing what you love to do, right? You you say you've been doing this for what? Forty four years. Forty four years till now. Yep, forty four years. Yeah, forty four years. Yeah. Uh, Spicy says, "Are they edible?" <laughs> no, they're not edible. It's they're just they're just crystals. Uh, Spicy says, "You can come cut my grass." How do you want to take that? <laughs> just keep spreading. <laughs> Well, Sir we'll Lemon says, "Bitch, he'll give me a discount." Yes, he will. Ah, I was talking to you, Lemon. Oh, he's talking to Lemon. Ooh, ooh. Lemon, you're you're getting hit on tonight. I think. Yeah, damn. Be careful, dude. Be careful. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Come on. Peach manages to make landscaping sound dirty. Well, spicy peach is spicy. What do you expect, Man. Booger? Come on. You know, that's her name. That's what she's supposed to do. Besides, you're happily married and I'm happily married, Booger. So, hey, we're all right. We don't mind her because she she's bolstering the chat. She's having fun. Right. Let her have fun. Okay? It's cool. No worries. Lemon peach pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lemon peach pie. Flap spicy peach. Whack, whack. <laughs> Lady V. <laughs> well, did you, did you slap her with a cat of nine tails, you know? That's what uh, some ladies use, the soft ones, not not the ones with the sharp, you know, you know what I'm talking about, sharp thing that goes, you know, not like we used it, you know, Christ thing we had last month, you know, so no. Uh, lemon peach pie. Oh, well, there we go, Hakeem. Behaves, bish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, Hakeem. And we can live through vicarious spicy dirt. Yes, we can. And I don't have a soft one. Hmm. Chick fight. <laughs> now, Sir Lemon, you're a, you're the main moderator. So you, if it goes into a cat scratch fever thing, you need to control it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. You guys are having fun. Stop it. I'm oh, terrible. Sorry. Oh, Mikey, in your uh, Twitter twat, I sent you a message. Okay. In Twitter? Uh, Very good. I might have a... Uh, well, I want you to do another voiceover. Can you, you sound like Sulu? Sulu? Sound like what? Sulu. Oh, Sulu. Yeah. I kept in. I kept in. I. Well, I'll get you that soon, Captain. Yeah. I'll see. Oh you. my. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you want to say when I'm Sulu? Well, I sent you the lines already, but what you I sent me the lines. Down, oh, okay. Uh, now, do you want down, me? Okay, now do you want me to send those lines to you? You know, where normally we do through Facebook oh, yeah. Messenger. Is that fine? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna, and you want me to say them as Sulu? Okay, I'll have to watch yeah, a few Sulu. Sulu things to get it down. But yeah, sure. I can navigator Sulu, Captain Sulu, whatever. But Sulu's yeah, sure. Gotta, but Sulu's got a deep voice. I get the. Oh my. Hmm. <laughs> I can get low. I'm good. Ooh. Yes, Lemon. Discipline ooh, me. Ooh, oh, ooh. Lady V. Woohoo. Lady V. Oh, man. Uh, now, girls, I'm the super mod, so I'll be the one judging who wins. <laughs> Lemon. He's just trying to have his way. <laughs> he is. He is. Yeah. Uh, lucky Lemon Pie. Yeah, Hakeem says. Okay. Booker says, Article 28 of the Bro Code. A bro must notify in a timely manner his bros of a girl fight. Ooh, mm -hmm. Booker's got some broage there. A bro code. I like it. I like it, Booger. <laughs> I do. I like that it. Is, that is cool. Yeah, that's cool. Booger. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, oh, oh, before I forget, oh. guys, no, there was something I was forgetting. Um, we did well. God took three more people this week. Now you know OJ is gone. He died at seventy six of cancer. Sorry to say. Uh, then there was a Russian weightlifter guy, and I don't even know what his name is, but somebody said he died. So I I don't know. Enlarged heart or something. And then of course we just lost uh, Cavalli, one of the major you know designers of women's clothing and some men stuff. And I think he was 81, degree, uh, 81 years old. And he just recently passed away today. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Lady V says, 
Ah, ha, ha. LMAO. That's a new one. Of course. Um, guys, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to go silent for like a minute. Uh, let's just go ahead and quickly uh, take a moment of silence for OJ and the Russian wrestler or weightlifter and for Cavalli, okay? For one minute. So let's go. I'll go mute here for a minute. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You can unmute yourself, Dan. We're fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for I appreciate you doing that. All right. We have our friend here, Sci-Fi Sif Dan, joining our panel. Good to see you, Daniel. Hello, Mikey. How are you doing? Uh, still alive and kicking. Not dead yet. Oh, well, don't think negative. Come on. <laughs> You're doing okay. You're an okay man. Come on. You're doing all right. Yeah, I appreciate you. everyone in the chat and everybody here in the panel. Thank you for doing that for a minute, a moment of silence. Um, yeah, it's been a really weird week. I don't know, just just a lot of things going on. Uh, let's see, we'll catch up real quick. So Booger says the OJ memes have been epic. I, <laughs> more than likely, I guarantee that's true. Uh, Lady V, of course, is quoting our "Enjoy the Silence" Depeche Mode song. Yes, of course she is. You're knocking yourself on the head there, Jim. You okay? <laughs> I'm trying I'm try to remember something. Oh, okay. You know, when you get old, you got to knock yourself up. <laughs> well, ow. <laughs> Look, you have the same thing I do. Look, I have back scratch fever. That's the same thing I do. Yeah, I know. I my, uh, house in the bag. my house slippers in a bag folds up, so I got to use that. Uh, you know, when oh, you get... Okay. You know, yeah, when you get big and fat, you can't, you can't bend over that good anymore. Right, right. Well, you have, like I said, you have the same one I do. And Booger did confirm it was a sumo wrestler, a world champion sumo who passed. Okay. And then uh, Cavalli, one of those major uh, clothing designers, passed away today earlier at age of 81. So the sumo wrestler, OJ, and Cavalli. You know, I think people in threes. Yeah, God takes people in threes. That's a heck Even of a seven. combination. Yeah, odd one. I, 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 you're right. I said that too. Uh, co-worker sends me celebrity deaths because he knows I play in the death pool online. Oh, okay, that's why he does that. Okay, Google. Okay. Okay, oh, boy. So, just like the Dirty Harry movie called Deadpool. Yeah, right, right. That one. Yes, yes, I do remember. Yeah. You know what? I, I wanted. I, I was telling Suzanne I would love to get. Uh, there was an interesting meme where it's on a subway, and uh, the guy from Death Wish is on there, and then all the warriors like warriors come out and play, and they're all on the train, and there's Death Wish, <laughs> Charles Bronson. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna shoot them all. <laughs> Shoot them between the those wires. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was something I saw the other day. Uh, what's a death pool? Is that some necro stuff? No, Lady V, it's just a bunch of, it's just a list of people that they marked for death. And I'm sorry, we just got morbid yeah. just then. Sorry about that. Yeah, I won't go too much into that. But anyway, that's, it's, it's a movie that, uh, it's a movie that, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry's a part of. Uh, he has a bunch of those. Magnum Force, uh, Dirty Harry, original Dirty Harry. Then he has Sudden Impact. He's got some great movies there. You guys should get them. Like, I want to get the whole collection. I want to get every one of them. Yeah, um, I, think, I think my family has two uh, of the four set. Two of the four set. 
That's cool. Which ones do your family have? D Deep Impact and, and uh, Deadpool, I think. The Deadpool and then, then the uh, Sudden Impact. Yeah, Sudden yeah, Impact. Sudden Impact was the one with Sandra Locke, his past wife, I guess. Yeah, because I don't think they're still married. Oh, hey, what's that for? Fire. <laughs> Are you studying Dan? <laughs> Well, we got that Darth Vader down there, and he's being wanted for multiple problems. Multiple crimes? Oh, against the, multiple against problems. the uh, rebels and everything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Care, uh, the rule is please. Careful, Amory. You may find me shocking. I may come over there and shock you. He might throw some blue lightning at you there, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I do got my other banner ready for next week. If you guys want to see it, I can show it to you. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Right. I'll post it. Go ahead. Speaking about shocking, you know, when, when you Let's see it. See. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Booger says the rule of threes came up in a class I was teaching at a work conference. Oh, well, that's the rule of three. Oh, like Death Note. Yes. Similar, lady. Yes. Let me all. Yeah, before you pull it. Congratulations. Now, this is when you reach your 4,000, right? Yeah. Now, to that I don't think you can put that many people in there. Oh, are you celebrating a little pre prematurely, uh, Mikey? You're you only got about roughly 150 subscribers. You got a long way to go before you reach that many. I have a lot to go. No, this is for Jim. This is not for me. No, I have a lot more to go. No, no, no. I I'm only two away from 150, my friend. But uh, but Jim is uh, almost near four thousand. Well, he the last I checked, he was at three thousand two twenty three. Is that right, Jim? Yeah. So more you're, you're pretty. Are you above that now or a little bit? Hang on. Yeah. 3,342. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, now, so far. Now, now, all that's missing is that you, you, gotta get, you have to get like 10 times that or 15 times that, and then you got to get a lot of more watch hours to start earning an income on YouTube. Right. It's already going up. And uh, let's see. Booger says you pick a list of. 10 celebrities before 1-1. One, one. If they die in the year, you get points. 100 minus age. Yeah. There are some other rules, but those are the basics. Okay, so you make it like a game show thing. Okay. That's a little morbid, but okay. Uh, Brad Wolf says, hi, Mikey. Hi, everyone. Hello, Brad Wolf. Good to see you. Hey, it's been Brad. A long time. It's been a long time since the last time I've seen him. Yeah, it's been a long time for me too, Brad. Uh, hello. Yeah, I normally see him at Jet Nerdy, I know. But uh, sometimes he does other stuff. So, Oh, okay. wow, Boots, that sounds like dark sport. That's what Lady said. Um, and Booger says, very dark. Although most of the time being on my list is usually a promise of long life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lady just says, I knew I liked you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I, I have a question for Brad if he's still watching. Hey, Brad, are you still with uh, Salty Trekker or whatever his name is, or did you find, or did you walk away from his channel? Or are you still sub to him? Yeah, he says he's been busy lately, rather draining. Hmm. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm, well, I'm glad you've been busy, Brad, because um, I know you sometimes have like. Uh, you know, periods where you're not busy. I mean, that you're not as working. So I'm glad that you are a busy man. That's a good thing. But yes, draining. Yes. Um, okay. Admiral Duke, tell me, um, do you get a share of the profits with, with one of your, your Star Trek fan films? I mean, just a certain amount of views or a certain amount of, or you get some amount of subs? Do you get, do you have to give a paramount a, a piece of the action? so to speak, to not get uh, them taken down completely? Well, let me tell you, since I've been monetized for five years, I only got paid through YouTube twice. This third time, I haven't reached 100 bucks in the past three years. 
Yeah, so so money money is, you don't get rich fast as everybody tells you. It takes a well, while. I've been told that already, and I know I'm nowhere near you, Jim, yeah. and obviously yeah. Dan's got more. But yeah, monetization is just not what it's supposed to be. No, right. It's not. It's not it used to be, to be years ago, but not anymore. Yeah, it's changed. The whole I mean, landscape. Oh, excuse me. Landscape. I mean, when I first got monetized, I got $118. That was it. Two wow. years, two years later, I got a hundred bucks. Woohoo. I haven't got anything. Well, then it, so. You paid for something on that, didn't you? <laughs> Gas for the lawnmowers, maybe. Well, there you go. Yeah, Brad says he's still subbed, but it, I haven't watched him in quite a while. There so he go. hasn't watched uh, Salty in a while. Okay. That's understandable. Yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, I think that when we lost, and correct me if I'm wrong, but when we lost our beloved Cardinal Sin, Gil Ravel, last year, it left quite a void. There was a lot of us that just said, oh, wow. You know, if he can pass away, you know, without any indication. I mean, I, I know he wasn't feeling well. So rest in peace, Gil. I, I know he wasn't feeling well, but I also knew that none of us was aware of how badly he was, you know, what was going on. So when he passes away in his sleep and his brother, you know, Ari comes in and then all hell broke loose. Right. And I think we just, and, and, you know, uh, I understand that I think Doomcock is trying to pick up pieces Tony's try, Stark of Iron is trying to pick up pieces, and of course Salty Trekker. Uh, but that's it. I mean, there's like three main guys, and and Jill. I have to say yeah. honestly, Jill, wonderful lady. She's doing her part, so she's trying to pick us all up too, and that's great. But I'm just saying, like, there's not many people that are standing up and leading the charge and getting all of us YouTube, you know, creators and community together. And that's what we all need, right? We need to succeed. That's important. We don't want YouTube to continue to dominate us, mark us down for restrictions, do whatever needs to be done to keep us under, you know, under their thumb and under tabs. We need to, to branch out. We need to have some kind of, I don't know, revolution, <laughs> I guess, something, uh, you know, to get us out there. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, right. meantime, we're bending and going, okay, bend to your will, whatever. Nope. Uh, I think it depends on the topic. Right. I watch a couple of channels about travel that the hosts are professional full-time in YouTube. Yes. Nope. Yes. And I, right, and I, and I can speak, I can definitely speak for Jim. I can speak for myself and for Dan, too. Uh, we try to be professional. We don't want to be negative Nellies. We don't want to just like, you know, come out here and go, oh, they're all stupid. No, yeah, well, that's bad. And no, we don't want to do that. We want to be professional. And we want to say to you guys, look, you know what's going down. We're just going to educate you and let you know from our end what right. we see. And then you make up your own mind, right? We're, we're, we don't dictate your terms. You guys will determine ultimately what you want to do, what yeah. you've heard, what you've seen. That's, that's, it. that's entirely up to you guys. That's what we do. We leave it up to you. We tell you what we know, and then you guys tell us what you know, and together we can help each other. Right. And then just be able to make it a very successful uh, YouTube. Make it better. Yeah, make it better. and the way I do is I try to <laughs> um, I, 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 chew, I try to buy Star Wars media to, to uh, enhance my, my lore of the Star Trek universe, uh, Star Wars universe. Like these books, yeah. I, bought, I haven't read them yet. Right. And then Booger says, I think to some extent fandom is harder to get a foot in the door. I agree. Uh, Brad Wood says, Viva la digital revolution! <laughs> yeah. Where, where's my I'll put a face on here. That's the tubers say. Yeah, Booger. Yeah, right. Digital. I'm not I'm, I'm trying to remain anonymous. I mean, I'm kind of camera shy. That's why. Well, we got Wait. you on camera a few days ago, Dan, so you're cool. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Well, well, if your dad's shy, you wouldn't be good for a fan a, a fan film, would you? <laughs> hey, you it. can't be camera shy, Dan. Not for that. Well, really, if you think about it, he's not recording in front of anybody. He's recording with him himself. With himself, that's true. Exactly. Yes. So, if he's shy, he's gonna be. God, I look at myself. Oh my God, I look. <laughs> oh, 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 I used to be young. What the <laughs> shit? I'm a piece of. <laughs> 
Well, I'm there prepping myself. Thanks, Mikey, because I love well, the enthusiasm. Well, well you're I'm welcome. Prepping, <laughs> I'm prepping myself like that. I'm not camera shy, but when I'm out in public, I'm uh, talking to an I know, it's totally camera. different. Yeah. But I will tell you this, and I have experienced it a lot. I made a video of myself, and it took 20 minutes just to get 15 lines out correctly. You look at that camera, and you you forget what you're doing. Yeah, you do. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I mean, I had blooper central, <laughs> and I still have it too somewhere. But it's like, God, I well, they told me oh, crap. Well, they told me a year ago. They told me I didn't know you yet, Dan. A year ago, but they told yeah. me a year ago that they did not want my they did not want my face on camera. They said if you turn your camera on, you're going to go off. Like off the air, stream yard, stream yard is going to cut you off. Well, it Mikey, happened, Mikey. You, you just do this, <laughs> and that's being I clean. Did, you don't know, Jim, but sometimes I was ready to rip my computer and my older yeah, computer yeah. a new one, and I was ready to rip stream yard a new one. In fact, I talked to a few of their representatives, and they couldn't even give me a straight answer. They couldn't tell me. Man. They couldn't say anything. I was like, really? Seriously? Guys? Gals? Whoever I spoke to? Yeah. I mean, nobody could give me any straight straight answers at all. Oh, bull ho hockey. <laughs> as Colonel Potter, one, lady, as Colonel yeah, Potter would say, bull hockey. Bull hockey, yeah. Yeah, we don't drop F-bombs here. We say frack or felger carp. And... Uh, and Jay taught us a new way. Instead of saying the four-letter S word, we say sheep dip. <laughs> That's what we say. Right. Felger carp. Yeah. Don't worry, Mikey. I have a face for radio and a voice for silent films. There okay. You <laughs> there you go. I say, fuck shoo 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 shoo. <laughs> Um, uh, Jim, if you if you looked at one of my earlier chats in the chat, you you probably saw me ask this question to you. But do you have your own clothing line or clothing store to put in orders for Star Trek shirts? I guess. Oh, I think he's asking that to you, Jim. Do you have you a clothing to, line or store online or anything? You go to eBay or Amazon; they got them there. There you go. But like I said on my chat yesterday, if you order a shirt, if you're two X. You better order 3x because you'd be squeezing yourself so damn tight you you probably won't be able to breathe because remember yeah. overseas are one size smaller than us yeah now booger says he's been told he has a voice for voiceover which i've never tried and he yeah. also says although in a way i am sort of a radio personality voice there you, go. you know jim is definitely looking for some more voices like that if you want uh, Lemon can post the. Uh, I always let him do it anyway. He loves doing yeah. that. I I'll let Lemon post Jim's uh, Commodore's main page there, and let and then Booger, if you're interested, go there, uh, leave a note with uh, Jim and whatever, uh, and let him know that you're available if you want to give your voice uh, and loan it. Fine. Jim is looking for more voices. He can definitely use them. Um, how many shipfuls of a uh, 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 full voice actors and actors do you have? Uh, fan actors do you have already for how many ships? Or are you, yeah. are you did you just barely start filling up your ships already? Well, I, I I'm just starting to ask for voice actors right now. I've got Mikey right now, and uh, I got a lady that she said the same words what he did, but I already told him he can do that one, but. Uh, I've been thinking a lot lately, and there might be another uh, opening for her, and I'll send her some new lines if she can send them back fast enough. That's a problem. So how many That's ships – well, my question was, how, are you just starting this out, or how many ships do you have filled with actors or voice actors to, to cover the roles? Oh, ships? Yeah. How many ships do you have full already? I have a total of four ships. Mm -hmm. All full Yes, up? four ships. Nope. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. nope. No, I do fifteen act. Uh, I do fifteen characters myself, so it's kind of hard to do whatever. As you as you see in my fan films, you know you see the captain, you see the communications officer, stuff like that. And uh, I'm hey, still, everyone. I'm Here's still new. To it. 
to this editing stuff, and I've been doing it for over a year or so. Tell me, Jim, uh, what role would you give uh, Mikey's cat? <laughs> Isis, the cat from, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Assignment Earth, Gary 7. That's Isis right down there. That's my Isis. Well, we got to give know, her the magic the power. We got to give her the magic power to see if she looks just like that one or not. She is. I just showed you her. She's that's Isis right there. Oh, I know, but that cat turned into like a human cat there. So, oh, cats. There might be a different Girls, type. Stop fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Brad says he loves the way that Brother Jay expresses himself. Sheep yeah. dip makes him laugh every single time. I agree. It makes me laugh as well. Uh, Booker says uh, to Jim, he says, I will have to send him a pick of me as a clean on also. Might have a well, Klingon. I, I am looking for a Klingon. I've been looking for a Klingon for two years. Ever there since you go, Booker 414. Jim can use you as a Klingon. There you go. I yeah. have. I have sure. looked on Facebook and I'm Look-ups. five or ten people that does a Klingon. I ask them if they would do a fan film and they all turn me down. Well, wow. well, the, well the I think is- Booker might. Yeah, I think Booger might be able to help you out there, Jim. Yeah, because I yeah, am looking and, for a Cleon and, Warrior. And Jim, Very look, cool. you may hate this, but sometimes um, cosplaying or doing it in somewhat public is different than doing it in front of a camera, in front of a huge audience of either dozens or hundreds of people or thousands of people on the internet. Because yeah. right. there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. That's why like, you don't get very many answers. They don't want all the pressure on them. Well, these people that I'm friends with on Facebook, they go to conventions every year, dress as a yeah. clown, and they That's can't awesome. and they can't record and say a few lines and clown or stuff like that. I mean, they go to conventions every year. Well, <laughs> so they're in the public. Well, they're either public. that, well, either that, or they want to remain anonymous on the internet. Well, how they're over the place, man. They're, they're there. Anything. They're all over the place. They just oh, don't by the way, them. oh, Jim, these are for you. Sorry, Dan. Just let me go ahead and go through these real quick. So, Lemon said hello to Brad Wolf and Booger414. And Booger says, hello, Isis. Yeah, no. She's yeah. Moon Pie, but she is my Isis. Yeah. If I had to think of Assignment Earth, she is my girl. Um, there is your channel, Jim. Lady V yep. Elements also was able to post it. So, guys, uh, here, I'm going to uh, star that. Uh, if you guys uh, want to check out Jim's channel and, you know, become a part of our ever-growing uh, panel or our ever-growing cast uh, that he uses for his fan films, please do, yeah, contact him because he's, uh, he's available there. Uh, Brad says, I don't currently have any pets, but my friend has two cats. Nix and Loki, the chaos <laughs> for a ball. Oh, well, that's cute. Uh, Booger also says to you, Jim, that wife is also available as a clean on. There you go. So you can have female and male clean on. There you go. Wow. And uh, Brad Wolf, hello, lemon pie. <laughs> okay. We're caught up on the chat, so I'll leave this last one up there. There you go. Um, all right, Would gentlemen. So, what, honey? Would you Oh, she's offering to cook you too, Moon Pie. All right. Deja vu. Deja vu. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So I'm going to ask you a question. Um, we've got a question. <laughs> okay. So, so far, we've had a couple of premieres that have come out. Fallout has just come out. Um, I saw season one, episode one. It was it was pretty good. I saw part of it at the end. I thought the music was good. Everything was fine. Uh, I've watched a, uh, a a reboot. Well, actually, a newer uh, season starting of X Men '97, which was an animated series way back in the mid '90s. Yeah. And uh, Raquel SSG 2211 and Moira Kitty have uh, been doing watch parties, and I've been doing some watch parties with them. So, yeah, I think it's really cool. We, we've seen four episodes so far of that, of X-Men 97 and uh, from Disney+. Plus, and it, it is actually pretty good. I, I like um, animated, and I like the fact that it has a good storyline and the CGI works. So, yeah. So I was going to ask you guys, um, have you seen either of those series or anything? Have you seen anything that's coming up maybe in the movies or anything on... You know, 
channels, Netflix, anything? You guys uh, see Mikey, anything? Mikey, uh, there an, there's now a total of X Men ninety, total of five X Men that ninety five episodes. Yeah, I know. We're waiting to see. We're waiting for the sixth one to come out so that no, 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 uh, no. Raquel. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm just saying that Raquel wants to put five and six together, and I know we're, I'm probably going to have to wait till either sometime next week to uh, watch that with her next Wednesday. I think. Well, then, we're gonna watch five I'll, and six. Try and, I'll try not to go into spoilers, but the first three episodes of X Men '97 were pretty good. The fourth one is the weakest one. The fifth one is okay. Okay, the fifth one's okay. Okay, yeah. so, well, yes, and then, you know what, I agree with your assessment. I think three was good, because they put together Motendo and this thing. Yeah, three was great, and then the four was, yeah, okay, you know. But, I mean, it was just a story about Storm, right? And Storm's trying to get back without any spoilers for you guys. But, you know, if you get a chance to see it, you know, definitely go over to Raquel SSG uh, 2211's channel. She does a watch party for that. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Well, but yeah, I, I yeah. And my, Mikey, uh, I don't really pay attention to um, new things that come out anymore. I mean, I mainly pay attention to um, anime that, that came out recently. There's two new anime shows, so which you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a third season of anime called at that time I got reincarnated as a slime, and a new series came come out like called Green Monster. It's a Japanese anime. Oh, cool. uh, um, the slime series is actually a pretty good series. It is, and and I have about uh, seventeen volumes of light novels I read of, of slime. Oh, cool! Yeah, let me acknowledge here. We're we're picking up on chat, guys. Here, this is great. Uh, yeah, Lemon had to step away for a bit. That's fine, Sir Lemon. No worries. Uh, they he says I'm down to one dog and a snake. I need more hounds. Release oh, the hounds. Oh my. Hey Mikey. Hello, Trusty Ape. He's also known as Kevin. He's a good friend of mine and a brother. Uh lives in the San Francisco Bay Area. So it's good to see you, my friend. I'm glad you showed. Uh Silver was here too. Uh she's probably still watching. Uh hi everyone, Trusty says. Uh Lemon Pie says, Ape. <laughs> and uh Lady V says, Hey Zape. And hi, Ape. <laughs> From Brad. And there's Silver saying, hey, Ape! <laughs> and Tristan saying, Lemon Pie, good to see you. And uh, Lemon says, thanks for posting Jim's channel, Lady V. You're, you're yeah, absolutely you right. And uh, Lady V, Elements, hey, uh, and uh, Brad was said he saw the original 90s X-Men show. Haven't seen the X-Men 97 yet. I have actually been watching FXX new series Shogun. That's a good series I heard. Yeah. I, I don't, unfortunately, we don't have links to uh, TV stuff here, but we do have online to whichever uh, channel is showing it. Uh, let's see here. I know how busy your hands were, Lemon. <laughs> uh, life. Don't talk to me about life. Brad Wolf, uh, oh, seven greetings. And then he says, uh, oh, she was just kidding. I know she was. So, Wolf, howdy. And uh, howdy, <laughs> laugh out loud, okay. And of course, uh, laugh out loud, Lady B from, from Kevin. And Lady B, indeed, I was driving. Ah, um, uh, all I, right, I, I, we'll I, I, would tell, again. I would tell let, let him pie this be careful when you're around ape, he may take a bite out of you since he, he loves his pies and he, and he is an ape. That's true, but then again, when we get gorilla here. Now he's the ape. He's the great ape. You I remember great ape, that movie. animated series way back when? Uh, actually, I think that was before Dan was born. I don't know. But <laughs> I know Jim good. remembers it. Hey, I got a banana for him. Where is he at? Yeah, there you go. Where the hell's Gorilla? <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice I got four long, pack of bananas. <laughs> nice long, straight. Look I got four straight pack of bananas for him. So, Ooh, yeah. Look at that. That'd be lots of fun, wouldn't it? Well, there you go. Exactly. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> okay. You better stop texting and driving. Yeah, don't do that, uh, Lemon, Sir Lemon. Don't hurt yourself. Jeez. Last thing I need is for you to get into an accident. That would be terrible. Now, Mike, uh, check the chat, but don't say nothing. I know, I know you're going to laugh. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Private Let's chat. chat 
how much to become a wrench or well, don't say anything. Can't you? Oh, you can't sorry, I didn't mean to say anything. Oh, cram! Sorry, the the sun don't shine. I didn't complete the sentence, but I think it's funny. Yeah. Yes, it's expensive. I know. I understand. You're expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's that's asking you, not me. I know. I know. I just uh, that's, that's, why, that's why it's called private chat. That's why it is called private. Oh, chat. I'm sorry, Jesus. Uh, I'm it, it's sorry. Fine, fine, it's, it's fine. Just remember, there are two. There are two different kinds of chat: private chat for the panelists to only know of, and then there's the the public chat where the chatters are in on yeah. YouTube or whatever they're using. Please forgive me. I'm still learning this stuff. Okay. <laughs> I had a terrible computer before. Now I got a brand new one. It's wonderful. It's awesome. Knock on wood, it's working. And I'm learning all this. It's it's almost like I'm relearning everything. It's like I, I had everything down. Now I'm relearning. You I are. mean, that's what I'm doing. And you yeah. got a lot to say in a year's time. In a year's time, yeah. I built it all up. Well, you know, wonderful Suzanne over here says, yep. you know, that I am a chatterbox and I agree. I am a total like. B -b 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 and I keep talking. <laughs> I can talk. Yeah. <laughs> now, man. Did you hear? She said I could talk an ear off a flea. <laughs> I try to tell a story and he wouldn't shut up so I could tell the story. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, I said I want to tell a story. Get it. Focus on what you are driving into, then exactly. get back to us. Uh, exactly. All good. Okay. Private naughty chats. Oh, maybe that means naughty. <laughs> naughty? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think you have to say. Now wait a second. Let me let me think of this now. If we are, if I already have uh, wrenches that are there, they can also. Make a wrench of you there, Sif Dan. If you go in there and chat yourself in the chat itself, I think that one of that, uh, well, no, in fact, I know Lemon Pie can make you a moderator. He can make you a standard one for nothing. You can do it. You, yeah, you, well, you can make a moderator, Mikey. I, I know I could, but uh, I, I, I feel better about Lemon doing it because he's the main guy. He, you know. I'm just oh, trying to run the stream. That's just me. You know? Yeah, well, my chats so, are way back there. They, it, uh, Lemon has to go, go digging for them in the past chat. I or see. I okay. or I, I uh, just uh, and hello. Yeah. Speaking of, we, we were just talking about Raquel. Raquel SSG 2211. Welcome, Raquel. Good to see you, lady. You're you're more than welcome to come up. I'll repost the stream yard again or reshow it. Uh, link if you'd like to come. Uh, congrats on one year on YouTube, Mikey Seuss 4. And Lady V says, hey, Raquel. And uh, Raquel says, Lady V Elements, hi. And Hakeem says, hey, Raquel. And Lady V says, Lemon should be the only one with that authority. He is. He is. And he is allowed to do it. And I told him, I said, we have a lot of people I know that would like to be a wrench, but I leave the ultimate decision to him because Lemon knows what he's doing. And I and and I I mean, you know, yes, I'm the host, and yes, I'm I'm in charge, but I'm relying on Lemon to help us, and Lemon is great for that. So, um, like I said, Sif Dan, if you're fine and comfortable with him giving you that wrench, and I'm saying that he can do it, and uh, that he has permission, I'll let him do it. That's that's up to him, though. That's totally up to him. Well, you know, I'll he's the ultimate part. decision maker I, I on it. Brought up because you know. on your last thing, you you were trying to make me a wrench. I tried to, and I couldn't do it. Something was, like I said, I don't know. It wasn't letting me do it. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, it's you know, fine. I don't know. Well, we'll get you that. We'll get you that wrench, okay? <laughs> don't worry. We will. Don't worry about it. Uh, Dan says, hello to Lemon Pie. Now, you could go right there right now. Lemon could do it right now. And since you're in the chat there, he could go ahead and give it to you. And then what you'll have to do is refresh. And then you can see if you got that wrench. So he could do that. Yeah. And here's Raquel. Let's let Raquel in the uh, yeah, panel. Hello, Miss Raquel, SSG22. Hello. Hello. It's okay, Mark. Welcome, if you can. 
Is Moira allowed to be here? I haven't seen Moira. Oh, there she is, Moira Kitty. Hi, Moira Kitty. Yay! Uh, Raquel Hakim says hi. Moira Kitty says congrats, buddy. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Lady V Elements uh, has hearts for everyone. Moira Lemon Pie. Hug Lemon Pie. <laughs> and then the sift turned blue. <laughs> okay. If you hug lemon pie, you're going to squeeze all the filling out. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot do that, lemon pie. He says, I mean, I literally cannot do it. I don't mean that I don't want to. Oh, okay. Well, gosh, I got to remember how to do that again. Somebody could teach me, maybe. I'll learn uh, it. Well, I'll learn it. Well, simple. You, it's you, simple. You, yeah, you, you, you go on the chat. There's usually you go to the chatter you want to make a monitor. And there's usually a three dots option and right next to the chatter. You click on that and it gives you options and it says you want to ban the chatter from the chat. You want to give them a timeout. It only gives three options. That's what I'm saying. It says either delete a person, put user in timeout, or ban the user and delete their comments. But it doesn't so, give you anything else. So that's that's all the options you have right now. One thing, one thing, one thing. You have yes, to sir. go over. Listen, you got to go to stream. Uh, you got to go to YouTube on your stream that you're broadcasting. And you do it over yeah. there. You can't do it you over do it there. there. You got to do it right. on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. hit the three dots and it should be all the way in the bottom. It says make moderator. And you do, you click standard and send it and you're done. Simple as okay. lemon pie looking as pie. <laughs> no way now. How will uh, uh, how do I switch it? To, uh, just go, you know, because I've already got it check marked, and we're this is being premiered right now on YouTube. So when well, you do a when you do a stream, you should bring yourself up on YouTube uh, as, as well. You have them both on top side by side because yeah. you can do things both ways on both streams. It's your yeah. stream that you're doing right now. But it's right. nice to have your YouTube up as well, because you might miss something on here you won't that you won't miss on YouTube. Yeah, and th that's how I do it usually. I usually have yeah. two bars open. I have yeah. my StreamYards bar open, then I usually have my own uh, channel bar open on YouTube. That way, I know I'm doing a live stream at the same time, and now I can interact on my YouTube channel as well as going on StreamYards. So that's why you usually have. Well, I, I figured this out on my own. It's usually to have. Two bars open on your your internet browser. One is your your StreamYards account bar that yep. you, you do your StreamYards. Then you you go to YouTube. You type in your, your YouTube channel, and then you go to your live settings, like your live stream settings. If, if yeah. you're on there on YouTube, and then click on that, and then you're then you're on your YouTube channel. But there's usually an, an echo once you put your your YouTube channel up with your StreamYards. So that's why I got speakers. speakers. Yeah. Okay, and that's I, why I sure. No, I appreciate that, Dan. And I'm going. I'm like I said. I'm still. I'm. It's. I'm like. I'm relearning everything. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just yeah. trying to do the best I can. And, um, and my, oh, and Mikey, and to, yeah. Just to finish up, when you have your YouTube uh, um, tab open with your Streamyards, sometimes you have to mute your YouTube bar so that way you don't hear an echo from your Mike, from your Streamyards you too, right? Uh, on the bottom, on the bottom there, you're going to have your speaker cross it out. If not, you're going to be scrambling like crazy. Yeah, like right. Like, like, like you're saying, hey, why do I hear it? Why do I hear it? Echo. Because he didn't shut the damn thing off. That's why. <laughs> well, then that's why I <laughs> mute myself so I won't hear that echo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why yeah. sometimes you have to do that. Get back to your chat, hey. Mike. I am. I am. Uh, Lady V says, "Oh, you got to change Lemon setting as main mod." Well, I thought I did. I thought I made him the main guy. So, um, well, okay, let me know. We'll work on that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'll squeeze the juice out of that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, congratulations, Mikey. Despite the technical difficulties, you keep kept plugging away. I'm very happy for you. Thank you, Brad. You're you're amazing. I'm awesome. I am a managing mod, but is there something higher? No, I think you are the, the highest lemon I gave you because uh, – you were the very first to, to <laughs> politely ask me, and I, I made sure that you would become that because you've done, yeah, admin mod. Okay, that's what she's saying. Lady be saying that. And then Trusty says, you have to look through the chat in YouTube, not StreamYard. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Well, hmm, let's see. 
Hold on just a second. I can actually bring, bring up bring up YouTube. Go to yeah. your your YouTube studios. My channel. Okay. And click on live. You 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 can see your live going. Click on that. You're done. Yeah. I can see the live. I'm clicking on that. No, it's it's a lot easier that way. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Remember to, remember to mute the speaker down below because you will start uh, reverbing. Like okay. That. Hold on, guys. Let yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. It's like teaching an old old woman how to drive again. <laughs> okay. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Wait. Okay. Do me a favor, uh, Mr. Dan. Go yeah. back. Go back into. Go. Go into this chat. All right. Go into the chat and say something. And say something, in there. Okay. Go ahead. LDG says, "Link me, please. You're in trouble." <laughs> okay. Hold on now. Hold on now. Then the three dots option, uh, you, you click on the three dots option on, on your YouTube. Tab I, I, hold on, yes, hold, hold, wait, this thing. I got it. Yes, add as moderator. There you go. Standard, you want standard? Yeah, I got standard. I got him. And send. That's it. You're in. We got it. Simple's pie. Oh, yeah. lemon pie. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Moira, here we go. Morning, Moira. Meow, meow. Hey. Hey, Moira. 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 I can't believe it's been almost, uh, it's been a year already. I can't believe it either. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, and, uh, Lemon Pie, you do have managing moderator. You have the highest level. You do. Oh no! He yeah. yeah. already does. <laughs> yes, super moderator. He is super moderator. Yes, he mm -hmm. is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh, let's see, beautiful ladies. Good to Don't. see you both here in the chat today and in the uh, panel. Appreciate Aww. it. Uh, you're welcome. And congrats, Aww. someone here on YouTube. Yay! Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Don't forget to send um, let's go quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna recognize chat here, guys, real quick. Uh, so Lady V says you better stop texting and driving. Tell that to Lemon Pie. He says I never do that, Lady V. I'm done driving. <laughs> Lady V says focus on what you're driving into, then get back to us. Oh, good. <laughs> Private na naughty chats. I think oh, that's my. what he was saying. Uh, congratulations on one year on YouTube, Raquel. Aww. Thank you so much. You girls, mm -hmm. you're awesome. Thank you. Um, hey, Raquel. Uh, Raquel says hello to Lady V. Hakeem says, hey, Raquel. Lemon says, uh, or Lady V says, Lemon should be the only one with that authority. Yes, he is, because he's managing moderator. Uh, Sif Dan, but I can do it too now that I know I can open the other window mm -hmm. and do it without breaking down or going off or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's just wonderful. Yep. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so says, yep, yeah, Lemon Pie. Raquel says, Hakeem. Let's see. Don't worry, ladies and uh, gentlemen. I'm going as fast as I can on this. Congrats, buddy. Thank you, Moira. Mwah. Thank you. Yeah. Lady V Elements, too. Mwah. Thank you. And uh, Moira from Lemon Pie. And hug Lemon Pie. He's been squeezed. You know he's been squeezed a lot tonight, gals. You know this, right? <laughs> and then the Sif turned blue. Yes, exactly. I you cannot do that. Let me play says. And he says, I mean, I literally cannot do it. I don't mean that I don't want to. And he says, Oh, you gotta change Lemon Sending his main mod. No, I don't need to change it. He's got he's got managing moderator. He's got it. He's got the main power. Um, uh, I'll squeeze the juice out of that. Okay. Um, Mikey, you're actually a, a little far, a little behind in, in your chance. So you're 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 repeating the ones you already said. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just so making go. sure that I'm covering everyone. I'm sorry if I'm a little behind, Dan. It's okay. That's all right. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're kind of repeating. You're kind of repeating yourself on old chats. In other words, you're, you're and I I don't mean to, but I actually I I want to because I want to make sure I'm caught up. I, that's why I do it. You would never see any. You uh, Raquel would probably do this. I know she would, and I know that Moira would if they lost track. 
and they're really good about that. And I even know Jim will do it. And I even know Jim will do it. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's just something I just want to stay caught up. And so I just go back and do you it. Try to be thorough. That's I'm right. trying to be thorough. You're right. Tell us more you. thorough about it. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What have you been so doing that, this longer than I have, Moira? It doesn't mean I'm better at it. <laughs> right. Okay, so Brad Wolf, of course, said, yes, congratulations, Mikey. Despite the technical difficulties, you kept plugging away. I'm very happy for you. Again, Brad, thank you so much on behalf of both of us, me and Suzanne. Uh, yeah, you're a managing mod, but there's there's something higher. No lemon pie, you do have the highest. Yeah, there's no admin mod uh, there, Lady V. He's got managing moderator is what they call it. Uh, yeah, you have to look through the chat and YouTube, not StreamYard. Exactly. Uh, let's see here. Okay, and Kevin says managing mods can time out standard mods. That is true. That is true. Uh, Lemon says, I've never heard of a mod making someone a mod. Channel owner has to. I'm fairly sure. Um, I'm fairly sure that you can. And I said hello to everyone. But if that's not the case, uh, Lemon, I can certainly do it myself. I don't mind. Uh, I have. I now. I now that I know how to do it. That's the thing. Uh, I'm still relearning. It's like I'm learning everything again. I have found many channels over moderate. Although on one channel, I had to block a moderator so I don't see his chat. Okay. Uh oh. Thanks, builder. Uh, Lady V says he would have had to authorize to run your channel from the setting as well. I think yes. And I'm pretty sure only Mikey can make someone a mod. Well, then I guess I'm the only one that can. <laughs> I can't tell you, man. Right. I have the power. <laughs> you would have to make Lemon Pie a StreamYard team member to give authority to add mods, I think. Yes, I can do that. I can actually add him as a team member. Yeah, I'll have to see about doing that. Hello, LDG. Hi, LDG. Everybody's in the panel says hello. Send him uh, away. Yo, guys. Hello, hello. LDG. Send him yo, away. LDG. Yep. Mikey, can you link me? Uh, I still have one space. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on, no. LDG. I'll get you in here. Just give me a second. You may want to check your backstage. Let me take the pot. Oh, okay. Hold on. Now there's he's not backstage yet. All right. Well, maybe, he's, maybe he's trying to find the link in, in your chat then. I, I have it in here. Yeah, I'm just showing it. There's the link there, LDG. Yeah. I'll have to type that out on his search bar. Right. Okay. That's why you send those links through uh, Twitter and that, and they get a little bit more, more, more faster. Yeah. Right. Yeah, guys, LGG, Mikey, yeah. I don't use StreamYards, though. That's what Lemon Pie says. Uh, scrambled mods with coffee? <laughs> yeah. I'm out on the town right now. <laughs> she is. Hey, LGG, Lady V says. Uh, Thank you, please. Thank you for that link. LDG is asking, uh, repost it. I can't get it, please. Okay. Hold Send on just a second. Twitter. He's Send on mobile. Twitter. He's on a mobile thing. Yeah. Yeah, hold on just a sec. Here, I'll do it one more time. Give me a minute. I really do appreciate you guys and gals helping me out here. You're welcome, Mikey. Okay. It's like riding a bicycle. You never, you never yeah. forget how. Absolutely. Well, uh -huh. Let me get down. Yeah, right. Let me get down to it here. There you go. Sci-fi. Now, Sci-fi, Sif Dan, you are a moderator, okay? Oh, we no. Got you, we got you moderated. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought it was Mr. Bill. Oh, my God. He sounded like Shining Lives, Mr. Bill. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh no, Mr. Boo. Yeah. yeah. I didn't ask to be managing mod, Mikey. Don't make me look like I see Pawa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> power. Limited power. Limited power. Oh, stop. <laughs> Although I'm happy to do it. Yes. Levin's the only one qualified. <laughs> oh, lady. Oh, me. My. You're qualified too. I gave you a wrench. Come on. Hello, all Sif. Uh, Lady V. All right, Hakeem. The Mad Lemon King always wants power. LOL. Mm -hmm. King of the Mods. That's a song, you know. <laughs> it's on King a meme somewhere on YouTube. Yep. Lady V Flattery will get you everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Mikey Seuss Ford, do you, uh, what? What's do that, Dan? Do, do you, uh, do you, it, yeah. Do what? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, oh, hold on uh, a sec. Wait, um, there he is. There he is. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, LDG, there he is. Hello. Sorry, Hello. LDG. I hey, got you. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's going on, everybody? Is that New Orleans? I'm sorry. I know you're waving <laughs> at me. Sorry about that. Looks like more, I'm over at, uh, more at Old Town right now, walking around. I was actually streaming and totally forgot that you were doing your, your stream. So I was like, oh, let me shut it down and come over. Yeah, and I got you now. I Great. got you. Awesome, man. So I'm at some pretty cool hey. place right now. You're going to have some cool uh, some cool uh, content over here. Mm. Walking oh, around. Yeah, on a, it looks like you're on a boardwalk. Oh, oh, he's on a boardwalk. Yeah. Well, he's in. Yeah. He's yeah, in Florida. Like that. Yep. He's <laughs> somewhere. Somewhere in Florida, LDG is perusing a boardwalk. Yeah, it's like a That's carnival fun. of goodies. A and carnival, all that stuff. sweet. Looks fun. And Raquel's Miss Raquel said hello to uh, Lemon Pie, and uh, yeah, Lady yeah, says lady. hey, Mayra, meow. Yeah. And the place is bursting with ladies. Mikey the Mac. Oh, <laughs> easy, easy now, there, Lemon. <laughs> no, nah, Mikey, Mikey has a soft spot for his wife. Hey, check this out. Oh, yeah. I do. I love my wife today. Got to that with yeah. Star Wars memorabilia. There you go. There, there you yeah, go, Dan. Thank you. Is it first order stuff Thanks, or, or or a classical Star Wars stuff? Cool. Got a Falcon. Yeah, thank you. And uh, Hakeem said, uh, "Oh, and there was uh, Suzanne waving her hand, saying hello to everyone, and hello. she blew a kiss. She blew a wet meow. She went meow too, ladies." Meow. 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 <laughs> oh. Hey, Moira. And then uh, that Lady V tosses sick dad. Mike, Mikey does what he wants. <laughs> Hakeem, <Wow>. LOL. <laughs> Just start your greetings. Uh, <laughs> I got you, LDG. Mikey. Or Miley. Miley? Didn't you just oh, call me Miley? I'm not Miley Cyrus. Come on. Stop. Uh, Sashi says, okay, I have to drive to my shop. See you guys. Okay, Sashi, be careful. Mikey does what he wants. Snap, snap. Uh, be safe, Sashi. And uh, hello there, LG. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, congrats, Mikey. You have come a long way. I, I tell you, there was lots of people waiting for me when I first uh, link came on th th this evening, gals. It was amazing. I had I already had like twelve people in the chat waiting for me already. Oh, nice. so it was just absolutely <laughs> amazing. Yeah, and uh, Lemon says yes. Congrats, Mikey. You have come a long way. Thank you, sir. You have been awesome for me, uh, for both of us, Lemons. So we appreciate yeah. it. It's your new power, Lemon. Make oh, LDG a mod. Would you pull my face, big baby girl? Oh, isn't he beautiful? Aww. We should have known yeah. if you got a laptop, he'd be unstoppable. <laughs> and, uh, guess, guess who this guy is? Uh, guess who this guy is, ladies? This is Stephen Mulvey from New Zealand. Oh, he plays oh. with us on Jeff Nerdy. Steve. Excuse for I'm really sorry. I have to say hi and bye. I have to go to my nephew's birthday party. That's all right, Stephen. I hope we see you tomorrow, Jet Nerdy, tomorrow night. But so thank you so much for for coming into this chat for us, Steve. You're awesome. You you're a brother. You know that, right? A brother from another mother. He is wonderful. Hi, and bye, Steve. He is wonderful. And uh, Lemon Pie says, Lady V, I have many abilities, but not that one. Hmm, Lady V says. Are you on PC or a mobile version, Lemon? <laughs> I'm definitely oh, PC. Come here. Come here. Yeah. And LBC says, I'm on mobile. Uh, yep, I see you're on mobile, buddy. That was before. I'm a chicken puppy. Here's the quote from Sif Dan. Oh, Dan, that was to you from Lemon. He says, some of those abilities to be considered unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh, another and, yeah, and uh Lady V mm -hmm. and okay, I think Lemon is right. And a limited power. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, and, you ever uh, see one of these? The oh, the pump power. Machine. Yeah, the pump the machine. had those. You guys want yeah. me to see how strong I am? Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. 
The machine the might take the deck. Ha, ha, ha. Would we do, we do it with one hand or two hand, uh, LDG? Well, you hold the phone. You're only supposed to use one hand, I think. There he is. Yeah, Screaming limited power hand. doesn't have the same range as unlimited power, of course. Oh, Edge of Time. Hi, Edge of Time. Who's causing a ruckus up in here? We yeah. all are. It's a party. It's a celebration. Mm -hmm. And welcome for coming, Edge of Time. Uh, Lady V, Hayes Edge. And hi, Lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we're almost mm -hmm. there. <laughs> Brad was says, PC or mobile? Actually, I'm on toaster. Oh, okay, well, you're on a toaster? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this. Says, Edge of Time, hi. And Akeem says, cute dog. <laughs> Guys, gals, <laughs> we're caught up on the chat. You got one more. Hi, Ed. Yep, I see them. Yep, Brad Wolf. Causation is necessary in a ruckus. That's just the law. Got you. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, and a quote from, from the Matrix, ooh, roughly. Ooh. Nice yeah. shirt, LDG. Oh, the game's a nice shirt. Yeah, yeah he's a big boxer, man. Hail, Brad Wolf. Okay. Okay, we're officially caught up, and I'm going to leave this one up there so that we know when it starts to roll again, we'll start acknowledging everyone again. Right, Ed? Mm. Sounds just good. Cook a, uh, just cooking a star there, Mikey. I only get one, but hey, that's not bad. That's still, the, yes. I wouldn't want to get by that. Oh, <laughs> too bad. Oh, I was man. hoping for nine ninety nine, but you know, whatever. Uh, it's rigged. They got a crazy roller coaster here, by the way. Yes, welcome, Akeem. So I want to show these one more time, everybody. Here is uh, Jim's channel. I know that Booger414 and his wife were interested in being clean-ons and participating on his, on his channel uh, with his uh, fan film productions. I know LDG wants to try it out, I know. And uh, Dan is going to try to become an engineer for us. And I'm already a computer voice. <laughs> so I, I'm basically the male version of Major uh, Com Computer. Computer yeah. Now. yeah, right. <laughs> computer, initiate the self destruct sequence. <laughs> computer, initiate self destruct sequence. Nice. Now, what do you say, Mikey, to that? Yeah, oh, well. Shit. You know. <laughs> anyway, StreamYard, there it is. That's the connection. Mm -hmm. Round, uh, right now we got six people, so we're good. But, you know, like I say, over the course of the night as we celebrate the party here, if anybody has to drop out, I totally understand. Um, and we'll get you guys in here as soon as we can. But if you guys are happy down there and I'm happy up here, we're all good, man. We're we're doing great. We're doing great. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, what was the other thing? Okay, hail Brad Wolf. Welcome, Hakeem. Hey, Edge of Time. And hey, hey, Edge of Time. We'll you got two days in there. Hail Raquel. Night Owls soon. <laughs> Yay. Yes, Night Owls for, for later. That's right. Oh, Night yeah. Um, I, I accidentally overslept Shady. last night. So I, I didn't do my stream last night. Ah, that's what it was. I tried calling. So ladies, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. was trying to call me, but I was dead asleep. Ah. So, ladies, how are you doing? It's good to see you, uh, Jim. You, you know the ladies, of course. Dan, you've been with yeah. them, right? Hello. I don't think I've talked to Jim before, but hello. Howdy, howdy. What's up? Uh, not much. How are you? Oh, um, just dandy. Splendid. splendid. <laughs> yeah, he, he's more long to gain a good workout. Yep, they're a dandy group. Mm -hmm. You're all very special. Everybody in the chat, everybody here in panel, my beautiful wife supervising, helping us out, and she's, of course, the most special woman in my life, so there we go. I'm, I'm a blessed man. I really am. And now, like I said, uh, I have been blessed. You, you were all very good to me during my rough times with my previous BOS computer so <laughs> over this past year so i really appreciate it and that's why this celebration is not just for me and suzanne it is for all of you it is Aww. to celebrate the kindness and, and and the compassion and the love and the support that you guys had for me hoping to get a better computer and hoping for me to be able to do more for chats mm -hmm. so i and, and for Streamyard. so absolutely this is not just a celebration uh it's a celebration for all of us 
Mm-hmm. It's not just it's, for the family here. It's, it's uh, for everybody. Is that, that a so kitty great. cat? That was a kitty. That was a kitty. That was a kitty. Like, was it a kitty? There was a kitty. Get, go get the kitty. I'll get yeah, I was trying to say that you, you, you were talking. The stray kitty right here. Oh, oh the stray you. kitty. I oh, oh, oh I hope he doesn't get hurt. Oh, watch over the kitty. Oh, don't let get hurt. Take that kitty home. Um, yes, they they all the, take the kitty LDG, home with you. Uh, well, the kitty yeah. doesn't look like it I wants only have, mm. I only have three cats at the house. I don't need a fourth. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have too much love to do. He, scared. he just he looked like he was crouching in the corner there and didn't want to go anywhere. I think it, so, I think it was a lot of people. Yeah. I think he was a little overwhelmed. Poor kitty. <laughs> well, um, well I mean, what, what do you expect when he has these swings that are going all over the place and you don't oh, know yeah. if it's going to hit him or, or what? You know, he's just going to, he's kind of handing out going, ah, I don't know what I'm, what's going on, you know? Um, uh, um, LDG, who, yeah. you, you may, you may well, you may yeah. well look behind you to see if the cat's still following you because he may chose you at, at, as, it's, as his new owner without you knowing it. You may want to check behind you. Yeah, I just did. Yeah, the cat yeah, is the system. Sometimes we'll give well, you yeah. He's enjoying all the people walking by him, I'm sure. Yep. Just have a couple here saying, Edge of Time, Rockers over Mods, Sir Lemon. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say that'd be true if you had Bill and Ted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, love the love for the kitties. I'm smiling like a fool over here. Okay, Brad. That's cool. Well, we're all cat owners. We love them. No, no, Jim is his dog baby's owner, and he loves his dog. I got kitties baby. upstairs, remember? I got two. Yeah, and a cat, sure. But we all love cats. Yeah. yeah. My cat's right, laying, yeah, yeah. Owners. We love them. Yeah. laying on my legs um, right now. I, I could ride the bull. How is, uh, how is Pumpkin doing, sweetie? She's doing good. She's laying on my legs right now, and I can't really move. <laughs> Indeed, indeed, Brad. Absolutely true. Absolutely true, yes. I think that's the only animal in the animal kingdom that actually sort of domesticated itself. I agree. I think that is such a cool <laughs> thing. Hey, we we are the servants, they are the masters. Okay. We just serve them. <laughs> that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's a we, beautiful it, it's a wonderful feeling of the world when a kitty chooses you. Indeed. It's kind of like we got a rock in this ancient Egypt thing right now because we worship cats and we put pictures of them up on walls. <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies, have you seen my review I do on Thursdays with the Almighty Isis? You remember? I don't know if you ladies were old enough to remember back in the late seventies they had a Saturday morning live action where they had Isis played by the uh, the lovely Joanna Cameron. Of course, she's gone now. She passed away three years ago. Rest in peace. But uh, it was called The Secrets of Isis. And then they had Shazam, an early Shazam. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I just like, you know, that's the Egyptian, you know, Ab- Abneset or oh, God, I can't remember his name. I'll really? remember who it was. But it was just a, a, the, the, the god of nature and stuff that was her way that she had her superpowers and she could fly around and do stuff. So, yeah, it only lasted 22 uh, episodes. Two, um, two seasons, but 22 episodes. That was it. Unfortunately, so. I wouldn't know since it's like way before my time. And only a little bit. I know. Time. You're young. You're still young. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> LDG, you're having fun. You're having too much fun, darn it. <laughs> oh, I really want some fried oat and, and, and a corn dog. Right oh, shit, girl. oh man, I could go good. Good. right oh, now. Man. Give me some popcorn and a hot dog and a drink. That's mm-hmm. it. Oh, and, and cotton candy. Cotton candy there. is good too. I like to like um. Do you ever have those fried doughs? Um, it's fried. I, I've dough. had those. Oh yeah, like the fried dough, and they have the Oreo cookie inside inside of them. Oh dang. That's wild. Yeah, if you, ladies, if you, I don't know if you've ever been to Arizona, but when you go to the Arizona State Fair, they have absolutely awesome Native American food there. I mean, it's just so, so good. I mean, they they have these uh, nice um, baked, uh, cooked, uh, oh, what do they call them? 
uh, well, what they do, they have they have meat and beef, and they roll it up into this nice fry bread. That's it, okay. Indian fry bread. And it, oh, oh my gosh, mm. the best thing possible. And then you can just put like all sorts of uh, additional uh, condiments in there. Uh, you can put all sorts of great sauces. They're great, Indian fry bread. That was one of the mm -hmm. biggest. That's one of the biggest sellers there. Yeah, funnel yeah. cake is good too. Well, I, there's two names for it. I call it fried dough, but I, I I tend to forget it's also called funnel cake. Funnel oh, cake. see, funnel cake would have made way more sense because I didn't know. Like I thought you were talking about <laughs> fried bread. Is what I thought. Well, it's been a while since. Yeah, it's been a while since I think Susanna or I have ever been to a fair. I, well, at least for me, because it was it's long been a long time for ago. me too. Uh, you, oh, did you guy? Did you girls and guys ever try fried Twinkies? No. Oh, my Twinkies? No. I was afraid my Ooh. pancreas would just quit Ooh. if I did that. that. That'll give you heartburn, but it's so worth it. A, a, oh. a, a quick Twinkie, a fried Twinkie, yes. It's yeah. just so good. It's yeah, so good. I, I want a deep fried funnel cake. I, I, want, I want a deep fried Oreo cookie funnel cake now. Holy there you goodness. go. There you go. <laughs> I, you know what I've had, too? Back in the day, I had. Oh, we can still got some people watching. Thank you, guys. Um, back in the day, I had a deep fried pickle, a oh dill pickle, a big wild. huge thing on a stick, and they would put that in the batter, and then you eat that. That's inside the batter. It's, that's, it's that's the wild. butter, and it, Ooh, yes, yeah. and that, they yeah. call it a dill pickle on a stick. I had that. That was fantastic. Mr. Sushi Express. That sounds good. I'd be good. What I found. Sushi. Hell sushi. yeah. Go for sushi, man. Unless you're a fish guy. I don't know. Is he a fish guy? <laughs> like I, I said sushi, and my cat just turned directly, her, her head directly towards me. It's like, sushi? Okay, right? <laughs> okay, no, no yeah. sushi for kitty. I'm sorry. Oh, look what Edge of Time said. Deep fried cake. That oh no. <laughs> yes. Oh a corn dog and a deep fried Oreo funnel cake and a some oh, water wow. drink. I'm all set. Yeah, and even Brad Wolf remembered deep fried pickles are awesome. Yes, they are, Brad. Yes, they are. Deep you gotta have the right dill, though. It's gotta be either a kosher or a nice dill. And then you tell them put it right in the batter, deep fried. Ugh. It's the bomb. And all you have to do is put ketchup and mustard on it, dip it in there, mix it all together, and, oh, yes. Uh, absolutely, totally awesome. Yeah, never forget where you come from, Sir Lemon. Stay humble. <laughs> He's he, he knows where he comes from, Edge of Time. He's good. He's got it. He's he's all good. He doesn't have to worry. Now what are you doing, LDG? I need a snack. Yeah, he's picking up some goodies. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm going to order some sushi, guys. I'm going to have a roll. I didn't expect to find sushi here. Hi, Bob. Okay. okay. Meow. <laughs> Got to throw in the meow for those ladies there. Uh, Brad Wolf says, there's a food place near my mom's area that has amazing barbecue spaghetti. Barbecue spaghetti? Wow. Yeah, Suzanne made, made us some pasta shells tonight. Awesome, Ooh. like Parmesan cheese, tomato sauce it was very good, delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know a lot of us were talking about you know, ladies, before you came on, a lot of us were talking about food, and they were saying to me, Hey, Mikey, if you want to go grab something to eat, you know, and I said, No, no, I'm covered, I'm covered. Suzanne took care of dinner already. Um, yeah, that's a that's not a bad one, too. Edge of time, deep fried Snickers with almonds, yes. Or I've actually had a deep fried uh, mounds, the ones that are without the almonds. You know, almond joys got nuts. Mounds don't because deep you fried know, your banana. Nuts, sometimes you don't. <laughs> yep, I remember that. <laughs> yep, deep fried stickers. Yep, they're good, but deep fried mounds are better. They're actually um, better. And Mikey, um, how much you ever at the LDG kind of hates us right now since we're still talking about food and he's looking at a menu saying, hmm, "What should I get?" Well, on I'm the trying. Menu? I'm trying to get him to choose something. I'm trying to kick him in the butt and say, "Look, grab something, eat something." Choose the fourth item. I don't know what it is, but I'm just throwing something out there. 
Well, yeah, choose the fourth one. There you go, Moira. Yeah, I don't know what the fourth item is. Yeah, I just don't know what it is. I don't know yet the either. Salmon roll with the half salmon. It looks really. You know what? The writing. Don't you agree, ladies, gentlemen? The, the, the writing looks very thin. I can barely even read it myself. Yeah, I can barely see it. We'd have to make it like the whole screen with that to see it. Uh, Mikey, you can enlarge, uh, enlarge it. All I need yeah. is like uh, go to LD LDD screen. Do you see it like a like a little uh, square icon on the, on the corner of the screen? So the layout, yes. Yeah, click on, on that. There he is. There yeah, you now we got it. There we go. Now we got it. Oh, well, here we go. Bradwell says, insert obligatory mounds and nuts joke here. <laughs> I just did it. Uh, but, okay. I got it. I've got it blown up, sir. So, you know what? I would go with the burrow poi. I'm having a beer and a butterfinger now. Not guaranteed to help one lose weight. Okay, let me. <laughs> here. Let's clear it. There's something called a burrow poi. Try that one. Chomp yeah. right there. Yeah. All right. Try that one. Yeah. It's got it's got burrow like you have like when if you're in Arizona yeah. and you have like burritos, it's got yeah. that kind of wrap, but it also has the poi in it. Yeah. Ooh. It's good. Money, 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 money. Well, I'm gonna have money. to walk off because I have to go see to the pizza. Okay, Brad Wolf. He says, I got to go work calls. All right, Brad Wolf. Well, thank you so much, my friend, for coming in tonight and helping to helping me and Suzanne to celebrate our one-year anniversary of streaming. We appreciate you. We'll see you uh, tomorrow night on Jet Nerdy if you can be there, okay? We love seeing you, man. Be I, I, careful. And have a good night at work. Have a really good night at work. I like that. Uh, your time says, power corrupts, Sir Lemon. See you in the gutter on your way back to home. That sounds like fight words there, Lemon. <laughs> you better be careful of Edge tonight. Oh, great. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's going down to eat something. So, LDG, you're not an animal, huh? You do actually sit at tables and eat? <laughs> yep. So, uh, Mikey, if you want to exit the solo thing, um, just click on uh, the little square um, icon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Now oh, there's everybody. <laughs> Oh my I, god. Because I have so, to attend to the Yeah, I got I got us I got us back. And he's there. There you go. Hey so, LDG. LDG, is that a diet soda you're getting or a regular soda? No soda. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the next door. It looks like a nice little uh I think my microphone's not working. Nice night bar over there. So I'll have a drink over Ooh, there. Oh nice. Okay, they got a bar. Cool. Get something mm. in my stomach before I do that. <laughs> I like when we hey, the way. LDG, how long have how long have you been growing your beard? Mine, this one is almost four months now. This one. Oh, I had to grow it. Yeah. Like how long? This is like this is like three weeks. Two, two, oh, okay. three weeks. Yeah, this one's almost four months growth here. Yeah. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get it as far as like here. Because if you remember, the few pictures you saw of me, I had it down to here. I had, like, beard thing growing. Like, I was full on Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that again. That's just too green giant. That's so was, uh, so, so was, uh, so, so was uh, Duke over there for a while. And so hey. he went full for hey. Yeah, but Jim, Jim cut off all his, like... Jim, you want to show him again and show where you cut off all your hair and your uh, where if you want? Because I know yep, where he is. <laughs> the question is, did did, did LDG see that, or is he not looking at his phone, or however the mobile phone usually works? Oh, he's on looking. Internet. He's looking. He knows. Uh, sometimes, sometimes Jim and I like to go into <laughs> LDG ground. There he is. <laughs> We go to his underground like that. <laughs> okay, uh, e e easy there, Curly. That wasn't just Curly. That's homage to Benny Hill, his little man that was bald and went and like that. And yeah. Curly, there you and go. Curly <laughs> Um, I, I do have to go. Thank you for having me on, and congratulations for, uh, you know, making it 
to one year on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, Rachel. Yeah, I have to hop off yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I don't think my mic is working, but well, then, um, then, uh, then see you ladies later. Then, all right, you guys have a good night. I'll catch you later. Oh, take care. Okay, Raquel, thank you so much for coming by, sweetie. You too, Moira. Okay. Meow, meow. We love you, girls. Meow. Meow. <laughs> there we go. And now it's four men. Yikes. <laughs> Once Mikey said he hired me as mod, yet I haven't received CAD1. Oh, come on, Sir Lemon. Now you're demanding some fundage from me. Come on. I thought I thought you were doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Come Mikey, on. Oh, Mikey, there could only be one on the screen. There could only be one. <laughs> LMA. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're caught up there anyway. Off of um, woman's head. Off of head. What's that, Jim? Sorry. Off of woman's head. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm reading stuff. Yes, uh, but I need to hop off and check the food hugs. Moira, DMs on Messenger. Meow. <laughs> meow. 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 <laughs> there we go. Whoa. I gotta learn how to type. Okay, there we go. Meow meow. Yes. So sometimes the panelists can have a complete, whole different conversation in the private chat than the, than the public chat can have. Sometimes they can. And that's no, no, and I mean, no, and I'm glad that Jim noticed. So that's why I just kind of went there, and I kept to myself. I didn't say anything. So I was just yeah, but I I, I did recognize. Thank you, Jim. I recognized that they were there in the chat or private, you know, in the private spot, and I was able to talk to them. Yeah. So the ladies, they got their own thing. They, you know, they do their own night owls thing, Raquel does on the weekends and things. And, and it's great. It's a great show. We go there and, you know, we hang out. And, uh, well, Dan, haven't you been to one of their uh, night owl uh, late streams? Have you been to one yet? Uh, no, I haven't. You should check it out. If you're awake, do it. Oh my oh, gosh. Is that wasabi? Wasabi. It's either wasabi or guacamole. It's green. No, it's, is it guacamole or wasabi? LDG. Wasabi. Wasabi. Okay. Well, well, they have the same color anyway. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean the wasabi is spicier than than guacamole. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> well, if you ate the whole thing, you, you definitely wouldn't need something to drink to, to wash it down with and not burn your throat to death. Hey, um, LDG, unmute yourself for a minute. How was that burrow poi? How was that burrow poi? How was the what? How was the burrow poi? Did you try it? The burrow poi? The burrow void. The burrow. B U R R O, the burrow, the burrow poi. What is that? That was the, it's like it's, it was wrapped in like burrow a burrito. <laughs> Would you stop, Jim? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it was wrapped like in a burrito, but it had the poi, like the sushi poi in it, like a burrito. I, what, did I have that today? Just now, because it was on your menu. I thought maybe you pointed it out and oh. had it. Yeah, no, no, no. So I've got these two right here. So oh, thank you. You're such a roll. Okay. Oh, roll in a, uh, crazy oh cool. Meal. Yeah, I'm not a sushi eater. Yeah, raw fish. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that salmon or trout? Salmon or trout? He, uh, Dan trout, asked if salmon, salmon or trout. Salmon or sushi. It's not? It's, it's hard not to hear. Hmm. Okay. Well, it, well, it is raw meat, so uh, sushi type of stuff usually is raw, raw. meat. Not raw. Right. Shrimp isn't raw, it's cooked. Yeah. And uh, let's see, while he's eating here, well, no, just was funny that you described it as hiring once. <laughs> okay. Lemon says, I gladly do this. Only compensated by Lady V sucking up. Okay. 
Yay. Oh. <laughs> she goes, what? <laughs> and uh, wasabi. Yeah, that's what Sir Lemon said. I know LDG likes wasabi. It's LDG lore. Of course it is. Jim, stop. You will excite Lady V. <laughs> Hi, Barnes Lawn and Tree. How idea, are you, man? man? Good to see you, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Greetings, humans. Yes, good to see you. Oh, my gosh, there's Pleasant Valley Picker. Gorilla stream just ended. Uh oh, right, really? PVP. Hold on, sir. Hold on. I'm going to post this to you. Um, uh, PVP, there is StreamYard. There is the link. Come on oh. in, PVP, if you want. We got two spaces open. That looks great, dude. I may not be a sushi eater, but I can tell you that looks yummy. Yes. That looks totally um, yummy. Did you have some walk in there? Yeah, he does. He has some oh, walk in there. there. Um, do, do you have your StreamYards link pinned uh, on your YouTube chat? I do, yes. Hmm. Yeah, it's stream. You... It goes, it's going at the same time. Yeah. No, 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 my question. Do you have it pinned to make it more obvious on your YouTube chat? That way, people that want to be on your panel, they just look in. There's usually a blue bar once you pin. I, no, I don't. I, 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 I'm still trying to learn how to do that to get it actually pinned into the YouTube spot. I'm still trying to learn that. It's the same way as you as you gave the wrench to uh, Dan down there. You go over okay. to YouTube. You yeah. Click, you click on your link and pin message. And pin message. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Hold on just a sec then. Let me get, uh, let me get caught up here real quick. Okay. And may, Hold on. And maybe Barnes can pop up. Yeah, and Pleasant Valley Picker says hi, yeah. and there's Lord PVP. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, PVP, Hakeem. Yeehaw! <laughs> I think oh, just oh, win. That's back, though. Okay. Well, I didn't know he was Barnes Lawn and Tree. <laughs> I don't know his <laughs> nom de guerre or nom de plume or whatever it is. Y'all know me. I know yeah. you, back, though. I know. Hi, Barnes. And Barnes says, hello, hello. And not seeing a link. Okay. Give me a minute, PvP. Let me uh, work on this here. Just a sec. All right. What's up, right. Lemon? Okay. Well, we're caught up, and I'm going to leave this on here. So let me go to my the YouTube channel that we're broadcasting live. There's Raquel's Night Owl. She just got started with that. And let's see here. da 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 Wow, there is a lot of live people on tonight. Yikes. All right, so let's go to my channel. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now I'm on the YouTube channel here. And how do I, guys, how do I go ahead and post it? Um, you you have to scroll down your chat or right pin the link to StreamYards in your YouTube chat. And you have to click on the, the link that it, on the three button option, then it should have a pin comment or or um, remove a link or remove or place comment on, on YouTube chat. There should be a few options for you to do that. Damn dogs. The wind's blowing yes. a lot around. Okay, here. wait a second. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Just just a second. There's not one, you know you know what's Okay, I posted I posted the stream yard. It's in there. I did the now, now press on the message or or go towards the three button option on the okay, message. I, well, I, hold on just a second. Yes. Okay, I go to the three buttons. Pin the message. Okay, there I'm you doing go. it right now. And it should come up on your on your YouTube and screen is, as, okay. as, a, as a blue bar. It should come up on your, your it's YouTube channel. It's all in there. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. It's fine. Uh, yeah. It took me a little bit to figure that out, too. But I had a YouTuber to help me figure that out, too. I have it pinned on YouTube now. So now the uh, link is there. And there's PVP. Hi, PVP. Hey, hey, hey. He found it now. He hey, found it. My keep on. Uh, I don't, hi, I don't guys. Have no yeah, you, 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 you put it up on the YouTube uh, stream, stream chat. So that's all cool. Yeah. I did. Yeah, they all helped me. I'm, I, it's, it's like I'm totally relearning, my friend. Uh, just, you real? Hey, I haven't done a lot. I I'm dying to do a live stream, but 
Oh, but I'm just so stupid when it comes to technical stuff. <laughs> like, okay, let's put it too. this way. I'm a techno-Luddite <laughs> in the <laughs> sense that I am totally ig an ignoramus, but I don't hate technology, but I might as well be a Luddite because I don't understand a lot of it. And uh, oh. hello, everyone, to our brother in arms here, Mr. J. Hi, Jay. Howdy. I'm just so proud to be here. Me Howdy. too, brother. <laughs> Me too. Jay, you would you would have been so amazed, so surprised. When Suzanne and I, when I logged in and, and began this stream back at 8 p.m. Eastern, we already had more than 10 people in chat waiting for me to begin. I oh, went wow. through so many uh, comments here. I'm just like, I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> I'm in a complete lap. Your, your, interview with the, your interview with that lady and that uh, husband and wife uh, duo must have got you a lot of uh, attention. Um, PVP says you don't post link in the posting group, Mickey, uh, Mikey. Uh, were you talking about posting that? Oh, I just did. Okay. Maybe that's what you were talking about. Cause I was just, Oh, and there's professor Brainy Spax. Brainy. <laughs> hey, Brainy. Mr. Jeff, congrats on one year, Mikey Seuss for Thank you. Thank you, professor. And I just got home from work. Oh, that's right. He's a librarian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it's too bad, Mikey, that, that, that your panel's full. You can invite him up, but that means one of us has to leave the panel, though, for him to come on, though. Well, you don't need to leave, like I said. If you, but it's now, okay, that's what I meant before when I said I can only fit up to six people. But if someone wants to just go back to the chat and wait a little bit, and if I somebody wants to have an opportunity to come up and say hello, that's fine. That's fine, Dan. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm not asking you to drop out or anything. I'm no, just I'm saying. Not, uh, I'm just letting you know, know that that since you have a link in your YouTube chat, some people may click on it and want to come on your panel, but your panel's full right now, which means if they want to come on for a few seconds, I have to. Well, have everybody, to. yes, everybody knows, including last week when I told them, I said, "Look, I only have that basic plan. I don't have the. It's the free plan, and I can only allow six people at a time. Mm. So they're all aware of it. Believe me." They're aware. You know, they know. I, I just got to say, actually, Mikey, six is not a bad number for a panel. Yeah. Because, have you guys ever been on panels where there's like 10 people or something? Yes. And yep. everybody starts cross talking yep. over top, <laughs> over top. Yep. And nobody can get a yep. coherent sentence in. And yep. it, I know other people I've talked to in the community that just hate that. Yes, when that happens, it's like, hey, Jay, okay. Good to see you. A lot of people just end up put hitting the they either hit Eleven. the mute the mute button hey, or they just or they leave right. Jay. So well, I think I, I think six is actually a, it is six, six is a good manageable number, Mikey, because you get up to ten, you're you're hurting cats at that point, right, buddy? I think so. It, it, it and you're and I and you're right, PVP, and then well, of course Jay will also agree with me. When there's like nine or ten of us, like when we had after shows with uh, Jeff Nerdy, and there's ten of us on the board all at once, there was uh, no way we were getting a word in edgewise, right, Jay? Nothing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of difficult, but yeah, and and that's why you have to puff puff out puff out your chest and scream over everyone else to, to let yourself be heard. That's how, what I have to do sometimes on a panel of ten people. Yeah, but if you do that too often, you you get the reputation as being obnoxious, which is why I try not to do it. Because you know, uh, if you try and talk really, over, you talk yeah. over people enough times, they're just going to start to just resent it. Like I don't do that. I used to when I first started a couple of years ago. I was an go. idiot. I was an idiot. I had to learn the ground rules, but I try never to talk over people now if I can help it. Though I still do, of course. Same you know, here. I, I, I don't want to really jump over just like right now. It does the same thing to me all the time. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Jim, I don't try to talk over anybody. You know me. I'm trying to be as polite as possible. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, well, well maybe my point is I do about half and half. Half the time I mute myself to stay out of the conversation. <laughs> the other half, when I want to get, when I want to put myself in the uh, conversation, I gotta raise up my voice and, and 
uh, make myself sound bigger than I am to get a word in edgewise. Sometimes I have to do that if I want to join the conversation on those huge panels. Well, Sometimes it, I yeah, this. it's always, uh, yeah. Uh, the person uh, that's walking, are they in New Orleans? Oh, no, he's in Florida. Jay? Yeah, like, oh. or, or New Orleans almost. Like, no, no, I'm in a place called Old Town. Oh, okay. And, yeah. And, and the one you're asking about, his, his name is right. LDG. Stop. Oh, that's LDG. Oh, okay. Hey, Yo, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, Brainy Specs uh, there, Jay, said, uh, tonight we had Chip Nerdy at the library. That's cool, Professor. Who actually won? <laughs> Was that you, Jeff? <laughs> Did you win? <laughs> I'm curious. I was just, I was curious. I, you know, you're having your fun there at the library, which is cool. I'm ready for it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I've, already watched, uh, I've already watched, I've already watched John's uh, Thursday Trek and I'm ready, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. No, he says no. I ran the board. Oh, okay. Well, then you're still a uh, awesome scoreboard man, okay? Or oh, he the ran the board, so he cheated. What's that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just oh. kidding. <laughs> Oh, and it is actually confidential. I can't tell you who was there. Can you tell oh. us who won? Oh, no, I guess oh. I can't. <laughs> can't tell you who was there. That means somebody that escaped from prison was there. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody running from the law. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. No, uh, I'm just joking. Just joking. Are you sure about hey, that? Um, Hey, Jay, go <laughs> yeah. watch Say hello. Say hello, darling. Say it to, to Suzanne. She can hear you. Hello, darling. Hello. Hey, hey, she said hello. <laughs> we heard it. We heard it. Yeah, Jay Aldridge is being a smart beep. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Professor. Well, always been smart. <laughs> yeah, hello. And awesome as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's smart, but he needs, he, he's smart, but he needs to hear about the beep. Yeah, right, right. I don't like saying the a word. That's just not right. <laughs> I just don't like saying it. Smart. Um, <laughs> just saying. Um, That's why I say ice yeah, instead of a I'm word. Sorry. I say ice. Yeah. There you go. Hey, gorilla. Gorilla raid. Hey, Gorilla, how are you? Gorilla. I got your banana, Gorilla. Gorilla. Look at that. Look how that sucker's so great. Oh, look at that. Jim's got Gorilla. a banana for you, yeah, Gorilla. Come and get it. <laughs> yes, I am. Hey, LDG, um, LDG do you, uh, would you like to allow Gorilla to jump up here and uh, swing, on, swing on in and uh, for a few minutes or... You can stay on if you want an LDG. I'm totally cool, but with you, but uh, you know, but if you want to, if you feel like you want to swing off for a few minutes, and I can get Gorilla in here for a sec. <laughs> uh, I, I don't care. The uh, stream yard is posted up here. We're just, you know, we only can get six. You know that, so we're just trying to work on that. We're here all night. Don't worry. We're here most of the night. So hey, Mikey, it's here here. all night. Okay. See now, did you? Did you see that, Jay? Uh, Jay uh, Professor said you're smart and awesome. Yes, I know. And then the hey, boy says, go ahead, and, uh, I'll go ahead and drop me down. I'll come back after or I, whatever, whatnot. I'll, I'm just going to have a drink over here. Yeah, yes, I do. Oh, and uh, Gorilla says, Jim, I don't even want to know where that banana has been. <laughs> 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 Oh, and, oh, and okay. uh, Mikey, uh, actually, uh, Gorilla has a good excuse to why he doesn't want to come up if you read if you read the next chat. So Gorilla's looking after his kid kiddo today because yeah, uh, the, the day the daycare cropped out on him and he had to look after the kid because uh, during the Walton stream, the kiddo, the, the kiddo yeah. was on the Walton stream like <laughs> incessantly going, "Daddy, 
Daddy. So you're saying that he had his personal Waltons? He had his own Waltons <laughs> he, 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 issue. Well, we, watch, <laughs> we, we watch Waltons every Friday, but he had his like three-year-old or whatever she is to look after today, and she was... Well, let's put it this way, uh, somewhat demanding, I would say. <laughs> oh, by the way, PVP, I did address your, uh, I see your link. Uh, panel members, if you want to click on that sometime later this evening for you to watch TV's Greatest, the channel there. He's got a link posted, PVP. Uh, no, LDG was not running from the law. I had to quote that. <laughs> no, I think you're running from the law. I posted in a private chat a link to the... Uh, opening uh, of the tv show the fugitive if you guys remember yeah that one. oh yeah we remember that sure so if you guys want to re relive those memories it's right in the private chat there if you want to click on that one gorilla my mother she would give me and my sister just a tiny bit it wouldn't even feel the bottom of the cup of nyquil Every uh, every night, well, not every night, but the nights that my mother and daddy wanted to have some alone time. I had the chloroform the child with NyQuil. <laughs> so I understand what you're talking about. Chloroform the kid. Come on. Stop really? kicking. It'll be over in a, in a second. Stop kicking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can't come up on uh, four for a kid at the moment. That's 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 uh, I'm hoping, Gorilla, that if you're going to use that tequila, you're going to have to use it in a very, very minute <laughs> sample. <laughs> Just so, oh, you know, so he, he wants his kids. To <laughs> he wants his kids to be like, "How do I am? How do I am? Nobody knows." Uh, 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 <laughs> don't have that do it tequila. Okay, well then. Hey scurvy. There you go, gorilla. No, no, no. <laughs> now you got, uh, got uh, London uh, covered. Yes. No, I, no, actually uh, what what Gorilla wants is to have his his kin knocked out for hours on end for him to have some peace of quiet and maybe join the panel without being disturbed by his kids. Well, I, you know what? I love kids. I don't mind if his little his little one is starting to, you know, scratch his leg or paw on him or something while he's here in the panel. I don't Ooh, mind at all. Those, the those wrong outside distractions don't bother subject. me. Hey, I'm a nice guy. Come on, Jim. I got to the wrong place. You might hurt. I got to got to say there were a couple points tonight where I, I was dead, sure. Jim. I wasn't sure if the kid was actually biting Gorilla or I know he jumped on his lap and he, he sounded like he was in so much pain. It was like, are you okay? <laughs> but he turned out he was, of course. But yeah, it was, let's put it this way. It's, it was very entertaining. But hey, if you guys have ever hung out on Jill's channels, like I had yep. done far too many hours, she yep. her kid is always like, mommy. Mommy, and it's like, oh, sorry guys, I gotta take a, I gotta mute. I'll be back in a, like, you know, 20 minutes later, she's back because, you know, she had to like, I don't know, make chicken soup for the kid or, you know, show her her great, her favorite movie or something, right? So, I totally but get maybe it. She, the maybe kid she needed some the great perform. But actually, it's maybe kind of fun. The I think it's fun. I think it's fun actually hearing. Hearing gorillas and Jill's kids in the background, like de making demands. Yeah, I, I, I get a good cool. laugh out of it, you know. Hey, PVP, you never know. She might have done the Vulcan neck pinch and knocked her kid out. <laughs> well, she, I don't think yeah. she'll ever admit that, though, will she? <laughs> you no, know, she won't, but maybe she does. She is a Vulcan, after all. She knows well, the neck pinch. She knows what to do. You never know. She did do review Tank Girl this morning, which was closed panel, so Thank I didn't you. bother joining it, but. Uh, you know, 
if if Jill loves Tank Girl, maybe there's a dark side to Jill we don't know about, right? <laughs> maybe we'll have to ask her sometime. <laughs> I actually I actually did a post in the in the uh, the chat because I I was on there this morning while I was drinking my tea. I I they were talking about Tank Girl about you know killing people or you know, oh no Jill was saying oh I I I could get hard like Tank Girl, but I oh, probably. Geez. And people were saying, "No, no, don't do, don't do that, Joe. We love you as you are. You're, you're so nice and sweet. We love you as you are." And then I put in, I put in the chat. I put in, "Tank Jill." <laughs> Thank you. I, they, I saw I, that. I, I was there. Remember, I did. Posted, I, you posted a laugh to it, Mikey. Is why I brought it up, right? I did, right? And I yeah. told you also. I told you also that I said, "What's not to love?" You had Lori Petty. And Malcolm McDowell, I said, you know, what's not to love? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I have, I've never seen the film. I haven't got around to watching it. But I did make a comment partway through when I was on there for, you know, like an hour or whatever. I said, this film kind of like because, you know, Jill has all her cool slides like she always yeah. does. And I was, you know, after about half an hour of watching those, I was like, you know, this film reminds me a lot of like... Uh, um, um, oh God, Buckaroo Banzai, right? Well, I've seen Buckaroo Banzai with you know, uh, John Lithgow was good in that. I mean, at playing the alien, I thought he was hilarious. Um, but you know what? I quoted in there, I quoted in there, Remo Williams. Yeah, uh, the Yonder begins with uh, Mulgrew and uh, Fred Ward. I still think that's one of the best indie type films that. You know, yeah, a little bit better than Buckaroo Banzai and a little bit better than Tank Girl, in my Re opinion. I mean, Remo I love it. Was Remo Williams like a spy film or something? It was like a spy film. Yeah, Remo was like a spy, and Mulgrew was his boss, and and uh, you know, she was in the military and everything. I just thought it was so cool, and I, I you know, I mean, it's been it's been a long time since Remo's been. <laughs> His boss was um, something great. Um, uh, I can't think of his first name. He was in the very last episode of Dallas. He was playing uh, the devil. Oh, um, wow. Wow. That's, that's he, a, that's he a was, special uh, <laughs> he made Jr. think. Uh, Jr. thought he was an angel, but at the end, he was Satan. Oh wow! Uh, LVG but, says, uh, "Really, get your butt up there." Uh, LVG he, um, says, "Where's he at the moment?" <laughs> Tank he played. Uh, awesome yeah, ice tea he in played, it. Yes. He played a um, a it Korean. Like he played a Korean. Um, Mentor for Re Rima Williams, he was teaching him Sananju. Yeah, bless you. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> Kate Mulgrew was uh, was a um, a captain in the army at the end of the movie. Was there only one Rima Williams film, or was there a sequel? There was no, there one, was only one. Just but the one. They tried to do a TV show, but the pilot didn't get picked up. Okay. Right. Yeah, the they did try a TV is, series. That would have been cool, Jay. The pilot episode is on uh, is on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That would be a good one. It is on YouTube. We, we can find it. Yeah. Sorry, LDG. Yeah, he says, well, I left for nothing. Nothing. Gorilla's. <laughs> Uh, hopefully going to be on, I think, soon. I think he's just got his kid to deal with still. So, Hey, I told Gorilla, anytime he wants to come on tonight, more than welcome. He's he's welcome. I, I love having him on the panel. I'm just wondering. He doesn't do it often, but and, well, like I say, I've right now I've got four awesome gentlemen here, and when Gorilla comes sure. on, we're just gonna be we laughing in. our asses off, so you know. <laughs> I just wanted Where? to ask. Who came in? Oh, you 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 made a mistake there, Mikey. It's not four awesome gentlemen; it's five awesome gentlemen. Well, I don't. I don't. I I, 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 I I'm humble. 
just, just I'm saying. humble, BVP. I don't want to include myself. <laughs> okay, well, don't let don't let that go to your that, don't let that swallow your head now. Don't let that swallow your head. Now. I'm not oh doing Lord, that. Lord, it's hard to be hey, humble. humble. Down there. Perfect on. in every Hold way. Again. <laughs> okay, there's LDG. All right, so just just hit me when he comes on here. That's fine. Well, when he's hey. ready, he'll right, let you know. Let 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 the bug the heck out of you, and when he's yeah. ready, then you can go if you want. That's okay. I just I just want to ask Mikey, is the Remo <laughs> Williams? Uh, there's like spy films. Is that like the uh, Derek Flint movies we watched like a month ago that I suggested when we put that on Gorilla's uh, uh, Sunday streams? Yes, very <laughs> similar because Remo Williams. Okay, you got to understand. Fred Ward was in Tremors. I think you all remember Tremors, right? I love did, like, Tremors. Love. I hate Tremors. Yes, especially the that first one. After, with Kevin uh, Bacon. That's, that's, a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. I like that film. Yeah. Okay. Gorilla says five minutes there, LDG. So Tremors like was, five uh, minutes, was which after. usually means ten minutes for him. <laughs> okay, Tremors Gorilla. Was Tremors was after Remo Williams, Mikey. What's that for Remo? Say it again, Jay. I said Tremors was after Remo Williams. Right. But I'm saying that even when Remo came before Tremors, we saw some some potential there in Fred, and uh, I really loved him when he did Tremors. So, yeah. I liked him in Remo. I liked him in Remo, but I also liked him in Tremors. So, yeah. And he's done a lot of other ones, too. Don't forget, he did Apollo 13, I think, didn't he? I think he was um, in that. Was I'm he in that? Sure. What character did he play, I, one ball when ready to be. I I thought he was. I thought he was, like, in one of the early I'm astronaut sure programs in that movie, but I don't know. Yeah. Jill just did that like a month ago on her Friday stream, and I was on the panel, and I don't remember him. Hello. But Maybe, Maybe he was like a minor character or Apollo something. He might have been a minor character in that. Yeah, yeah. we did the Apollo 13 movie wow. and we had, a, we had a blast. We had a great time. Yeah. So, LDG, how was your uh, sushi? Su su sushi. It was really good. It was actually, it was, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the crazy roll was the crazy roll was like a five five. Really? Yeah, the spider roll was like a solid seven nine. Um. Can I hold on, for, Dan? Do you mind if I just let me bring Gorilla in here for a sec? Uh, he's Thank not in there. there. I'll, I'll bring you back. Don't worry. Hi, Gorilla. Hey, All right, gorilla. I hear one person mentioned that buttholes. I'm out. I've had most of the of that today. So how you doing, Gorilla? Everything all right? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, did you hear what I said though? Uh, well, say hey, it again. Say it one more time. Yeah, if I if I hear one mention of wet buttholes, I'm out. I've had to listen to enough of that today with the two guys at work today. <laughs> <laughs> a gorilla screw uh, a gorilla uh, scratches butthole all the time. So what's the difference? <laughs> it's my own. That's true. I know where it's hey, been. Oh. Hey, hey, PVP, he, he uh, let's have a moment. Read what, uh, read what uh, Sif Dan said to you, or did you already read in the private chat? Yeah, well, said, no. Sorry, I, I was just looking for an appropriate sushi video there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, could, you could check that. The quality is horrible, but the song is good. Okay. Okay, okay PVP. Did you buy some Video Maker? And program to start making some music videos, or are you still stuck in the Stone Age, where it comes to make music videos? Plus, have you figured out how to do live streams? Oh, with StreamYards or any other streaming service that you do not need some help to figure out stuff. Uh, no, I have, I have not figured any of that out. Uh, Dan, because I am a Neanderthal nincompoop uh, that does not understand technology. And I'm, I'm also, I'm also an honorary Luddite. Anyway, that, that, was my, 
that was my Frank Zappa <laughs> impersonation of sarcasm. If any of you guys picked up on that, because uh, I love yes. Frank Zappa. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, hey, Mikey. Yeah. My, Mikey, can you just hear my voice, or can you hear the music in the background? Both. I can actually hear it's your voice. There, like, hear the music. I, I, I don't hear I, music. Think, I hear yourself. Do I need Do I, I need to mute know. when I'm not talking? Um, we can't understand what the music is saying. Well, you, you're the master. Well, I'm not. It's well, not that well, bad. We can, it's, it's we can hear the music, but I don't I, think I'm it's here. enough to be picked up. I don't right. understand I'm 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 what the music is saying, okay, LDG. Guys, guys, calm down. Calm down. Uh, let Gorilla ask LDG first what he was asking. Then you go ahead, Brother Jay. Well, well, LDG, we can hear it, but I don't think it's enough to get picked up for copyright. Right. Uh, it was it was incoherent music. I couldn't tell what the hell they were playing. Yeah, I couldn't tell anything there, LDG. I know you were talking. Go yeah, ahead, brother Jay. I wouldn't worry about it, buddy. I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry. I see hair on that hand. What the hell are you doing? I'm I'm at a, a bar slash nightclub at Old Town having a drink or two. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Oh, hey, Gorilla, that's directed to you. Yeah. Yeah, um, LDG's at the same club that Stifler went to in American Wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that answers your question, Jeff. Oh, buddy. It sure does. What? Back <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Mikey? Yes, sir. Uh, the Remo Williams movie didn't do good at the box office, but it uh, had a Academy Award nomination for Best Makeup and lost yes. to the movie The Mask. Yes, I know. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they had won they, the they Academy did. Award for Best uh, Makeup, they probably would have got a sequel. Well, they would have at least a sequel, or like you said, they would have got a TV series, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, because Jim Carrey is a nut job, and because he, you know, they decorated him so well in the mask, that's why he got an Academy No, Award. not that mask. Not that mask. The, the mask oh, okay. is um, uh, with Cher. It's about oh, Cher the and, Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who looks like uh, Elephant Man. Yes. Okay. Yeah. One, yeah, okay, that doesn't surprise me then. <laughs> that was Eric Stoltz in a uh, a, a elephant man type, yeah, makeup. I didn't yeah. like that movie. No, I didn't like it much myself, but but I have to admit though, but I have to admit though, the Eric Stoltz uh, makeup was cool, even though it looked bizarre. <laughs> but uh, uh, Joel Gray had to sit four and a half hours in the makeup chair every day to. Look, Korean. He did, yes. I heard that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh guess yeah. what From I Emo? heard uh, the other day. Yeah. Uh, in Star Trek Three, the search for, uh, not Star Trek Three, Star Trek Two, the Wrath of Khan, McCoy, in the script, McCoy was going to say he's dead, Jim. But instead of that they oh, decided messy, Scotty would say that he's dead. Oh, okay. God bless you, sweetie. God bless you. I don't think, I don't think anybody said that in the film. <laughs> yeah, Scotty said, um, uh, he said, uh, Kirk said, uh, he'll die. And Scotty said, he, sir, he's dead already. And looks uh, at McCoy and he says, it's too late. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lemon Pie was, I guess, addressing you, Professor. He says, because they are trying to enforce an actual national border while the federal government intentionally ignores it. That's that's why uh, Gorilla has that standing with Texas. Well, they deployed the National Guard to tell, to tell the Border Patrol to go fuck themselves. They're, they're going to stop them themselves. Uh -oh. Right. Hey, frack themselves. Not that word. Frack. Frack. 
Frack, frack. No F bombs there, Gorilla. Damn it. Fracking grill over there. Oh, so they, they take out, uh, they take yeah, out video. Now you're part. asking me to censor myself. <laughs> <laughs> gorilla. Well, it's like Troy says, we never know what you're going to say. That's why we love All you. Because right. we don't know. I, I am so I love glad you made that, that flavor there. It's coming so handy on our Walton streams. Yeah, and do you realize, too, that that disclaimer, ever since you got that, he not only gave you that, but he also gave you some more subscribers. You keep getting subscribers all the time because of that disclaimer, because people know it's real. They know that you're a real person, and you speak your mind, and right? So I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely speak my mind, or, or else we wouldn't have been talking about chicken scissors. Uh, uh, no <laughs> yeah. Hey. I know. I Ooh. remember that. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike. Hey. Yeah, you better remember you're the one that started it. No, no, it was it was one of the people in the chat that started it. And uh don't, whoa, don't you, and don't, Gorilla? Don't you remember a certain lady that knows about this stuff? Because I've never been on a farm. And we were talking about roosters and reproduction with uh chickens and roosters, and she said Actually, roosters don't have cocks. They have lips. And I was like, what the? And then we got into the whole scissoring thing after that, Gorilla. Don't you remember? Yeah, but you're the one that, that when I, by correcting my joke, with, uh, with Grandpa waking up at the crack of, crack of the rooster. <laughs> well, I can't remember yeah. the details. But it was something other people had put in chat that triggered it all, Gorilla. Like, I was just responding, yeah. man. You think I know enough about? You think I know enough about farm life to know that uh, you know that uh, farm is the reason I to be. Anyway, no, I think that's you yeah, know what I think that's what you, me, Jay. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm coming up with an idea here. I think oh, that's God. what you, Gorilla, me, and Jay and PVP should do. We should do the, uh, you know, that show the the Albert and. Uh, Shasha Gabor, the Green Acres. We should do that oh, show. Lord. No, oh, Lord. <laughs> Green Acres is good. That's a good fun show. Oh, we should review it. The four of us uh, should have a panel yeah. put together, the four of us, and we should all review with Green Acres. Yeah, you got you oh, got Eddie, you got Eddie Albert, you got Jaja and her prime. You got Woo! Mr. Mr. Jaja, Haney, yeah, Mr. right. Mr. Oh, Haney. Right. Mr. Haney. Mr. Haney, what was it, Ed, the farmhand or whatever? I can't remember all the characters now. Yeah, Mr. Well, Ziff, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Ziffel and Arnold the Arnold, Pig. Arnold the Pig, uh, yes. Arnold, yes. Arnold yes. their adopted son, right? Yeah. yeah. Who, was the, uh, who, was the, who was the 4-H guy? And I know Jim remembers the, the, the series, so he could actually join us. So then we'd have like a five- uh, guy panel and uh, reviewing Green Acres. Yeah, if it's, on, if, there it's we go. On, if it's on weekends when I'm not working, I would absolutely be there because I really. Who was the four H guy? Yes, Mr. Kimball. Mr. Mr. Kimball. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Kimball. Yeah. Mr. Drucker. Yeah. And you know you. what? The great thing about Green Acres was it associated with other shows. Remember, it did a crossover with Petticoat Junction. Petticoat it Junction. did a crossover with, uh, what was the other one? Yeah, the famous Beverly, Mr. Beverly, Ed. Beverly yeah, I did all of those Beverly things. Hill, yeah, Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly, Hill Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Even did it with Batman, too, right? Just I th one one thing for Batman. <laughs> yeah. But that's about sure. it. I'm not sure about Batman, but I'd have to. I know. I, I just kind of threw it in there so, so to get oh. it you know, thinking again. Well, Batman, you know, there, you know, uh, I never thought about it when I was a kid, but in recent uh, couple of years talking to you guys on here, the Batman effect is actually a real thing, it seems, because it affected yeah. a lot of shows. Yeah. But mostly for the negative, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm I'm yep. still sad about Adam West though being gone. I really miss him. Oh, because yep. if you think about it, Burt Ward's the only man left. <laughs> I mean, everybody well, else is gone. Hey, maybe we should celebrate Burt Ward then. You know, I I think we should. Robin, Robin, I think it's really appreciated. Oh yeah, she's still alive. Yeah, Catwoman too. Yeah, Newmar. Yeah, she's still alive. Hey, uh, Mikey. 
Yes, sir. I wanted to mention uh, when uh, I was watching your your Shazam Isis uh, video, you were uh, you were saying that um, that I had I was sure you were sure that I had a good reason for not coming. Yes, yes sir, sir, I did. I, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot to come? Oh my goodness. I know, brother, but you know, I, I, was, trying to be, I was trying to be uh what's the word? I was trying to be uh oh, you know what? I can't even think of the right word to say, but I was trying to be understanding. Okay, maybe that's mm -hmm. it. I, I don't know. But that's that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to be nice. And I was saying, like, yes, he's got a reason. I'm sure of it. And he loves us, and, uh, and he's sending his support wherever he is. So <laughs> so even from bed bedside. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, and uh, Gorilla, are you still here? Do you want to thank Professor Brandy Specs for your standing <laughs> with Texas? Hey. What? Well, yeah. uh, oh, I wasn't on the thing here. I was... Uh, uh... Oh no, that's okay. I I I kept yeah. it up here for for a purpose so that yeah. oh. uh, Jeff can thank you, Gorilla, because you know uh, Jeff lives in Texas too. He lives down there yeah. in Texas. That I from? Yeah. I, I mean, it's one th I, you know. And here's the here's the distinction that people need to make. I am for, for immigration. You know, let's build the brain power of other other people, but do it legally. Legally, now this crosses the border, that then all of a sudden you're getting ten thousand dollars plus <coughs> get to stay at a luxury hotel and plus something. get all your meals paid for. Fuck that. Yeah. Or frack that. I Sorry. had a question. Yeah, I had a question for LDG. Hey, LDG, if you're listening still, uh, how many? If yeah, you're allowed to, say, how? Yeah. How many immigrants do you have coming to Florida every t every year, like on average? Nineteen million. <laughs> no, it's not that many. Sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, I was saying that, that. Uh, how many how many immigrants do you figure you average? Okay, let's just say per month they come into Florida through any means, like anywhere. How many immigrants? I yes. have no clue. I can see all these here. It's a lot, though, right? I, I got no clue. I'm having a hard time understanding LDG. Oh, he, he, no clue. Clue. he has no clue. He's he's trying no. to be uh, well discreet. You got to define. Last time I checked, we're in America. We're all immigrants. Ah, well, okay. Thing is, there are Amen. two types of immigrants. There's the legal ones and the illegal ones, right? So we should make that distinction, perhaps, guys. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, we go with that. Because I was actually watching a uh, YouTube video earlier today while I was waiting for you and Gorilla Streams, and this guy, he's an American dude. He has a channel. He has this fascination with Canada for some reason, and he'll yeah. often watch like our. You know those Canadian minutes. You know about you know Canada, or he'll he'll yeah. just watch random videos that people have posted about Canada. And right. he, he had this one was hilarious. He took the immigration test, which is twenty questions. <laughs> and I was watching the poor bastard today, and he was like, he was just like he got like I gotta give him credit. He got like nine out of twenty right. So. If you get more than five, five, if you're allowed to get five wrong before you fail, right? So obviously oh, he fails course. big time. But I was just like, he was like, oh, what's this? And I'm like, dude, it's Quebec City. And he's like, <laughs> that's the fort they built, like Champlain's Fort. And he's like, yes. what's the province with the biggest hydroelectric <laughs> production? I'm thinking Quebec. And of course, he picks <laughs> Ontario. He says, "Oh well, Ontario is the biggest population, so I'll go with Ontario." It's like, ah, no. Yeah, there you go, with PVP. He says PVP. Hey, <laughs> well, well, in all fair, fairness, there the people of Quebec don't consider themselves Canadian. 
Well, they're still we still have them entrapped in our nation, so fuck them. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Carp. okay, okay. Safe okay. Over carp. No F bombs, please. Take, Don't do take, that to I me. Take, I take that back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's Friday night. That's I, I got a little okay. loose and goosey there. Hey, hey okay. uh, PvP, you're not on my channel anymore. Yeah, that's oh. right. Oh. Well, I wouldn't say you're restricted. Oh. <laughs> uh, did uh, did you take his wrench away yet? <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. Who's who's wrench? I didn't take any wrench. I, I actually have nothing against the people in Quebec, but don't remember we. I know. I'm just teasing you, man. We had that referendum like back like 30, 40 years ago, where. They voted to leave Canada, and the referendum failed by like one percent. Yeah, they did. The, the people in Quebec voted. Most of them, a lot of them, voted to leave Canada. It was like, like forty nine fifty one or something, right? And they stayed in well, Canada. So it's like, well, there's a lot of people in Quebec, in Quebec that don't Quebec exactly love English Canada either. So that. to be fair, yeah. What was that about? We had a referendum. It was, they yeah. had. They had the right. To, they well, out, since but, we're a democracy, they had the right to yeah. actually separate from Canada and become an independent country. Though I don't know why they want to, because their economy would have dived right without the rest of Canada. Their economy would have gone to the dumpster, I bet. Because then they would have. Well, think they would have had to renegotiate all the trade treaties with the USA and the rest of the world. Because yeah. they've already got those in place, right? So, I think it would have been a disaster, but. It's like, well, do you guys remember the FLQ crisis back in the 70s? Uh, something like that. I was just going to say that Suzanne was reminding me that when they had Transformers that went down, Quebec was trying to get the power, and they said, well, you want to be in your own independent uh, you know, province and city. You know, We're not going to help you if you want to do that, you know, unless you're relying on Canada, the country itself, to help you and... Uh, she was just reminding me of that. I was like, oh, well, that's how they are, you know. They treated my, I think they kind of treated my mom and dad badly because, uh, you know, our last name is Fournier. And, you know, my parents, they didn't really want people to know that they don't speak French, right, at all. And okay. they went and they went to a tour of Montreal and some French Canadians actually found out they were Fourniers and started talking to them in straight French. And my, my mom and dad were just, you know, dumbfounded. They didn't know what to do, you know. And, and, uh, what the fuck I, and, and even my mother had <laughs> said to me that she felt embarrassed. So, you know, well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm afraid to go to Don't Quebec. be embarrassed at your name just because you can't speak the language. I, I, oh, yeah, I'm not ashamed of my name because it's prominent. I, I, I had a pope for. For Christ's sake, who you know, way back in the day, his name was Benedict the Twelfth, and his name was Jacques Fournier. I'm proud of that. I had a pope that led led the world from the Catholic Church, except so it was you, in France. You think you might have descended <laughs> from that pope, Mikey? I am descended from that pope. I I trace my lineage all the way back. Oh, I told my cool. dad I'm traced. I'm back. Wow. Yeah, all the way back. Well, yeah. I don't I don't have anything that important, probably, but uh, I was just going to. Well, say, I mean, know, I looked it up. No, I looked it up and then I, I did I, I did my own form of ancestry and traced it. So yeah, I go all the way back to Jacques Fournier. We have yeah. a we have had a very complex English Canada and French Canada. Um well the thing was the French and English founded this country before it was called Canada, and we had some great French Canadians and English Canadians that came together and we're actually very close, like brothers that founded this country, and it's yeah. you know, before before Confederation in 1867, right? Sure. And so, so I have a great deep respect for a lot of you know the the French Canadians because they did, they are a big part of our country. I can't not yeah. deny that. And but yeah, now, still, Sif Dan, yeah. Now PVP, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but Sif Dan is asking you, PVP, do they as well have all the syrup? Actually, maple Quebec, syrup. Quebec actually does produce a lot of maple syrup. They do. Yes, they do. As well as some. But I've had Canadian. I've had power. pure Canadian maple syrup. I don't know if you guys on the panel have tried pure Canadian maple syrup, but it's a lot better than the stuff you have in the states. We have maple syrup in the United States as well. Yes. Probably, probably it's imported from Canada, though. I'm guessing. 
No. Oh, I'm guessing. No. <laughs> there, there was a video of a guy that uh, went and uh, visited a maple syrup um, cannery thing in the United States. I think it was, it's uh, in the Appalachian Mountains. Did they oh, in Kentucky? It, they, they tapped it out of the trees then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, if you know you're 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 t getting it tapped out of the tr out of the tree, you're getting genuine stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know who mentioned you know who mentioned about that too, Jay was uh, Tony Stark of Iron. I don't know if you've been to his channel, but he's from Kentucky. He's been to Louisville uh, and stuff. Well, and they, they also they it they it and from the trees there. Yeah. They cook it and they filter it and everything. It's it's a of full course. thing. They showed it on a video and it's it's cool. Yeah. The way they show uh, how they get the maple syrup from the tree to the process and to the uh, homes. Yeah, right. they got they got to tap it, I believe, with a spigot. If I remember, they hang uh -huh. a bucket. Into they bucket. hang they hang a bucket on the spigot, and it drip, yep. drip, drip, yeah. drip, drips, and the tree gives us that yep. beautiful syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we got. Uh, yeah, we still have three people watching. Thank hey, you, you so much, love, guys. You gotta, you gotta love Mother Nature's uh, generosity, right, guys? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I wanted to ask Gorilla, Gorilla, because uh, is is fishing really like one of your big trades, right, in <sighs> Minnesota? Not commercial. Like local Are you fishing, right? Admiral? <clears throat> local. No, no, we, no, 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 we just it was big recreationally, but not uh, for food. Not for like, oh, okay, so food. Tur tourism is a big thing, then, right? Your tourism, yeah, for, for local fishing, you, you know, for your own food, but it's not for industrial, yeah. Is the Mall of America still there? <laughs> eh, no, it's blown it up yet. They haven't blown it up yet, you know, because they got rid of a lot of balls across the United Our States. Our mall is barely uh, surviving. They're barely surviving. Yeah, I had two major is. malls. Yeah, no, I had we had three major malls that closed down ever since I've moved up here to Canada. Uh, we had one where we lived. We lived in an area of Phoenix, which was called Paradise Valley. They built a place called Paradise Valley Mall. Well, that's gone. And before that, we had a really nice mall, which was over on the east side of town. Or, sorry, the west side of town. In Glendale, they call it. And uh, in Peoria. And it was called Metro Center. And that's gone. And way before that, they had one in Scottsdale, uh, which used to be called Los Arcos. And that was gone. So, I mean, there's very oh. few malls left. I think one of them is... Arrowhead Mall. Somebody mentioned that to me the other night, and it's one of the very few places left that has an actual huge IMAX auditorium style theater in there. So that's why I was asking Gorilla about Mall of America. So no, it's still there because they got like the House of Comedy and all and that upstairs. They got a bunch of restaurants, good restaurants in there too. And you know, you got a lot of your specialty shops all in one spot. So here the have you been there yourself? I'm assuming you've been there yourself. I go there like three times a year. Wow, that's awesome, dude. My parents are only like 20 miles from it. Oh, yeah. I see. So when you go visit mom, yeah, your mom and dad. So cool. Yeah. yeah. So you're, uh, you're 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 not far from a major mall then, girl. Okay, wow. Well, actually, yeah. I'm 200 miles. My parents are 20. Yeah, the parents are only 20. So, so when he so, makes that yeah. long trip to see his mom and dad, they go to the Mall of America and camp out. You make a road Those trip. Those are young parents. parents being 20 years old. <laughs> it's quite amazing when you think they're 20 years old and a girl is like, you know, probably close to 30. That's, that's are remarkable. Are you kidding? Well, he could have been Gorilla's, a dog. Gorilla's a long living, he's a long living uh, man on two feet. We could have been a dog. Gorilla <laughs> en en entered the universe from a... From a, a multi-dimensional uh, time warp, uh, and that's why he's here. If you look at my picture, that's where he came from. Look at the apes on the bridge here. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Finally, the apes. Whoa. Oh, the gorilla secret is finally out. <laughs> Damn it, hey, man. Uh, gorilla, I know this sounds like a silly question, but have you ever watched 2001 A Space Odyssey? <laughs> I have never gotten high enough to watch that. 
Oh, oh really? Oh, oh come on. You don't need to be high. You can be drunk if you want, though. <laughs> that, that's that's my next Sunday pick. My birthday's coming up in May. That's my pick for Sunday night, Gorilla. Two thousand. There you go, we Gorilla. Two thousand one, and I'm there. I'm gonna be, be in your panel. Oh, I want to do it. I my want favorite, to be there. My favorite film of all time. I love that film so much. It's so good. And we're not gonna tell Gorilla about it because I want not, him to watch not, it from beginning not, to end sober. If that's a, possible. Not a yeah, all right, I'll, uh, I'll make a road trip up to my parents' house to get some of my mom's gummies. <laughs> get get what get what. Oh, actually, you... uh, actually, let's talk to my supervisor. I'm pretty sure he has an extra <laughs> pipe. In it. He'll start, send me some of his special grow that he has oh, growing boy. right now. Just get, whatever, get what you need, Gorilla, because 2001 is a trip. I'll tell you. Well, oh, so I, I think need, he probably uh, needs so to be I on a little bit of acid so, for the uh, so acid treatment. So, Peter, <laughs> you're saying I need some shrooms? I'd say go Wait. for it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no. Yeah, I well, wouldn't I, say no. I, I, I usually never say no, but you know. Yeah, I, I'll be there with you if you, if, if you, if you want uh, me to go. I'll yeah, guide yeah, you through the yeah. movie. I've seen it so many times. But well, I, I could say between all of us, all four of us, we can all guide you through that film safely. Oh, <laughs> just, sure, just let sure. you know what. <laughs> Just let you know what's coming. Oh, and the acid trip where he goes through space. Yeah, oh, that's fun. Yeah, like yeah. the 15-minute acid trip at the end of the film. It's like, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, then we have to say to Gorilla, oh. hey, you, you, you better be well uh, endowed by the time, you know, <laughs> either drunk or whatever when you go through the acid I think, state. I think Gorilla will enjoy the film, but I, I see him ranging from an A to an F, like, you know, but that's <laughs> Gorilla, right? <laughs> he might give it an F minus PVP. I don't know. Uh, you never know. Well, it's, it is one of those films that can be divisive, right? Because, yeah. you know. Well, there's, I know Jim's seen it too. And I know definitely my brother Jay has seen it. Um, it's, 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 it's really tough. I mean, it's a tough call. You know, there's people that are going to love it because it's just pure sci-fi. And there's people who are going to look at it and, and watch the whole thing. They go, oh, God, did I, what did I just waste almost three hours for? <laughs> Super well, troopers. Is, Super troopers. Hey, it's three, it's three hours long? Almost three, yes. If you include all the credits at the beginning, the credits at the end, yes. Uh, don't three. forget. All right. Don't forget, Gorilla, we just spent four and a half hours watching The Return of the King last Sunday. So Hello. Yeah, but that's a good movie. This is a short film compared to that, isn't it? Yeah, but this is a good, that was a good movie. Oh, well, this is very good. 2001 A Space Odyssey is a great movie. It's a classic. If you think, yes, if you hey, think Gorilla, Return of the Gorilla. King was awesome, hey, this hey, is beyond hey, awesome. Hey, PB, hey, Plan 9 from Bower Space is considered a classic also. No, 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 no. Not Can't that see. good. Get your head out of your backside there, Gorilla. This is a totally different kind of film. <laughs> it's totally cool, though. It's a great film. It is. Well, for one thing, it's, Stan it's Stanley Kubrick. And when you got Stanley Kubrick's name on as a director, you're probably going to get a pretty decent film most of the time, right? I mean, you know, I they would had say one or two glunkers, very but... bizarre. Yeah, I would say PvP without being too modest about Kubrick. I would say you get a very bizarre but a very thorough uh a thorough film. That's pretty much what I'd call it. I I think it's it, it came when I first saw it as a little kid, believe me, I I was scared with the apes at the beginning. <laughs> or or supposedly they're supposed to be cavemen or something. Early cavemen. Were not the costumes amazing? Like those are actually human actors in those suits. And oh, I'm sorry, hey. sci-fi sift in. Uh, yeah, you had to wait a little while. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, he said, "Guess well, I'll I be going." Go if you want to come up. That's okay. I'm sorry, sift in. We'll we'll try to we'll try to get more working on this. Uh, in you know moving ahead, and I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, and Sif Dan posted his channel, so please, guys, since he is a wrench, uh, yeah, make sure you check out his channel, he's got some really good content there. Yeah, please do that for him because he's he's such a good guy. So, yeah, we're caught up on the chat now, but yeah, I, I, uh, 
I thought the ape the ape costumes in two thousand one were incredible because, I mean, it was it's hard to believe those are actually human beings in those yeah. costumes. Yeah, because they 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 actually look like you know proto human apes to me, to my eye at least. Uh, and, yeah, uh, and uh, PVP. Uh, what did what did you post in the private chat? Uh, those last two links I see. After I, post, I, I, I posted. A couple things about the FLQ crisis in Quebec back in the 70s. Because okay. if people want a history about why English and Quebec, Canada have a perhaps a, a troubled relationship where we kind of have a distance, that's one of the prime, uh, I think one of the, the prime roots of the problem is there was this FLQ organization that sprung up in Quebec back then. And yeah. they did a lot of letter bombs. They hurt a lot of people. They actually committed murder uh, of a diplomat. Wow. Uh, it was very serious. And the first part is a little basic, quick documentary on that. Not too long. I try not to bore people. And the second one is our then prime minister's reaction to the crisis. Uh, by de he actually declared martial law, which is, I think, maybe the only time that ever has occurred in my country. But I actually... I actually was, I was only a kid back then, right? I was probably like 10 years old. And I actually agreed with what my prime minister did. I thought, you've got to do it, bud. You've got to get these guys under control because they're murdering people. And he, he declared martial law. And of course, the press was all over his ass. Like, are you, you know, what, what are you doing? And <laughs> it's, it's brilliant because it's, it's actually an interview with the press and him on the doorsteps i believe he was just walking into parliament that day and they're yeah. like they're trying to like get him to say something stupid right and but but pierre trudeau was a very intelligent man like i think his son justin is far far less a man than, than oh pierre, he's but. he's he's far less uh he's more of a crybaby and less of a politician let's just say that <laughs> i i I, I thought Justin at first might have been a good leader and I did vote for him in the past. I won't I will not vote for him again. But I, I get it. His, uh, his father was a brilliant oh, man. But if you want to check it out, like that's what I posted. Um, okay, I, cool. Um yeah, just a couple here. So Lemon says I'm in Texas as well, <laughs> Brainy Specs. Yeah, I, I thought that Brainy knew that, but uh you know, Jeff knew that, but I, I guess he does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, Lemon says in Quebec they tell the other Canadians to go away, or they shall taunt them a second time. <laughs> well, well, I think I, they would probably pull. I th I would think they throw them off the plains of Abraham outside the city, but uh, <laughs> nice, nice but reference. you know, nice reference. Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, I think I, if you're in Montreal, I, there are segments. Uh, it, uh, there are neighborhoods in Montreal that are English Canadian, so yeah. I think you could probably generally get by fine if you just confined yourself to Montreal, the, the major city in Quebec. I'm sure if I went there, I have heard stories where, you know, the Quebec people like throw shit at you if you can't speak French. Oh, geez. But, I did. Yeah, I, I've heard know. that too. Really scary stories. Uh, yeah, Gorilla, you were going to say something and we got kind of sidetracked. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm not forgetting any politics. You guys I can forgot. Who, uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Well, oh, I was going to ask you. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, was it? Uh, is it uh, Trudeau's uh, father? Let's just say ninety miles south of Florida. No, 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 Trudeau. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea what the hell that means, uh, Gorilla. <laughs> no, well, he means not, Cuba. Uh, he means yeah, Cuba. He, he looks a lot, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Trudeau's parents were in Cuba about nine months before he was born, and he does uh. look an awful lot like him. Okay, I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what the fact, uh, what the facts are as I know them. Actually, uh, Trudeau and his family back in the 60s, 70s, well, don't forget, this is the age of Nixon, right? And I don't know about you guys, but Nixon was not very popular with a lot of people. And uh, Most of us didn't even grow up around the time. Well, I grew up, but I was very young. When uh, Tricky Dick <laughs> came into power, Tricky Dick—that's oh. the way I remember him. Because and, that, and that's how I remember because my dad would say, "Oh God, there's Tricky Dick again. He's talking well, again." 
He's remember, like, Mother, what what are we supposed to do with this guy? <laughs> I'm like, well, Dad, what, what, is he bad? And I'm like, no, no. My dad said, no, he's, he's in charge of the country. I can't oh, say bad he things was, about him. He but, was you know. bad. Well, the Watergate investigators proved that. And then I'll never oh, forget, I'll never forget uh, Tricky Dick getting on the helicopter that day, giving that big oh, arm man. wave and going, well, oh, I'm man. screwed. And getting on the helicopter and flying away into he Olympia. Celsius, man. It, was, it was like he really was he really was a crook. I mean, he really was. And yeah, he, they, yeah, they, they he was him. They um, him, right? And he had well, to him, only president that too. ever had only president that ever got impeached and had to resign as far as I, I remember. Yeah. I, he I was the only one that I was aware of. I thought he resigned. What was that gorilla? I thought he resigned before he was impeached. Well, he was going to be impeached, so I think he might have resigned shortly before. Yeah, he might have stepped down. Yeah, he, had, he stepped he had down no, before that happened. Yeah, Basically, Gorilla, he was in disgrace when he got on that helicopter, yeah. and he knew it, and he lived the rest of his life with it. Like Everybody well, knew what he was. Well, actually, let's just listen to a thing on, uh, I think it was Tim Pools. It was either Tim Pools or Glenn Beck's there on a Gal that actually worked so with with Nixon in the nineties. Oh, there, God. it's actually pretty. It's actually a pretty interesting listen to. Glenn Beck. No. Don't, let's not talk about Glenn Beck because we're not going to have a happy conversation. Okay, no, there we I, go. I, <laughs> I, can't remember I don't Tim like Glenn Beck. I'm sorry. I, I think some of those. And he's a pretty right wing commentator, if I remember from what I've heard of him. And no, I'm not there. I'm not there. Sorry, girl. Yeah, he's kind of scary, that that uh, Glenn Beck, yeah. Some of these scary. commentators are basically nuts, as far as I'm concerned, so I don't want to offend Well, I wouldn't here, say but... they're nuts. Yeah, PVP, I wouldn't say they're nuts. I'm just saying that they've got a radical, um, what's the word? Extreme. Uh, radical, yeah, probably. Extreme, yeah. They're extreme radicals. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just not interested. I... Well, you, if you guys know me at all, I think I've said enough to all you guys here. I'm pretty much center of the road when it comes to political shit. I, I used to be a little left of center because I grew up as a kid in the 60s. And I, I mean, even though I was only a kid, I observed the Viet Vietnam War on the TV. And I yeah, knew. By the way, everyone, PVP said, uh, said left of sheep dip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but but oh I, I knew that young, young, you know, teenage Americans going off to be slaughtered in Vietnam was not Life a good stick. thing. It was not a good thing. I realized that even as a kid, right? And I was a Canadian, and, you know, we weren't even involved directly in the war. Though, I don't know how many of you guys know this. There were a number of Canadians that actually went south of the border and actually signed up with the U.S., army to fight in Vietnam. I think there were thousands of Canadians that actually did that. And that's a topic that has probably never been explored fully like it should be. But, you know, when people say, oh, Canadians are always neutral, they're always staying out of it. It's like, no. Some Canadians are right in there, you know, in the action, ready to fight, you know, what they believe in. And so, uh, uh I, I guess I'm getting sidetracked, but I'm just saying, you know, that um, don't always believe everything you hear at first hand. Well, we tend not to. Well, well here's, here's, was, here's, go ahead, Gorilla. Go ahead. All I said was, it was interesting listening to it. Now, no, no, no. Was no. that true? I don't know, but it's interesting listening to you. Hey, Gorilla. Yeah. Gorilla, I love you, man. I mean, listen to anything you want to listen to. I'm not saying you, you shouldn't. Like, you know. Oh no, no! I, you, you, but you, you know what, Gorilla? It, you, you, it's, it's, it's good. It's good that, like, because you're a younger man, and it, and a lot of this stuff that happened to us. Of course, we were all growing up before you, listening to everything's going on. I, I think it's good to have another person's perspective, and then make your own judgment from that. So, yeah, we're not telling you not to listen to. You know, Glenn, but we're saying that, you know, just have an open mind when you listen to him because he's one of those, you know, few radical people left. Well, you know, there was Rush Limbaugh, there was, uh, 
I could go on and on. I know how oh. many people out there are just scary as hell. And uh, I'm like, well, yeah. um, okay, you only listen for so long, and then you're don't, like, okay, well, that's that's about it, you know. Don't don't get me started on Rush because I have nothing good to say. <laughs> Don Don Iris, do you remember Don I Donny Iris? Oh my gosh, wow. Oh man, Don uh, Iris. I miss. I, yes, sorry. I, Not Iris. I miss. Yes. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> sorry. And welcome <laughs> back, by the way, brother. Um, yeah, I, but, don't, I, I don't like extremes. I, I just think anything extreme is probably getting too far away from reality. Yeah. For my life. Well, see what can you be? Let's, let's just go ahead and change the subject if you don't. Yeah. Mind. Let's talk about. Okay. okay what do you want to uh, well, talk about? How, music. How about a topic of music? Music is good. Yes, music is is life. <laughs> uh, well, earlier we were talking about. Well, let me ask Gorilla um, and Jay. Have you guys seen the new Fallout on uh, on the stream there? No. Uh, based on the video game Fallout. Well, yeah. uh, I heard from him a bunch of Fallout. Fans. I don't have Apple TV. Well, who wants to go first? <laughs> I have not seen it, so I have no comment. Okay. Uh, you want to say first, Jay, or have you seen it yet yourself? I, I don't have Apple TV. Okay, Apple TV. Um, Gorilla, do you do you seen it or caught it? No, I don't even plan on it. Uh, I've heard a bunch of people who are fans of Fallout say it was complete crap, but I've never had any interest in that one anyhow. Okay, well, I caught it the other night. I think it was... Uh, I believe you it was Admiral T. Yeah, yeah really. no, I think it was Admiral T that was running it, right? Right, Jim? Say what now? Was it Admiral T that was running a, a premiere of it or something? Somebody was. I know T was there. Oh, he was right? running something, of course. Yeah, yeah. I okay. What, I well, didn't see it. Okay, well then I'll I'll just go ahead and get my quick comment on it. Uh from what I saw of it, I thought it was all right. Um, they had the guy that you, you remember, Gorilla. I told you in Resolute about Walton Goggins, you know, who's in your Justified series. Yeah. Well, he's in Fallout 2 also, and uh, he's uh playing a ghoul that has no nose. <laughs> and you know, it's Walton, you can tell, like, as soon as you see his face, he came out of a grave and uh. It's supposed his story is supposed to be a set of like short stories that tie into the Fallout video game. If you guys ever played it, so I mean I've never played it myself, but uh, I did recognize some of the characters. So it's a really. game that became a movie. Yes, a video game that became well, no, not a movie. It became a uh, a series. It's a series on TV. Oh, so it's I guess. another uh, Walking Dead. Yeah, something like that. Well, yeah, Hakeem's probably got a good uh, comment there. He says Fallout was bad, but it's wokish. Yeah, it is quite wokish. I have to agree. I, but, yep. uh, I never heard of the show, and I really don't care about it, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, I mean, okay. But to be fair, um, from what I saw of it, like I said, I thought it was okay. Well, in my opinion. But, I mean, also, I did like the music that came from it. Uh, it was the guy... Uh, Ramin Jawadi, you know, but he spells his last name starting with the letter D, which is silent. And he did the music for a series that Suzanne and I saw, full first season of Westworld. And he did great music from that. So oh, well, Westworld season one was awesome. And then it totally. And then it went tank. crap. <laughs> then it hit, uh, oh, then it went right into the, the woke tank, right? I watched the first episode of season two and I was like, what the heck am I watching? This is exactly, really bad. Exactly. Yeah. We saw the entire first season, and at the end, uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins gets supposedly shot in by the, the robot cow, the, the robot cowboy yeah. girl. I wish I could remember yeah. her, uh, the actual actress name, but uh, yeah. And I was like, okay. And then they had a preview, right? So then. Uh, you know, we just moved to Canada after we saw season one, and so we didn't catch the season two or three. But then when we moved up here, I went to go look back at the uh, different episodes of season two, and I said, 
uh, Suzanne, I don't think we should have seen season two at all. Uh, it's a good thing we didn't because <laughs> it was it was too confusing, and there was way. I mean, you know, they were good traveling to the other worlds. Okay, oh, that's great. Always, you went to Shogun World. You went to uh, you know the the uh, the medieval knights time world. You know, or Middle Ages world. You know, they went in all these different places, but it was because of the the lady that wanted to uh, you know escape. Uh, you know, and and take over. Uh, mm -hmm. It was that uh, black actress that played the, you know, the the bar the bar gal in, uh, as good as in the western one. part. Yeah, as good as season one until they until the writers wrote her character to total, total crap. But uh, but yeah, that was the problem. It's like I watched the first episode. It was all over the map. It made no sense. It had no cohesion. It had no direction. And I was just, and it was woke, woke as heck too, which really. Yeah, and the king said, "Yeah, he agreed with us." He says, "I couldn't agree more about Westworld." And then he said, "Yeah, they had one of the best villains, and they stripped him of everything that made him good, everything." Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the dude, yes, the, gun, the gunslinger guy, right? Oh God, he's such a good actor too. Oh, yeah, he was God. awesome. Yeah, go ahead, uh, brother, Jay. I don't know if uh, anybody heard, but um, Mr. O.J. Simpson died this week at the age of 76. I think we should observe a moment of silence. Well, how does everybody work week? Yeah. yeah. Finally, Jay, finally actually... someone... yeah. now, if you ahead, hadn't boys. said anything, Mikey, that joke would have uh, uh, worked. <laughs> well, no, brother, before, Jay, before you came on, I did observe a moment of silence for the sumo wrestler who died just after OJ died of cancer at 76. And then don't forget Roberto Cavalli, who was a one, you know, awesome clothing designer, you know, for men and women both, died today earlier at age 81. So, yes, I oh. did a moment of silence for all three persons. Mine was better if you had not said anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was being a nice guy. Come on. I did that for, uh, I can't remember what that bad person's name was. I mean, he was a horrible person. And I said it one day in church. I said, uh, we need to uh, observe a moment of silence for this person. They all looked at me and I said, well, how was everybody's work week? And everybody just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean they yeah, Orenthal James? <laughs> yeah, you mean Orenthal James Simpson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yikes! So, so OJ, he ruined orange juice for me. <laughs> yeah. So OJ, if the glove don't fit, don't convict. Actually, passed away. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah! Does that mean? Does yeah. that mean yeah. that when? Uh, here, I thought this was gonna be at least one respectful thing. We got justice. Hey, I they got, finally I got, got up. I, I got no respect for murderers. I'm sorry. And they still cannot get any of his money. The families that he, uh, uh, I know he was found not guilty, but they only they only sentenced him not guilty because they didn't want the jury didn't want a race riot. Yeah, it was basically That's a the racial. only reason why. It was. Yeah, uh, majority black jury was it not, and and they that's why they found him uh, not guilty. Yeah, that sucked. But hey, it's uh, time. yeah, it's your time. Guess what uh, you've done with PVP? It says you've changed some of them, and after a few eggnogs, all that power will go straight to your noggin. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. I really. I'm glad you still with us, at your time. I appreciate I it. There's five I people out there. Thank you. I do rely on Lemon to be sane and sober when I'm not. So come on, Lemon, you gotta be stable, buddy. Lemon's yeah. trying to maintain. He's only now learning about his true power because he's 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 the he's the managing moderator. He's the king down yeah, there. Stop. Only now is he just realizing he, he had all this power. And and then he told me he told me kiddingly, of course, that I should have you know started paying them Canadian dollars. And I said. Levin, I don't even have enough money, barely enough here for us to survive. And you think I'm going to start paying you? I, I appreciated your 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 you beautiful passion and your uh, you know, and your willingness to uh, 
be our our in charge guy. That's why I heaped him with so many so much praise. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I know Lemon is you know joking when he expects. He me. is. I yeah. I'm I'm far. Yeah, too that's take it. What, brother? And Mikey, don't forget, there was a couple women earlier that wanted to squeeze a lemon too. That's true. Oh, yeah. they, I was wondering why we didn't have any women. Yeah, we had women earlier, Jay. Earlier. You, you were late, and then when yeah. you came, my brother, we we had Moira Kitty on here in the panel. Yeah, we had yeah, Raquel yeah. SSG twenty two eleven yeah, down in we, the chat. I, uh, I, Lady the Elements and uh, Spicy Peach were making moves on them, and. Oh. I even I'm made sorry, a, I, lady I, I even made a sexy joke uh, with spicy peaches. I think about uh, the lemon song. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the lemon song. Oh, yeah. Mikey, that's one heck of a song. It's pretty sexy. If you never heard it, it's mm. pretty. Sexy. Uh, let's just say I've heard it. We'll go on. We'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's about it's about lemon lemons and. Uh, I do, but, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. Jay, go ahead, Jay. Don't, uh, when we end the stream, don't leave too quickly because I have something to tell you uh, away from the stream. Okay, sir. Sounds good. Well, you know what? We can always talk again uh, right after we're done here. We can talk backstage. We have all the time in the world then. That's so. what I mean. It doesn't That's count what I mean. Against, right. It doesn't count against the hours. So. That's what I, I mean. What, yeah, no worries. I'm sorry, I'm just sampling some wonderful yogurt that my wife gave you earlier. And I, yeah, yeah. To sample it, yeah. Um, yeah. I think so, Mikey needs to change his data disc now uh, more often. My data, my data disc, why? Yeah, because you, you forget so easy. Oh, well, okay, maybe I do. <laughs> hey, I'm getting old. You're only three years older than me. Come on. <laughs> As you see, um, I found you need a uh, virus protection thing on that computer too. I've been telling them that. I, know, I already, I already have built-in virus protection, my friend. You may need an extra one. Who? Me. <laughs> no. What's the virus program? Uh, if it's McAfee, you're nuts. It's not, no, it's above McAfee. Whatever is above McAfee. Yeah. It's protected. You need. Uh, it, don't worry. You need your own. Yeah. You don't need to trust the onboard one. You need one of your own. Well, I will set up something. I promise, Jay. Okay, I, I got, give me time here. I, you know, I got to add. Oh yeah, I, I am. I'm not uh, rushing you or anything. I'm just, uh, I'm just giving you a good suggestion. That's it. I know you are, sir. I know. I appreciate that because I love you. So stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not, kidding. I am not <laughs> nagging you. Stop it. <laughs> Why much? Stop it. Don't stop. stop. It. Don't stop. <laughs> it feels so good. Do it again. <laughs> it's down the line for day now. Aren't you cute? Is that Jim? what you want to hear, Lemon? Lemon, bye. Yeah, that's what uh, you want uh, to uh, 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 yeah, yeah, hear. Yeah. Just a charming smell can only take a citrus so far. Oh, wow. Come on, Edge. Yeah. I'm, I'm no more or less zesty than always. That's what he mm. says. All right, hey guys, my battery's about to go. Level. All right. See you later, LDG. Take, 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 take care. Take care, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, Mikey. Uh, Congrats. Right. Yeah. Hey, thank you, LDG. Uh, I hope I uh, was able to accommodate you on the panel good enough. Yeah, you're fine, buddy. Rock and roll. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Yeah, no worries. You're good. Yeah. I'll be here. Bye. Take care, buddy. Hey, yeah. well, if Professor Brady Specs is still listening, guys, is there going to be a question to check this week? That's a good question, Gorilla, and I'm assuming yes, because uh, it's already been three weeks since they said that, you know, Zoe was doing her projects. So I'm saying yes, but I'll tell you what, if you if you attend Jet Nerdy uh, uh, you know, tomorrow uh, night with me and Jay, we can find out. We can find out for certain. If I remember uh, about Jet Nerdy. <laughs> Well, 
I might be able to switch. Yeah, we can find out for certain. Or you know, you can always uh you can always page him at his uh channel or or you know what? Yeah, Ask uh, John DeMarco because John DeMarco would know, you know. He would uh, know I think for Professor sure. would know Professor would know before John DeMarco. Well, yeah. sure. I can uh, Sir Lemon keeps the scurvy at bay. No one dares say otherwise. Oh, my. Oh, my. He was using your scurvy oh phrase there, uh, gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a, there's a whole story behind that. Uh, Didn't you hear about the, uh, the guy that uh, was refused a CDL uh, license? He stole a tractor trailer and rammed it right into the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles office. Well, that would do it. Just because he that didn't get a LD, LDL, uh, a CDL uh, license, and he ran, uh, stole a tractor okay. trailer and rammed it right into the Department of Vehicles office. That Good was in him. Texas. Good for him. That was in Texas. It was. I, I said, "Good, good." To, to, to a protest. <laughs> good worker uh, for not giving him a license. He can't uh, drive. He went right into the building. <laughs> that was a plan. Wow. Good plan. I love it when a plan comes together. Mm. I love it too when we do a team. I need to go see that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I did 18. Whoa. Oh, man. Old boy seasoning. Oh, old bay seasoning. Okay. That's what he's saying. Old bay seasoning. Well, he was, he was just saying he put a pirates, he put a pirates thing here, Edge. And then Lemon Pie said at bay, which bay, old bay, and old bay seasoning. And yes, it was in random bay bay. No, you're thinking about what you just mentioned about Texas there, Jay. He said it was in Brenham. Yeah. That's where Sir Lemon yeah. said it was. Yeah. In Brenham, Texas, where it happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This went quiet. <laughs> All of us. Oh, that's weird. I, I, I need well, to take a picture of this. Admiral is falling asleep, apparently. Yeah, I'm about, to step, away, yeah, I'm about <laughs> to step away here. Oh, you got to go, Gorilla? Well, I could be back, but I'm also getting tired, too. It's 10.30 at night here. I know. Yeah, uh, normally, yeah. you're, uh, you're, normally you're an active... Uh, well, I'm just saying, Gorilla, you're normally you're a very well, active guy. Well, he's tired because he had to tend to a, th a three-year-old uh, all day by himself. His children, well, been, yes. Uh, well, well, I was outside for two hours, Cleve. Cleaning the park a lot because some asshole doesn't know how to put his cigarette butts in an ashtray. <laughs> it wasn't me. No, I believe you. But, but uh, no, they had the entire crew clean the park a lot since they're trying since we're running out of work anyhow. So uh, that we clean the park a lot, and uh, well, we had a fire about three three years ago. They still hadn't cleaned up all the melted aluminum that was in the rocks there so i just set, set my happy ass down and just start started <laughs> picking up all the small pieces of aluminum out of there <laughs> that, that, that building wandered out. right in front of that truck rim shot <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then lemon then says too soon yeah <laughs> too soon yeah no, just nope. kidding can't be too soon Oh, yeah. And Edge of Time says, don't mess with taxes. <laughs> okay. I wonder if it was an yeah, immigrant, too. I, I, get it. I get it, Edge. The Edge of Night. Do you remember that? I edge wonder if it was uh, an immigrant, Mikey. What's what that, Jake? I said, I wonder if it was an immigrant, too. An immigrant. Yeah, what do you mean in the, the one that uh, ran the, uh, the tractor trailer into the building. Oh, wow. 
wow. Well, I guess I would imagine it had to be so. It couldn't have been an American. Oh, God, no. Yeah, it had to be I definitely who, know it was a Swift driver. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> well, let me ask you, Gorilla. Still have a, well, let me ask Gorilla, uh, guys, uh, if he still has time. Gorilla, what kind of uh, protest have you seen recently where you are or have you ever been involved in one or what? If, if you're allowed to say. We got protests around, around, around here. Yeah. Our, our, politi our part politicians there, if they screw up, they know they won't be like welcomed at the bar. They won't be welcomed at the grocery store. They won't be welcomed at the gas. See, that's the beauty of small towns. If you <coughs> fuck up, everybody knows and you'll get shunned. So behave yourself. <laughs> you well, there you cities, go. These big cities, they can be as corrupt as they can be because what are they going to do? Get shut? They're not going to get shunned from every store. There's, there's, there's too many people for them to be shunned by. So they can get, right. But you get shunned by a small town, you're screwed. <laughs> so, so gr girl, you're saying it's like cheers. It's like everybody knows, your knows name. her name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we got a time down. We know when when you go, go take take a crap on the toilet. <laughs> oh, hey, Gorilla. Wow. Gorilla, let me quickly ask wish, him. No, let me ask him one more question. I, I, wish, I wish I could tie my life out like that. That would make things far easier. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me ask Gorilla one more question. Whatever happened to Jesse the Body Ventura, your previous governor? Hell, if I know. It wasn't my turn to babysit him. <laughs> I thought he died oh, or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's still breathing because I know always, he was in ledger for sure a you, while. I'm sure you hey, can look around. There's, uh, there's this tool called Google. It's your friend. Yeah, you can look around. Uh, Google is my friend. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Jesse the Body Ventura. Yeah. He, he was like five governors. Like, he, yeah, he was like five governors ago. I don't. I don't even know what happened to the previous one. No, no, he's I still alive. Uh, he's seventy-two years old. He said, "Yeah, well, yeah, in July he'll be seventy-three, right? Okay, yeah. Wow, that's cool. He has two kids too. Yeah, wow, yeah. Apparently, he was, he was a good uh, governor. Uh, people said. Yeah, it says here as governor, he was the thirty-eighth, uh, the thirty-eighth governor of uh, Minnesota." In 1998, he was the Reform Party candidate. Uh, he was running a low-budget can. I'm quoting from Wiki here. A low-budget campaign centered on grassroots events and unusual advertising that urged citizens not to vote for politics as usual. And in a major yep. upset, he defeated both the Democratic and Republican nominees. So, Yeah, I remember it was quite a deal when he became governor, like I'm yeah. not well back then. I was a political junkie, guys. Like, I was watching American Canadian politics for hours every night on the news channels, right? Like, I was totally into it. And I remember when Jesse won the governorship, it was that was like a huge deal because he was like a little underdog, you know, he was like a wrestler underdog dude that nobody took him seriously right he was just like they, he was like a clown you know this guy's a joke like blah 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 and then the people of course you know they were tired of the the, the right left democrat republican you know stuff and they he, said you know what yeah. we're gonna vote for the little guy for a change and of course he won right and i thought that was awesome and I always like the guy. Like I don't know if he's, you know, a good guy or a bad guy. But every time I've seen an interview with him, he seemed like a pretty, you know, centrist kind of, you know, moderate kind of, you know, logical dude that just, just wanted to up. govern, you know, as best he could. So I kind of like the guy, you know. Yeah. Well. Okay. So what I read was that he was in office for exactly four years. Exactly four years and two days. He uh -huh. went from January 4th, 1999 to January 6th, 2003. Then after he left in 2003, sometime later on, back in like, I think it was in early 2020, it was only a few years ago, Alaska wanted to make him a governor nominee. And the party that was there in Alaska disowned 
uh, him or whoever was trying to run because there was a other guy named Howie Hawkins or something like that was trying to run for governor of Alaska, but they actually wanted Jesse Ventura to come in. I I saw a recent picture of him. He looks pretty good. Still looks good at 73. Yeah. Did he actually have an interest in running in Alaska, or was he just like done with politics? No, he was. That they were just going to try to to nominate, self nominate without his knowledge. Okay. He didn't so, even know until like later on. So it was. I'm just, guessing yeah. maybe in the seventies he just would like to retire and relax. I, I think so. I. You know what? He. I would. <laughs> I would too. Hello, but you're you're over sixty five, PVP. You can actually uh, attest to I, that. I will be sixty six next month in May, and I keep hoping somebody will have a birthday stream for me next month. Happy we'll birthday. have a birthday stream for you next month. You can guarantee that. Hey, sorry, PVP, come on. Have you, have you seen our Congress? It looks like a Werther's original reunion. <laughs> Worthers, is that, is that like the candy drop that you suck? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I have no, I have no idea where this is going. I'm sorry, guys. No, that's okay. Um, just to catch up here, Edge of Time says I blame Tales from the Dark Side. Yeah, well, that's a great, that's a great series in itself. That was kind of a minor horror series. You know, my favorite is Night Gallery, which. Pop is talking about doing once he finishes Gilligan, like in a couple of months. Right. And uh, it just said he watched, yeah, he says, I watched Ice Station Zebra as a Cardinal Sin tribute. That's a good movie. Grab- well, I'm not kind of surprised by that edge of time. It's Ice Station Zebra is, is not a bad movie. It's very good. But it's, I'm just saying it's not for everyone. It's, okay, maybe based, that's it's, for everyone. it's, it's based on an Alice McLean novel. And yes. I only know that because my friend Jimbo back in the 80s was a huge 70s. He had every novel that guy ever wrote. He was a huge Alison McLean fan. And he yeah. he wrote those. He 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 uh, you know, he just went through all those novels religiously and. It's like okay, you know that's cool, Jim. <laughs> but I do remember that. I do remember that because of that of of my my friend's love for Alistair McLean's stories, right? Yeah, and uh, Edge of Time. Yeah, just to finish up here. So Edge of Time says reform candidate totally grassroots. I get it. Uh, totally. Yeah, totally. ribbit, 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 ribbit. Rib- I get ribbit, it. Ribbit. Never run in Alaska. It triggers the bears. <laughs> okay. I'll remember that. <laughs> if I ever feel like I want to go there and just, hey, I'm going to take over your country. No big deal. Boomer's GTFO of office. Yes. Okay. You know, like, get the beep off. I get it. Totally get uh, it. Yes, I do. I think if you were going to be a candidate in Alaska, though, you should be a local candidate because if they, you know, they parachute somebody in from like Minnesota or wherever. The locals are going to go, well, this guy might be cool, but who the hell is he really? Like, you know. Well, they will never, I'm telling you right now, they will never want me to run for office. I'm nuts. We're crazy people. Suzanne and I love each other, but we are definitely crazy people. They will not let us in Parliament or anywhere near <laughs> a public office. Well, I, 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 I'm with you, Mikey. I would never want to be responsible for anything responsible because well, I, <laughs> I have a hard enough time getting through uh, this is my plan um I, I i i wake up on monday morning with my alarm i'm going yeah. like oh i gotta work work yeah. monday tuesday wednesday thursday actually i might be down to three days a week now because i got my hours cut by four weeks because again my best, my best again agent, my best agent quit after I had him for four years. No. And he was my best guy. We had an awesome relationship. We emailed each other every week back and forth. And he was he was the best guy. He was an awesome guy. But here's the here's his reasoning. I talked to him like two weeks ago and he said, I'm gonna be not renewing my contract on the on the twelfth, which is today. He's done. He okay. said the reason why when I first got your services uh, four years ago, 
my area was in a shambles. You know, it was in a shambles. There were a lot of clients that were really pissed off. They weren't happy with their service that they had. So I, I basically had to rebuild. I had to rebuild meant a lot of fences. And the reason I hired you to do a lot of my calls. I'm afraid to pull her up because she might tear the sh I'm afraid to pull her up because she might try to tear the bump out of me. I don't Go know. ahead. Anyway. I was just going to say, the reason he hired my company to do his calls, which I did for four years, was because he was rebuilding his his local area because there were a lot of clients that were pissed off from the previous, uh, I guess the previous agent didn't treat them well, right? So oh, I guess, yeah. He rebuilt them. Yeah, He, he told me you know, when I talked to him, I, I hired you because you took a lot of weight off my shoulders doing my calls for me while I was trying to reach out to people, you know, and get them back, you know, on my side, so to speak, right? Right. He, he totally explained it. Like, he's an awesome guy. I mean, I, I have great affection for the man and respect. But, you know, he just said, you know, before I hired your company, I was doing my own phone calls to get, you know, oh. bookings. And I right. wanted... I want to go back and do that again for the next six months. I was like, that's, that's fine. I totally understand where you're coming from, man. Like we talked for 18 minutes. We had a great conversation because he is an awesome dude and we have a great respect for each other. And, but he well, was just like, I'm going to just go out on my own for six months and give it a go. And it's like, what can you do? But I was getting well, like five. I was getting, the thing is, I have yeah, four, or five, six bookings a week for this guy, which is a lot, right? So, yeah, go ahead, Jim. You're going to say something. Go ahead. Sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm going. Oh, on. PVP, don't apo never apologize to me. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, go ahead, Jim. Rule if you were to say something. Rule number six. Oh, go ahead, Gorilla. Okay. I didn't say anything. All that thing. Okay. All that thing is rule number six. Which is the uh, Gibson's rules number six: never apologize. The oh, there you weakness. go. Find <laughs> a weakness. Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah. Come on, you, you ever watched this? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, Papa. I know. I know, I know. PVP would get it. I know you see that. I know he would ass. get it. Sure he would. Once you get your you money, you never give it back. Is that where is that where your single girl and never apologize? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no, buddy. It's just, it's I love you. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, well, well, okay, okay. I, I, I no, I'm one of those now. people that will realize I was wrong ten minutes ago. Now I'm just trying to piss you off. Uh, I don't oh, think you know what, Gorilla. I I, I, I want to ask Gorilla another question. Gorilla, are you are you a fair dad? Would you say you're a fair dad? Discipline stuff like that. I don't, I don't know if I'm fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I've already said a numerous times that I believe that you're a very good dad, and you, and you're very good to your kids, and you really treat them well. But I'm just saying that you do balance that with discipline if they need to be disciplined. Correct? I try to. Well, there you go. That's all you can ask of yourself, right? You're trying. You're doing the best you can. That's all you ask. No, well, I think Gorilla, like, like when he's got the kid, you know, to do like the daycare cropped out, like, to, well, today in the Walton streams, for instance, Mikey. Um, I, you so, know what? I'm gonna watch this next one you guys did. So sure, should, I'm gonna you really, go through you should, it. You should take a look. By the I way, will. I I will. I do. <laughs> I. I I, I look forward to when you guys are talking about the Waltons. And, uh, wait, wait, good night, John boy. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Good night, Boop Boop. <laughs> we went long. We were like 90 minutes tonight, though. We had a long stream. Yeah. And because I think part of it was because Gorilla was doing daycare today because his daycare, you know, they crapped no, that's out. Not that's oh, I see. So, wait, wait Gorilla had that. He really had that mini whip of his, his big big <coughs> tail, and he was going, whoosh, whoosh. get back, you kid. <laughs> no, that's next week that uh, that the daycare crapped out. It, this is just where we could have her. Yeah. But I got to tell you, uh, 
going back to 2001 for a moment, I, I'm, I'm serious, Gorilla. If you really love apes, you've got this. You're you're gonna love the the beginning of 2001 with the apes on the planet Earth. They're like in their early years, uh, the early stages of life, and you'll see the monolith in the background. <laughs> you be going, like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it it'll be the dawn of man for Gorilla. Oh yes, dawn that, of his creation. That, that, that is Gorilla's first ancestors right there. When oh, they, he might even recognize a way distant, distant, distant uh, cousin. <laughs> think about it. Think about it, though, Mikey. They get yeah. the monolith and they discover tools and they discover yes. how to use those tools. And, of course, they haven't you know, discovered how to use the Internet well, yet. But right. Without, that, well, no, that, you know, that, but with the monolith... Right. Sure, but with the monolith, I don't want to give away too much because no, I don't either. The gorilla why... likes to enjoy. But what I'm saying is, you know, if you haven't seen something for the first time, but I got to tell you, gorilla, the way that the monolith teaches the apes, the early apes there, early man, teaches them how to not only uh, take care of themselves, but also how to kill. And I won't say how, but oh, uh, you gave it too much away. No, I didn't. I just said how to kill. He doesn't know yet. He doesn't know what they do. <laughs> so. da, 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 da. Da, da. Yeah. Oh, also, Sprout oh, Zarathustra. Thank you very much for spoiling me. Spoiling that. <laughs> I didn't. I did spoil it. I, I, I just told would, you. I would never have said they killed anything, but okay. Uh, okay. No, I'm talking about the music. I don't care if they kill anybody, but that music. You just, now you spoiled the music. The music so, is great. The music it comes is, from Johann Strauss. The music, the music is from centuries ago, girl. It's not way it's not long now, time now. ago. It's like even before you were in, 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 in a spot in your mother's uh, eye. It was. It was. No. It was. That music was before I was conceived. My parents. Before were I was conceived. My before grandparents Jim was conceived. were conceived. My great grandparents and great great grandparents were conceived. That's how old that music is. <laughs> it was before all of us, okay? Everybody well, I, here at the panel, everybody down in the chat who's ever left, four people, I, thank I, you. You know, uh, you know, who's ever down there. Have you ever had an epiphany? <laughs> you realize that this classical music like made generations of people horny? It's like <laughs> Well, way back then. Now are you really saying it made them horny? PVD, well, come on. We're all here. We're all here, are we? <laughs> we are, but uh, not not the way you think, though. Da, da. You're, you're, going, you're, hey. you're, yeah, that, you might have been does, born. That, does, that, that music does have a certain rise to it, does it not? Make it does in a way, but of course, well, I don't know. Have you ever heard that? I'm being silly. I'm sorry. PVD. No, but have you ever heard from Chariots of Fire the, uh, now that music? Da, 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 da. See, da, da, I'm almost da, da, sure that created yeah. some children. Yes. Yeah, PVP. that was a good theme. I've got yes, here Actually, that theme was far better than the rest of the movie. I got it. <laughs> yeah. PVP. Yeah. yeah. PVP. I'm not here. I'm here because of a picture of margaritas in a bathroom condom. A gas station oh, well, condom. You uh, what? 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 I can you post that you're, somewhere? You you said we were all conceived by music. I was like, no. Mine was a picture of margaritas and a gas station condom. Okay. <laughs> well, can you, can, okay. Send me that that on tw on tw Twitter because I have no idea what the hell you're X -ray. talking about. X-ray. Send it to X-ray. Just send it to me, girl. Like e a... e Elon, the, the Elon uh, muskrat steed, like Frankenstein. Oh, my God. <laughs> muskrat steed. Oh. Uh, it's alive! I changed it. I'm heading out. I got it. I'm heading out. It's it's eleven o'clock. I'm going to bed. All right, Gorilla. Well, Gorilla, oh, thank you care. for coming to me and Suzanne's uh, one year stream. We appreciate you very much, and you know we love you, brother. Take yeah, care usually, of yourself. Usually, you you go about four hours, don't you? Anyhow. Yes, usually about four hours. Yeah, four or five. We might even hit five tonight. I got plenty of time left on my free hours with StreamYard, so I can go at least five. And I think that will be it. Yeah. Well, right. my stream went five and a half yesterday, so. 
Well, that's true. So, like I said, if I do at least five, I'm covering myself, Jim. <laughs> we did a long time the other day. All right, night, guys. Good night. Night. Bye, Gorilla. Sleep Love well, you. Buddy. Sleep well, buddy. Thank you for coming, sir. Be good. And four. Thank goodness he's gone. Uh, girl is such a cool guy. <laughs> I'm glad we had him on. I and 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 uh, if if uh, Sci-Fi Sit Dan is watching this, I totally apologize, Dan. Uh, if I had to let you go so I could let Gorilla on, and I tried to get you back on because I know LDG was busy and I and uh, but you know I didn't want to just go kick LDG off. I couldn't just do that because I know he wanted to say something and he well, did. Before he left. So, but I, I'm just like I said, Dan. You're going to be permanently on the next time, I promise. This this was just, like I said, this was a celebration of all of you. And whoever I could fit on here, the top six, that was it. So, oh, geez. Uh -oh. Okay. we just lost Looks Jay. Fun. Oops. Yeah. We just lost Jay. Uh, down, down to three, oh, no. Jay, Jay, come back. I hope you can make it back, Brother Jay. Come on back. Uh, Good night, Gorilla, Lemon Pie says. Yeah. Thank you, Lemon. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Uh, yeah. Boy. If I do hit 4,000 next week, I'm going to do Streamlabs so I can get 12 people back on my channel. Or, uh, Thank on you. Screen. That'd be great, but just make sure you have one or two of us that's like controlling uh, who's saying stuff, because otherwise it's like, it'll be a massive hysteria, man. Yeah. Hey, I've been on StreamYard since 20, oh, well, not on StreamYard, but on, on, on YouTube since 2008. So have I. Yeah, I got a I've lot of two channels. I have two channels through since 2008. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one is inactive, yeah, but I mean, the other yeah. one has yeah. been in place now since 2016. So, you know, but you did help me out, and I really appreciate that, right. that, that I was able that you helped me so I could get Dan at least his uh. You know, to get a because I did want him to have a wrench. He's he helped me out so much when Jay, uh, you know, had other things that he had to do, and Dan was kind enough to just come on up. He didn't have to. He could have just stayed in the chat if he wanted, but he wanted to come and help me out best he could. He didn't know much of the subject matter, but that didn't matter to me. Right. The fact was, he made the effort and he came up, and I was very happy that he helped me out. I mean, last Friday, uh, Jay knows. Uh, we had brand new specs, we had Omnicast, we had a whole bunch of people that came uh, because I know because Jay was, uh, you know, sidelined. Something was, you know, he was doing other things. So I understood. And I was like, great, man. We oh. just had, and then he eventually came. And I was so happy because Jay finally came. And I said, don't worry, Jay. Everybody else took over for you before you showed up, you know, and we were covered. And then when you came, and enhanced it, made it an even better, you know, stream. So, yeah, Jay does that. He enhance brother Jay does that. He enhances streams, and he he knows better than I do. When I had the crappy computer, he was the one, and you remember Jim. He was the one that took over and helped my stream, no, being no, the host of it. Yep. Took over when I was starting to drop out and things were going wrong. He was there to help, and I mean. That's, you know, I can't thank Jay enough for that, you know, to be there for me. I can't. I well, mean, just, I, like, I, just like I dropped off yesterday, remember? Yeah. And I helped oh, you. You, you, uh, you and Matt was ratchet drawing like crazy there for a while. And took, I had to reboot the darn computer and everything. Let's get back on again. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I made sure, too, like, like the yeah. very first time yeah. that I was yeah. able to start giving out wrenches when I learned how. No. <laughs> Way back when, uh, Jay was well. Lemon was the first. And I gave him the managing moderator because I wanted him to take over. And then uh, with Jay, I wanted to make sure he had a wrench because he's our brother and he was helping us get the, you know, he was kicking me in the arse and getting me to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to get this channel going. And Suzanne, of course, has always been there for me since day one. She is my wife. She is my life, and she is my soulmate. So. You know, I can't thank my wife enough because I love her so much, you know, and yep. unconditionally, she's beautiful. So, <laughs> as I've always said, um, I'm having trouble again with connection. Okay, Jay, just Aww. do the best you can, brother. We're going to be, you know what? We're going to be here for one more hour. Okay, one. So, 
We're here at least for five. So if you can get in here before then, before the, we reach the fifth hour and top part of that, that'd be great. Yeah, I know YouTube can be a problem, Pleasant Valley. I totally agree with you. Yeah, I, oh. I, I don't know how many times YouTube can just mess people up, right? It's just like it happens. Well, I want to I wanna throw... I, 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 um, okay, I don't want to offend anybody, but I want to float a theory. Okay, let me just flo float a oh, theory. Oh, no. Oh, stop. <laughs> red alert, red alert. Uh, you don't have your red alert working. Ha, ha, ha. I can send it okay. if you want it. Is that, is that, <laughs> is, 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 I'm guessing okay, that, that's, that, no, I'm guessing but that that's, a, that's a wavy alert, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a wavy alert. Okay. Wavy no, alert. let me throw it. No, oh, let me. Oh. No, jeez. Oh, come on. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let me float this theory. All right. So, uh, Suzanne and I were talking about this. Uh, when we were, okay, when we were having the problems and I was a terrible computer or everything else, like I said, there were several people that were very compassionate. They understood my problem and they still allowed me to be a part of a chat. Well, well not chat, I mean panel. What You know what I mean. Anyway, yeah. the theory floated that if there were people that only had certain persons they wanted to be as part of a panel, and if they knew that I was going to have problems and they couldn't keep, they couldn't maintain me on there, then they didn't want me there. They didn't want me in the panel. So I floated it around and I said, you know what? Now that I have a working computer, thank God, I just tapped on my desk again. And uh, that I, you know, and that my wife was so blessed to give me such a great one. I mean, this is a great computer and I love it. And it's able to maintain. I've never been booted. Nothing's happened yet but i'm you know i don't want to jinx myself but the fact is is that those persons that weren't nice to me that didn't want me to be a part of their panel despite the fact that i was having problems but some of them were rarely gracious and others were not and i know both you guys were very gracious and gorilla was too and i, I could name several but i'm just gonna keep it down here to a small few anyway the point I'm trying to make is, is that uh, those persons that didn't help me, they're having problems now. And one of them is a mutual friend of ours. Pop, pop. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'd just like to say, Mikey, I, I don't think it was personal against you. I think it was because your microphone was, I mean, I have to agree. Your microphone was horrible for a while. It was time. terrible. It yes, was horrible. it was an SOB. It was an SOAB, and, is what Gorilla would call. Uh, yeah, it was a computer. It needed to die. It needed to go away. I totally understood. Brother Jay was willing to help us, you know, from where he lives. He was willing so, to help us financially to get yeah. us a brand new computer and to do all he could to help us to, to reach that goal. And yes. luckily, as yeah. I told Gorilla, or, or no, I'm sorry. Luckily, as I told Brother Jay, uh, I said to him, look, brother, I, I totally I, I totally trust you. I know you would send us funds, and I appreciate it, but I think we can find a way to find an affordable computer or something that will work. And like I said to Suzanne, I said, you know, uh, she was searching around. She was shopping, and uh, we work with Easy Home as a company that's you know, from here in Canada uh, that helps with a lot of accessories and things that people need at an affordable price. And yes, you make payments, but it's affordable. And luckily for us, she found us a, a one, like I said, she found this uh, Acer Aspire uh, brand new computer, 2024. And without saying how much, you know, because I don't want to reveal too much privacy, but suffice it to say, we found an affordable way, an affordable amount for payments, and we're going to be fine. I mean, it's going to be less than two years. That's well, how long it would take us to pay it off. So, yeah, that's my contract. I just actually, I just actually got a contract in, in April in my own name because my mother had died like seven years ago. And I know I just, you told me. Yeah. I just kept paying the bills for seven years, and then I thought <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I, I had an old modem, and I started losing internet for sometimes for a whole day. 
And I talked to the guy, and he's like, well, that modem is so old. Yeah. He, he told me 80% of my calls are about people that have no internet internet because of that modem. Huh. I was like, okay, right. it's time to upgrade. So I got everything <laughs> upgraded. Everything's good now. I got the new modem. I'm happy right. as a clam. But you had, a, you a, had an earlier in my, yeah, I'm sorry. my name too, right, Gert? Right, I know I didn't mean to interrupt, but I was saying you did have an earlier, you told me a horror story, right, about an earlier dial-up modem you had that was just, uh, yeah, not good. So, I, oh, sorry, baby. Yeah, yeah, well, you, go. you want me to ever go into horror stories? I got horror stories about my lifetime. I could, Stephen King would write a short, short novel about that, but I'm well, not. Well, I did, I did that. tell you that uh, my, my wife was blessed to meet Stephen uh, King when she was nine years old, and the uh, he scared the he scared the sheep dip out of her. So <laughs> I'm I'm not it's talking not right, about you know? no. Well, that's 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 unfortunate, but yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, if I went back to I start as a kid and went through my life in the last oh well, let's say my life in the last 60, 60 I right, fuck it. Let's go in the last. Sorry, sorry for the swear. Fragger, <laughs> Fraggle so Rock. I, if you want to say I, the yeah. other one, just say Fraggle Rock. <laughs> yeah, if I went for the last 65 years, um, I could write uh, probably a short story about the horrors I've, I've lived through. You guys would not believe my life, but you know, I'm actually amazed that I, I'm such a jovial, nice person. I'm still sane with all the garbage I've had to go through because I've had to go through a lot of garbage, buddies. But you, 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 PVP. You are a unique individual. Uh, I, I, I first when I first met you, I was immediately attracted to you as a friend because I knew I could talk to you on a level that we both understood and that we could get along very well. And of course, we shared a love of music. We shared a love of uh, old movies, old TV. You know, we we know that after two thousand, everything went to crap. <laughs> so really there's really nothing really new. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing new after 2000. When we had that turn of the century, there's nothing new. Everything just went away. It does, and then now it's all sad. woke. Now yeah. it's a woke thing. So you well, know, it, it seems sad, doesn't it? Because my last major, I mean, I remember super groups, right? And my last super group was the Smashing Pumpkins from like 1989. To 1999, yeah. and he sang a song called 1979. <laughs> and they put out a lot of great music. Really, Corrigan, I, I yeah, guess. great stuff. Yeah, I love Corrigan. Yeah, and and then I, I I after that, you know, I love that decade, but now Corrigan, <laughs> Corrigan's got a new band, and I think there's none of the original members in it, and it doesn't have any of the originals. I've heard it, and it's just terrible. It's crap. I'm not going to say it's I've, crap. I've, I've, I've well, I'm not going to say it's crap, but I'm just saying it's terrible. And well, I'm not. I've, listen, listen. I've listened to a couple of albums, and like I would love to love it because I'm a big Smashing fan. Mm. But sure, it's Smashing just, Pumpkins. It's just great, not but, good. Yeah. It's just not good. You know. I know. And uh, and let's read Akeem's part here. He says, "I'm so happy you found a way to get a new PC. Thank you, Akeem." Uh, he says, "I remember having a laptop that would get so hot, I would have ice packs around it." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that sounds like a Canadian laptop to me. Oh, for <laughs> sure. And then the thing I'm worried about, Akeem, is if when you had those packs, if they started to melt because it was so hot, that water would melt right into your PC, and then you might get short circuited or something would happen to you. So, or you would just blow up the computer, whatever comes first. So. Yeah, yeah I, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Well, you know, it's funny because now that he mentioned that, uh, just a brief thing about my previous POS uh, computer, um, you know, it, it, it got so warm. And I kept wondering, well, why is it so warm? And I realized that it had to be the battery. It must have been just burning up there inside, and I didn't quite understand why. Uh, it, well, well, until later. But, I mean, it was just, you know, I didn't know what was going on, but then I realized some people were telling me, well, look, how old is it? Oh, it's about 18 years old. And everybody would go, well, there you go. It's an older, you know, office 
POS, you know, it's a terrible, you know, it came from HP. It was from HP, Hewlett Packard. So you can tell they're not very good. Uh, you know, a lot of them Ooh, office that's that's after a certain amount of time, you know. So they blame the internet. There was nothing wrong with their internet. They weren't blaming the PC. Right. Not necessarily the PC, like Suzanne said, but they were blaming the internet connection. But then I found out why, because I had viruses on the damn computer. So two of them. And uh they were Trojan viruses, you know, the Trojan horse. So I had to get rid of that. I had to get rid of all of that, you know. Luckily I did, because like I said, Suzanne's giving me a great gift. And you know, she knows every it. computer I got's an HP, so you better watch it, Mikey. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had a two oh, I had a two thousand five HP. That's how old it was. Like I said, eighteen years old. Yeah, oh, my, so. my my com my computer is an HP too. I got it three years ago, but it's like a thousand dollar gaming PC. Yep. Wow. So, so it's a it's a rock and roll machine. This one, I gotta say. Well, there you go, rock and roll machine. This, this, and you got rock, and you got rock and roll, and you got rock and roll playlists, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget, yeah, don't forget that uh, guys that you know Pleasant Valley Picker, also known as PVP to us, uh, wonderful community family members of YouTube, uh, mm. does have some playlists there, which has some great music, including the ones where he says they're three minutes or less. So check it out, please. Even if he has very limited content, those playlists alone is enough to listen to because there's some but, good music. There. By the way, I go. just I just checked last night and I've I had I I've gained two I, I'm up to eighty nine members now from eighty seven. That's like, great! Wow, I can't believe. It. I think it has. Well, people love you, guy. I yeah, think people it's love you. It's a combination of the music and my. My uh, complete charm. <laughs> well, there you go. See, charm. So, you <laughs> charm, know, I'm just, sure. Just saying, guys. <laughs> I love you, though, guys. I love you. Uh, well, I, we love you too, PVP. We really do. And Hakeem uh, does too. I know he does. And he said he had mini fans to blow away the water. Well, that's good, Hakeem. It was a big setup just to go on YouTube. Totally. And he said it was an HP Pavilion TV6. Oh, God. Okay. You know what? If I just said something that offended some uh, HP current owners, I am sorry. Okay? I just hope YouTube doesn't get mad at me and go, well, we run on HP servers. Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> you you liar. That AP cra that HP crap. Yeah, right. <laughs> a great company. Also, Mikey, would you like your, your computer to last a long time? Yeah. There is a, such a thing, and you get them on Amazon or eBay or even Walmart. It's uh, called a cooling fan that is a must for a laptop. It is? Okay. To keep it well, cool. Well, yeah, Suzanne knows it. And she just said that HP is much better than Dell, so. Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. Granted. Yeah, granted. Yeah. Well, like I said, if, if I didn't know until the last minute that I had viruses on there, I'd have to say I probably would still have that thing. But, yeah, yeah. I'm just glad that uh, Suzanne found me a better one. I'm glad, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, That's great. And if we do need that fan, which is Jim is suggesting, we should probably get one. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At least that point. It hasn't yet, Jim, but... Uh, you're right. And we can I, use it for that. I got four laptops, and every single one has a cooling fan. That's what I'm saying. We should get a cooling fan. Yeah, I would. Well, I'm not on enough to. Yeah, but I'm not on enough to. Because uh, don't you have to be on for like a really long nope, time? Nope, 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 nope. No. Okay. You gotta remember your your laptop is sitting on your on your table, right? Yeah, it's on my desk. And you got those little tiny little legs that are like an eighth of an inch long. And there's a fan under, you know, inside of that computer. Yeah. The air can't escape fast enough. So the cooling fan takes that away from it. It takes the heat away from the laptop. It doesn't matter if you're on for one minute or a hundred minutes. Okay. It's a month. So is there something I can plug in? That is it, the fan it, that you got to plug into it? It plugs into your USB port. USB port, okay. On your computer. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, Susan and I know where that is. So, yeah, right. sure. Yeah. Right. And how much is it usually at Walmart? They range from 15 to 50 bucks. It all depends what you want. I mean, you can get one. It's got flashy lights on it if you want it. I, I got one of those. I think I paid uh, probably $15 yes. for yeah. that one. Yes, that one. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah, Suzanne is uh, actually, you know, Here's everything. So, yeah, she's hearing you, Jim. Mm -hmm. she, she understands. Well, we're only a couple of feet away. It, this place is like <laughs> I know. It's not like we're at a warehouse. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> Get that frying feet. pan and hit them. Feet. Yeah. <laughs> I was kidding. No, she hears everything. I know. That's she good. supports us and everything. So, yeah, she'll, she'll get me a fan. She will. Don't worry. We'll yeah, be okay. I, yeah, I learned the hard way because the first the first uh, laptop I had, it was only six months old and it got burned up because of the heat. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. We'll, uh, well, we, and we've got everything under warranty yep. and everything. So, yeah, we're covered for now. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a fan for sure. But I appreciate yeah. your, uh, Yes, I appreciate you giving me that advice or giving us that advice. So, yep. Uh, let's see. PVP. Um, have you uh, anything else come about? Any other subjects or topics you want to discuss? We'll be here at least uh, until. Uh, five hour mark and I think that's probably when we're all gonna eventually uh, sign off and go to bed <laughs> at least most of us I don't know about me but I know everybody else is probably tired by that time PVP well, it, it finally quit raining uh, it's still raining for us yeah wait uh, Jim where did you say you're located again <laughs> Walmart, eBay, Amazon, everybody's got those cooling fans. No, I wasn't talking about the cooling fan. I said you're in the same part of the country as, or, you know, Eastern. timing. Time wise, Eastern. time zone. Eastern time. Yeah, you're in the Eastern time. Right. Okay. Yeah, same as us. Yeah. And PVP is actually. Uh, yeah, he's three hours. Yeah, isn't he? He's in uh, British Columbia. So yeah, sorry, I was dozing off there. Uh. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, uh, PVP. I didn't know you were. Um, I didn't know you're dozing. Sorry about that. No, uh, it's it's like after nine here. I'm getting tired. So are you I know. To, are you are you, are you close to doing the end of the stream there? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, we're well. We're um. We're gonna wait. A, yeah, we're gonna wait another about twenty minutes or so to hopefully Jay can come back and uh, mm -hmm. finish us out. You know, uh, before yeah. we're done. But if not, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it at four thirty. You know, four yeah. hours thirty. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm getting pretty. Oh uh, well, I got, um, it's been a yeah. rough week. It's been a really bad week, actually. Yeah. Yeah, now Hakeem was asking about the new X Men reboot. Yes, the X Men ninety seven. Uh, yeah, Hakeem, I've watched it with Miss Moira and uh, Kitty and uh, Miss Raquel SSG twenty two eleven. Uh, I actually like it. I I've liked every episode so far. We've seen the first four. I know five came out, but we haven't seen it yet. Uh, Miss Raquel's going to uh do a watch party. I think next week. On Wednesday, and she's going to have episodes five and six, and we're going to watch them together. Yeah, but I've I've watched the first four episodes of that reboot with her on Disney Plus. Yeah, it's not bad. I think that the CGI um, does a real good job with it, and I think the plot lines are cool. Uh, the fact that you know Professor X is dead, uh, and I think what they're going to I think what they're doing is. Apparently, uh, Logan survived. Uh, I mean, if you saw Hakeem, if you saw the regular Logan movie, supposedly he died, and then all the new mutants, you know, ran off into Canada or whatever. 
But according to the Sex Men reboot, uh, you know, Wolverine's alive and well, and uh, he's still back in, you know, the professor, you know, professor's, uh, you know, school and everything. But now, well, you know, well, they got people like Jubilee and everybody else that's coming around. Uh, about. Like, is, yeah. isn't, isn't Wolverine and uh, Deadpool teaming up in the July movie? They're going to yes in the in the future Deadpool movie, which uh, they did call it originally Deadpool three, but now it's called Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, it's, the, yeah, it's uh, the two of them. Obviously, going for box office, right? Oh, of course. But I mean, but, but, uh, it's not. Uh, well, okay. Um, I will tell, and I hope Akeem has seen the trailer already. I seen, we've seen the trailer. I've seen some um, of it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, did you see some of it? What about I, you, Jim? Did you see any of the one, Deadpool Wolverine trailer? Time. Yeah. Well, what do you think of it, PvP, for what you saw of the trailer? Um, I had mixed feelings. I, I don't even remember that well. Actually, I, I thought the trailer was. Just not that memorable, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I know Suzanne and I liked it. Um, Jim, did you ever get to see the trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine? Or initially it was titled Deadpool 3, but then they retitled it. I just hope that. I hope yeah, that. did you ever see that in the theater, the uh, Deadpool and Wolverine trailer? Or maybe you looked at it online? I don't play games. No, it's not a not. It's not no, a game. It's a trailer. It's a, it's a, it's a trailer song. from. It's a trailer from the Marvel uh, universe. No, Deadpool. I don't have any. I, I don't have a TV or anything. I just have the internet. That's all I got. No, okay, no, well, that's what I said. You look at the trailer on the internet on oh, YouTube. Yeah, okay. we're, There's we're a talking, trailer there. We're talking about the film that's coming out in the theaters in July. Gotcha. It's coming out in July. Yeah. So. I'm broke anyhow. <laughs> I've got, I'm, you know, as much I, I've got some backlash from people in the community yeah. when I've said I'm going to oh, keep an open mind, and I'm I'm going, I'm going in July. I'll spend my fifteen dollar ticket and go and see it because fifty dollar ticket. You think the tickets are going to be that expensive? <laughs> well, that's about that's about average here for, in Canada. Oh my Don't gosh, forget, British you know, Columbia. Yeah. Well, no, for us, it's we get senior discount. You should be able to get senior discount PVP oh, if you go well, to the theater. Yeah, if I go the right day, I might. But Well, yeah. go to Cineplex Odeon and purchase a senior ticket, and you'll get a really good price. That's, what's, uh, that's what, you, you know, Suzanne and I do. You know, we're both qualified, and we get a nice price when we buy our own mm -hmm. ticket on senior discount. I'll have to check it out online, but uh, and you know, and then don't forget, get yourself a scene card. You know, the scene card, the black oh, one that you can shit. use I, to I make purchases and accumulate that. points. Yeah, do that one too. Matt Arnold, okay. Uh, Matt Arnold's leaving, so good night, Matt. Uh, hope I caught uh, you uh, before you left. Totally. Uh, good night, everyone. He says, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, game says night, Matt, and uh, of course, night, Matt Arnold from Jim. And uh, Keem did mention again about X-Men 97 Reboot. He says, that's cool. I like it too. But it did ca caught me off guard when they started with Professor X being dead. Yes, sir, it did. But I, I you know, same thing. And I was like, uh, well, according to what I remember from, like I said, from the Logan movie, and I'm assuming you've seen that already, right, PVP? The I Logan movie was just called I, Logan? I, I actually have not. Oh. Okay, well, we'll many, I'm going to spoil many, it. many films I have not seen. I'm That's like, okay. I, I won't, I, I, I won't try to spoil I'm, it for you. I'm like, yeah, I won't try to I'm like, it. I'm like Jill. There's like a thousand movies we haven't seen yet, so yeah. Oh, okay. Well, at least he introduced her to the Avengers TV series with Diana Rigg and uh, Patrick McGee. <laughs> and the man from Uncle with David McCallum. And the man from Uncle. Roger David Vaughn. McCallum and uh, Robert Vaughn. Yeah. She loves both of those shows, but we're actually taking a break from Uncle and we're going to finish off uh, uh, Avengers over the next Avengers. Three, three months or so because she wants to get those done. So, When and do you do those again? When do you do those things? Because I would, yeah, when do you do those? Because I would love to join you at least one of those days. Which which one? Which one? 
when do you do the Avengers ones? Oh, we do those every uh, Sunday morning around uh, 10 a.m. my time, which is like, I don't know, 12. One o'clock. That would be one o'clock my time in the afternoon. That'd be perfect. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd love we, to check that out from you guys. Gosh, I'm go, I'm surprised you've never mentioned that because uh, Jill. Well, I I mentioned it to Jill before, but like you know, I said I wanted to come. <laughs> no, I I said to her before. Well, of course, when I had the crappy computer, I said I wanted to come by at least once or twice and be there with you and uh, and her to uh, uh, review the Avengers series because I grew up with it as a kid. I watched all of those: The Prisoner. Avengers, uh, like I said, Man from Uncle, uh, uh, Space Nineteen Ninety Nine, Thunderbirds. I, I mean, I watched all that stuff. There were so many. Great. You know, it's an amazing how. I think it's amazing the sixties and seventies were so rich with great shows and what oh, we they got? absolutely were. Yeah, well, were we not blessed to be, you know, kids and teenagers back then? And what do we... kids have now? Kids have nothing right. Now, right. I I would have to say, yeah, I would have to say succinctly uh, that you, me, Jim, uh, and those what? that are old enough, and Suzanne too, uh, and some of us that are old enough to remember shows like that. That was quality television, bar none. I, I mean, there was well, nothing. There was nothing that could even come close to what we watched. And as, and as time continued and we went into the 80s, of course, like I said, I review 18 because it was freaking awesome. It was my favorite show. I loved it. All 80s. Like, that was it. 18 for me. And before that, I saw, you know, like I said, Greatest American Hero. I review that, too, because it was the same guys that wrote for 18. And I was like, and the same music, you know, Mike Post and everything, Pete Carpenter. I mean... That was quality television back then. I mean, I watched Knight Rider. I watched, all, you know, uh, you know, the, what was the MacGyver? I watched all the, you know, Airwolf, all of this stuff because it was quality television. And then after a while, everything went to crap. <laughs> you know, after a certain point, everything just went whoop. That's it. No more good television. Everything yeah. just died. It was like yeah. in the nineties. There was just a deep dive. Well, it was like music too. The last things I remember enjoying was like grunge rock, right, from Seattle, because Seattle's only like four hours away from me, and you know, yeah. I, I could get in Nirvana and some of those bands, but it's just, well, that, I told that you was, that yeah, was the, okay. last, the last gasp of rock and roll. I mean, I sure. really couldn't care about it that much because I thought, I thought, you know, I thought that was yeah, kind yeah. of great. I thought it was kind of weak, actually. Yeah, well, uh, like I said to you guys before, uh, I ha I had not met in person, but over YouTube, I had met with Chris Cornell, who was the lead for Soundgarden. Then, of course, he went on. Uh, he worked with Temple of the Dog. He worked with Audio Slave. You know, he had all these bands that he had, you know, supervised, and he was a uh, the lead singer. And I had talked to him. And that was my really last link with someone who knew what he was talking about when it came to music, other than, of course, beautiful Suzanne, because uh, she and I share similar interest in music and, and what we like. And Chris was very gracious to me. He was very nice. And we knew I knew him for a little while. And then, of course, he died. And I was like, I lost yeah, him. Yeah, he you know, self-deleted, self didn't he? Yeah. Well... You know the guy that the guy that passed away before him, Chester Bennington, my my sister Bernadette. You know the one I told you that lives with her husband and her son out there in the Long Beach area. They, they watch him go down the street with his dog and everybody else like that, and even the guy from Beastie Boys uh, who died too. And she remembered that. You know he was going down the neighborhood and everything. She would wave to him. He'd wave back. The dog was cool. You know. Uh, got along with the dog they used to own, uh, that Bernadette used to own uh, before he passed. Uh, you know, it's just, it was good times. And then all of a sudden, everybody started to drop dead like flies. And, you know, and then music industry is suffering. You know, we lost Bowie. We lost Cornell. We lost Bennington. We lost uh, George Michael. We lost uh, recently Olivia Newton-John. I mean, everybody's just dropping, you know, gone. And like, now what? 
you know, there's nobody around left. But you know, they can't even hold a candle to any of those previous, uh, you know, singers. I think the older you get, the more heroes you lose, right, Mikey? Like that's Oh, absolutely. Well, uh, even but, now, well, even now, if you look at the Rolling Stones, I mean, look at those four old codgers. Isn't it amazing <laughs> though? The album they put out like six months ago, I think, is amazing. Like. I actually, no, it's a good album. I've heard samples. I've, list, I've listened to the whole album. It is incredibly good. Like, I I can't believe these old codgers are putting out rock and roll that good. Like, I really can't. And the, well, and then, people, yeah, you know, that's the thing. This thing, like, when people sure. say, "Oh, old people, they're useless. Old people, they don't know nothing. No. Old people are like blah 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 blah. Just send them off to the cemetery." And, and, <laughs> you know, my response is like. F you have you ever you know listened to like the it's Rolling you. Stones Lazos album? You know Well, you know who else like, is still on, pouring guys. the blood through it? If you listen old to Rod is, Stewart, old is just a tag, it doesn't mean yeah. nothing. Oh sure. Oh yeah, no, you're right. It doesn't mean a thing. You're absolutely right. Um uh, I'll tell you I'll tell you a cool <laughs> I'll tell you a really cool <laughs> story. I'll tell you a really cool story. Um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jim, That's the way I feel. Uh, get, those, yeah. get those fighting dukes up, yeah. Get those fighting dukes up here, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, well, I told you a, a few years ago, I was blessed to finally see Van Halen play in concert. And I have to tell you, I was so impressed by how talented David Lee Roth was. I mean, the man was just insane, but he's like 60 wow. years plus old. I mean, he's you know, as old as Jim over there, and he's doing freaking leg kicks. He's doing really? leg kicks like the Rockettes do. Yeah, exactly. You like? Are you saying he's through. doing leg kicks like in that jump video? Yes. Wow. At his age. At his age, he is still touring right now. Uh, he was supposed to be doing tours with uh, Sammy Hagar, I think. And uh, yeah, I don't know if he's still doing that, but I swear, I I've watched him on some videos just recently. And he works out, right? He exercises, uh, especially if he's going to do a tour or a concert. And this man is lifting his leg up almost to his head, like Rockettes do, half his age. I remember remember that video. It was like, got to jump, jump, jump. And he, he would lift his head way over his leg. Yeah, way over well, like I said, when I saw him back in 2012, okay, so that's 12 years ago. But I swear but, to you. I was watching him in Phoenix. Uh, oh, let's see. Hold on a sec. Sadly, though, the Saturday. <laughs> it looks like the Freaky got his motor shed. That's like where it is. shall not last long, Freaky. The parade will soon be coming to an end. Mark my words. Oh, oh it's okay. red. How cute. You're so happy that the faster pack has been ordered for the Ferengi. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> I have no freaking idea what I just saw there. Oh, that's that's one of that's one of uh, uh, Jim's uh, villains. Villains, uh, a oh fan film he has, uh, and that's one of his villains. I villains. said uh, that's that's I, definitely yeah. cool nightmare fuel. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to take it off. Do you want me to put it back, Jim? I could. I'm guessing... I was going to tell you what's going on before you put it up. Okay, I'm, go ahead. I'm go guessing ahead. you you didn't see Eddie Van Halen in that tour, though, right? I yeah, Eddie Van. Well, I told you when I saw. You must have David, been near death by that point. Uh you know what? I I I was pleasantly happily deaf because. Eddie Van Halen in that concert no, no, gave a 15 I'm, minute I'm, I'm, set. I'm thinking Eddie would have been near dead, right? Like what I'm saying. No, no, he wasn't near dead. He looked perfectly fine back then. But he, 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 he didn't died, look dead not, later, not, but yeah, no, I mean, he was fine. He died yeah. like pretty shortly after that, did he not? Like, a little bit, yeah, a few years after. But no, he looked fine. He looked fine on stage. Oh, I was man, just going to so say bad. he did a 15 minute set for the ages. So, I mean, oh, you shit. know, whatever. I'm yeah. very, ha I'm so happy for you. Like, oh man, I never got to see them. And if I could, well, this is my, uh, this is my uh, golden uh, Van Halen. 
Eddie at his peak, David Lee Roth at his peak with his yeah. swagger. Like I'd say like maybe the nineteen eighty four tour. Like yes. that I love that album so much. If I could have seen them then I I would have been like, oh that would have been yeah, that would have been so cool. Well, uh, their 2012 was called an inconvenient truth, and they had the big, <laughs> they had their big huge train there on the front of the album. I owned it, but then the, you know, I sell it so I you know for charity been, yeah. and whatever. I but, gone, yeah. yeah, yeah, I went to the concert. It was fun, uh, and and you know it was ironic. Like I said, is that uh, Cool in the Game opened for them. <laughs> Cool it was gang. back in the day when, yeah, it was back in the day when Van Halen was just starting out. I think it was like 1979, 1980 or something. And they were the opening act for Cool in the Gang. But now, when I went to this 2012 concert, Cool in the Gang only had two people left from the original band. And they were the brothers that played guitars. There's no singer. The singer is totally new. Uh, the drummer's totally new. I mean, there, there was nobody else that was... Uh, old timer you know it was just the two uh brothers just the just the uh guitar guys so yeah i just yeah. let's see okay night matt yep night matt arnold night, hails night, jim night, hail, hail, okay hail. that happened yeah at your time right <laughs> so <laughs> that happened what? uh hey, i'll tell guys. you what guys yeah i'm sorry pvp go ahead I was just gonna say, well, I guess we're getting down to the end of the stream here, but yeah, uh, we're getting to the nitty gritty. So, uh, if you don't mind, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, start wrapping up, Jim. Sure. Uh, yeah, hold on, Jim. Let's see. <laughs> hold on, just a second here. Uh, that, hold on. Did I hear somebody Ooh. sawing sawing wood there? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> The layout. There we go. All right. So, Admiral Duke Shepard, also known as Jim's Landscape LLC, number one Commodore Productions. Sir, what have you got coming up? Oh, well, we got Repair 4 coming up, which is almost done. Waiting on a few more Acura Center stuff in. That should be released uh, first week of April. Trailer okay. will be be, re, be released uh, 20, 28th, 29th, the last Monday of, uh, of this month. And you got uh, Repair 5 coming out the following month. Then we got okay. uh, a few more videos to get made and put out. That's going to take a little time, especially me mowing grass full time. is going to take a little bit longer. Okay, oh, but you're saying, yeah, but you're saying that repair four is going to come towards the end of this month. Yeah, I know you'll let me know when that comes out because I would love to hear my voice on there. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be the first week of of uh, of May. A first week of May. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's something to definitely look forward to. So, uh, when we do our Friday, our next Friday stream, uh, yeah, what I could do is, uh, you know, copy the uh, link. And then bring it to the chat, and I can play it for everybody so that, you know, they all get a chance to look at it if they don't look at it before that time. Well, and Lemon, thank, uh, thank you very much, sir. Yes, Lemon posted that. Yes, that's cool. Uh, thank you, Lemon. Yeah, got my link down there. Click that link. Keep following Counter Productions because you never know what, what you're going to see next. All right. Anything else for you then, Jim? That's it. It's time to go to that's bed. That's time to go to bed. Okay. All right. Let's get to PVP here. And let's see. Let's figure this out. There we go. PVP, tell us what you got uh, posted as far as your playlist. Go ahead. Mm, well, I just posted a. Finally, I got one posted last night because nobody was doing it. Well, I thought there was you know, cringe stock, but girl, I couldn't do it. So. I got bored and I just thought, oh, I'm just going <laughs> to music playlist, which I actually finally got one. I've been having some trouble, so I used to be able to see all my playlists on the left side of my channel, but they've disappeared. So, YouTube, Why did they disappear? What happened? YouTube has some, done some weird shit, I, I'm guessing, right? So yeah. anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. I, 
I did manage to work around uh, to do it. So sure. But yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Though, to be honest. Well, so, well anyway. and, and uh, yeah. Oh, okay, anyway, there we go. I, I managed to get one one uh, new live stream playlist up yesterday night, and uh, <laughs> nothing much. Well, now let me play. Yeah, now you'll be pleas pl uh, pleased, sorry, PvP, to know Lemon Pie has got you already taken care of in advance. Here's Sif Dan's channel, everyone, the four people that are still watching us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it, and we can't thank you enough uh, for being a part of this uh, chat and being able to watch us and uh, have some fun celebrating our one-year anniversary with streaming. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Uh, Gorilla's Random Thoughts. Uh, Lemon Pie's got his link there, so make sure you check out Gorilla. He does uh, the Lost in Space on Tuesdays with Pop Culture Curator. He does uh, also uh, Gilligan's Island, so check that out. He also does with PVP here, our wonderful guy here in the panel, and Resolute Germ. They do the Waltons, which is they do a review every Friday, so check that out because it's a lot of fun. And don't forget, he also does Cringe Stock. He'll come up with some crazy ass, uh, there, I said it, crazy ass movies that would get somebody to cringe and start to panic. So, but we're trying, but now we know what we want to get for, for uh, Gorilla, PvP and I, and of course, I think Jim too, we want to get him to see 2001 the Space Odyssey, which is a Stanley Kubrick classic. It's a masterpiece, and I want him to see it in its entirety, whether he's drunk stoned or whatever goes on. <laughs> so, super troopers, yeah. super troopers. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> exactly. Uh, super, super troopers. And then um, here is uh, the last one. Lemon Pie's got eggnog music playlist, and that's for PvP. That's his website there on YouTube. So if you guys are interested, especially, and I will say this again, he has a playlist of music that he's got down to a science from three minutes or less. So if you guys check out that playlist, download the entire playlist as a part of a library for your stream, and I guarantee you won't be disappointed. It's a really good playlist. It really is. So so that's that's giving you guys the uh, promotional punch you need to get keep going. <laughs> I'm 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 overwhelmed. Well, we love you and that's why we do it. That's why we're well, here. I love you guys too, but I gotta I gotta admit it's it's all it's twenty to ten here and I'm actually getting really tired. Like I Okay. Think well, yeah, we're we're just about done PvP. I'm just gonna go quickly and uh well first of all I wanna thank uh Admiral Duke Shepherd, Jim from Jim's Landscape, number one LLC, Commodore Productions. Thank you so much, Jim, for coming. Uh, we appreciate your friends, Fecto, Matt Arnold. They both came by today, tonight, uh, to represent and to uh, celebrate our stream. So I appreciate those gentlemen for coming by. Uh, Sir Lemon Pie, he is an awesome moderator. We did make him managing moderator. So he is number one when it comes to the moderator wrenches that we have in the chat. So you may have, you may not have a lot of power, but he's got some. So, uh, you know, but you know what? What's great is that everybody I have in chats are very respectful of him. So we respect him. And I know he respects everyone for being civil and for being discreet and not being crazy. So, <laughs> you know, uh, Edge of Time. Thank you, Edge of Time, for coming. Uh, Mr. Hakeem. It's always a pleasure, and it's always wonderful to see you in, in the chat. And uh, like we said, also Matt Arnold. And let's see here. Of course, PvP. And, of course, Jim. And, of course, my brother, Jay Aldridge. Um, he'll, hopefully, he'll be with us tomorrow at Jip. Uh, yep, yeah, today, I should say later. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 o'clock Central, uh, 6 o'clock in the... Uh, Pacific time zone. Uh, we should be there with Jet Nerdy, with uh, Brandy Specs, who was also here tonight to celebrate. Thank you, Jeff, for coming by. And uh, let's see. We just got a comment here. Oh, there we go. 
Okay. And uh, Jim's playlist, my playlist, season one, Commodore Productions. Yeah. So uh, Lemon Pie did that for you, Jim. And let's see. Uh, let's keep going here, try to get everybody. So That's my playlist, go. season one. Yeah, season one he had for you. So we have it. one up there for you. We'll leave it up for a few minutes and I can get to everybody else here. Uh, yeah, we had LD. Yeah, I'll highlight Lemon because we had LDG joined us. He does the uh, free the net, all one word, or three words put into one, free the net dot org, backwards slash and underground. And so if you go there, it's a safe place, a safe haven. Jim also has a similar chat. So if you join his private chat, he has a private room, stream room, uh, stream yard room also. Um, and you're invited if you want to come and uh, he can send you the link and then you guys, we'd be able to talk about just about anything, really. So we also had pleasantly uh, that joined us earlier in the panel, Sci-Fi Sif Dan. That's his channel. And if you guys go there, he's got a lot of great content about Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, anything sci-fi. I mean, he's he's very knowledgeable young man. Uh, a little camera shy, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else do we got? Let's see here. Oh, uh, we had Lady V Elements. Lady V, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we always appreciate you being here and uh, supporting our channel and uh, supporting us. And, uh, you know, we love, we love you gals for what you do for us. On the panel tonight, we had uh, uh, wonderful Moira Kitty. We also had Raquel, SSG, 2211. Both wonderful people. Oh, we just lost PVP because he was probably tired. That's okay. He's got to yeah. do the chat that he can't hang on. He's got to go to sleep. Yeah, I know. And that's okay because I know he's tired. Um, but we miss you, PvP, and thanks. We do appreciate you being a part of the of the panel tonight, the esteemed panel that we had tonight. There is Fecto, Barnes, Lawn, and Tree. Yes, Fecto, thank you for coming. Yeah. I was trying to remember that you had come in also, so thank you. I appreciate that. And good night, PvP. I just saw him in the uh, in the private chat that he said good night. So yes, thank you. Um, good night, sir. Okay, and then uh, we had Gorilla's Random Thoughts was in our panel tonight. Gorilla, thank you so much for coming, sir. Always appreciated. Uh, let's see. Still going through the, yeah. We had a lot of chat people tonight. There's Brad Wolf. Brad Wolf 07. He's got some good content, and you also see him on Jet Nerdy on Saturday nights, and sometimes on the A Question of Trek on Sunday morning. So Brad is one of our best supporters. Uh, and I appreciate him coming tonight. There's Raquel, SSG 2211. Thank you, Raquel. Uh, let's see. There's LDG Free the Net. And let's see. Oh, yeah. We had, for one brief moment, we had our friend that came from New Zealand, Stephen Mulvey. Yeah, he says, I'm really sorry. I have to say hi and bye. Yep. Yeah, and uh, that's okay. I knew your nephew was having a birthday party. I knew that. But I appreciate you making that one appearance tonight. It's very much appreciated, Stephen. And I love you. You know that. You're my, you're a brother of mine. So from far away. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, we also had uh, Sashi. Hi, Sashi. Yes, we had her tonight. Like I said, we had Miss Moira Kitty as well. I repeated her name twice. But she don't mind. She knows. She knows how much we love her. Uh, let's see here. Yep, we did sci-fi sift in. There, there's Spicy Beach. Spicy Beach. Thank you so much, lady, for coming in. We appreciate you. Also, we had my uh, buddy, my brother from Bay Area, Kevin, also known as Trusty Ape. He came in uh, into the chat to uh, support us today. Thank you. And we had Booger414 and his lovely wife coming to support us tonight. So thank you both. We really do appreciate you guys. I do. And uh, let's see. There was one more I know. Right. There's Moira Kitty. Thank you, Moira. Meow. Uh, that's, yeah, meow. Right. Uh, 
I know there's... Oh, yep, there we go. Gaming with Silver Wolf. Yes, Silver, thank you. If you've been still watching Silver after all this time, I applaud you. <laughs> I, I salute you. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Gaming, uh, uh, Silver Wolf. Thank you, Silver. I, I love that you came and uh, supported us tonight. So I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, we did Lady V Elements. I think we got everybody. What do you think, Jim? I think we got everybody. I'm surprised Lemon still has enough juice down there to keep posting links. I thought he got squeezed pretty good earlier. Oh, well, he got squeezed by a lot of girls. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not Suzanne. Nope, nope, nope. Suzanne didn't touch Lemon. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Lemon's respectful of my wife. He he knows better. <laughs> he <Yep>. knows better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. We we got everybody, I believe. <sighs> Let's see here. Let's go down to the bottom. See where he's still streaming. Oh, there we go. Uh let's see. Hold on a sec. Hold on a second there. There we go. Okay. Eggnog playlist. There we go. Okay, I gotta give me one minute. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Just give me a minute. I got a quick emergency. I'll be right. Oh, he must gotta go pee pee. <laughs> yeah. Attempted. But failed. Yeah, failed, huh? Yeah, I guess she didn't uh, get in there too good, huh? That, on that squeezing effect there. Got to get a bigger hand to squeeze those, those lemons, huh? <laughs> Anybody want to be an, uh, you know, if you ever want to be an actor on a Star Trek fan film, hey, Cut me a line, you know, message, Facebook, Twitter. Links are in my videos. You don't have to be a professional. You don't have to have uh, green screens or anything like that, but you need to have your own Star Trek shirt. Could be a red shirt or blue shirt. Could be a gold shirt if you want to be a captain, but I got enough captains. I'm looking for engineers, uh, science officers, communications officer stuff like that so hey if you ever want to be in the fan film hey why not right all you gotta do is pop over on my private chat watch a video you make your own notes and everything you which you make your own lines up and say it to the camera send it to me i do the editing put a background in throw it on the fan film and boom you're out there in youtube land and everybody can see you there you go. That is Jim. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Who is that? I can't see your name. Well, don't blame me. I'm just a guest here. Uh, Mikey had a run. So he, he didn't take that name down right there, that that chat there. So yeah, you can't see you can't see no name. He probably had to go take a long leak. Don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> My puppies are all asleep. I'm almost falling asleep myself. He's lucky I'm still up here. My chat yesterday was five and a half hours. He's going to well, we almost under five yes, hours. Wow. I'm back. <laughs> we almost reach it now. We're well, yeah, we're just we're, we're stop at the top of the hour, right at five. So, yeah, we're we're about there. Yes, thank you for um, thank you for covering for me <laughs> there, uh, Jim. I, I pre highly appreciate it because uh, it was a, a major emergency. And uh, yes, <laughs> you were right. I had to do the pee thing. He and, was uh, leaking on the way to the job. No, it wasn't leaking. I made it. I made it. I was like, I covered myself. So, yes, I'm, I'm okay. It's a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I did the playlist. Okay. But, yeah. yes, no, I promote. I do like to promote others' channels. And, Jim, uh, thank you for uh, giving information uh, to others that if they're interested in becoming yeah. part of Commodore Productions, do it. Yeah, contact them. Send it through Twitter. Send it uh, X. Well, whatever they call it. 
Okay. Send, send messages. Commodore Productions is on there in X. So send yep. the messages there. Uh, Jim's Landscape also has his own channel on Facebook. So go to Facebook and also send him info there. And if you want to check out his Commodore Productions channel here on YouTube, go there as well. But either way, go to either of those three locations and contact him directly so that you can let him know that you're interested and then he can get you set up with the, uh, you know, with the uh, fan films that he does, which is, uh, they're impressive. And I've laughed at a few because they're funny. I think they're comedic and I like them. But, uh, you know. And I know there's a few that are serious, but I mean they're uh, they're overall they're all good. So absolutely, I I didn't mind you promoting there, Jim. That was that yep. was perfect. That was perfect. Uh, yeah, night everyone, Hakeem. This was a great stream, Mikey. Thank you, Hakeem. Good night, Hakeem. Lemon Pie said. Uh, there is LDG. Okay, so Lemon Pie is going to start doing these uh, promotions. That's great. So we have. Um, Let's see here. Boy, I, I'm way behind. Okay. So Lemon Pie has uh, pr uh, promoted LDG's channel. Uh, PVP is too tired to hang on, need to sleep. Yes, sir. And we miss you. Lemon, you're awesome. Just don't turn into Lemon Grab from Adventure yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. Unless we watched Adventure Time, Akeem, then we wouldn't know what you're saying. Akeem, I'm not familiar, but doesn't sound like a pussy character. No, it's not. It's not. Um, dude, you have to YouTube lemon grab unacceptable. <laughs> Sorry in advance. Had no problem. There's Raquel SSG 2211's channel from Lemon Pie. Please go there to see and promote her channel. Moira Kitty, there is her channel. There is Silver Wolf from Lemon Pie. Thank you, Lemon Pie, for uh, attaching their gaming with Silver Wolf's channel. Uh, she's a very sweet lady. Please go there and and Moira hugged me. Aw. Lady V attempted squeezes. <laughs> attempted. Clearly failed. <laughs> Darn it. Hi, Lady V. I'm glad you're still here, babe. Uh, lemon juice burns. <laughs> yes, it does. It's acidic. What do you think? <laughs> Lady V. <laughs> um, oh, LOL. Who's that? I can't see your name. I don't know. Uh, that is Jim. That's Jim. That's one of his avatars. Yeah, you had your uh, I just like you got up here covering our names up. Oh, I'm sorry. Since you had to run and leak to the bathroom. Yeah, I had to run. I, it, it was an emergency. <laughs> it, was, it was all. It was almost cataclysmic. I won't go much further than say that. <laughs> okay, uh, but I made it. <laughs> Lady V elements. Okay, my brainy brain and at the bone and so we. Yep, I understand. Lol. <laughs> Mikey! Yes, I'm back. <laughs> yep, Jim called you a tyrant when you left, Mikey. No, I wasn't a tyrant. I, I heard everything from my bathroom. No, he never called me that. Brain is brain. Funny, what I'm is brain? Brain, brain, what is brain? <laughs> mm. Just kidding. I know you were kidding, Lemon. Brain, brain, what is brain? See? <laughs> PB just did that. Yeah. Oh, PvP. I didn't see him on X. Um, Commodore, do you want to, uh, Jim, do you want to tell Lady V uh, what your channel's named at uh, there on X on Twitter? Commodore169. Like I said, if you watch my videos in the description, it's all there. It's all there for you, Lady V. So yeah, Commodore I in every video. Yeah, it's at, yeah, it, well, oh. it's at Commodore 169, but I know where he is. Commodore 169 on X. Yeah, as long as you follow me, Lady V, you'll be able to follow him. <laughs> we go there all the time. Yeah, Brian is a fun name. I air what brain often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't type. It's okay, PVP. Bye. <laughs> okay, PVP. Take care, PVP. Get some sleep. Yeah, Mikey, congrats again for how far you have come. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Lemon. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm not mad at you, V. Aw. You know, you are such a gentleman, Lemon. You really are. The banners, yeah. Good. Thank you, Lemon. Okay. That will quirk. That will quirk or that will work? <laughs> quirk to work. 
Yeah, I think she was saying that'll work. You know, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, yeah. so yeah. it's yeah. on every video that I put out. If you look in the description, it's got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, I do. I I try to check out your videos as much as possible so I can uh, enjoy myself and have some fun and watch them because they're very creative. I mean, you're such a great uh, editor and able to put a, put together some good film stuff there, Jim. Well. So. If you get the playlist and you got nothing to do all afternoon, just sit there, or you can do some work and just listen. You can let the playlist go. There's about 16 videos out there on season well, one. Well, as I told you, you have just the one playlist. Is that correct? Right now, yeah, for season one, uh, I have, I do one. have, I do have season two, but we're building the season two stuff. Sure. Well, that's what I was going to recommend, too, is uh, to Lemon and everyone that's still here. Uh, right. When you go to Commodore Productions, uh, just pull it up as Jim's Landscape. If you type in Jim's Landscape, Jim's runs all together. Jim's right. Landscape LLC, it'll pull up his symbol, the one that shows his YouTube channel. And you go there, you go to his playlist, and then what you do is you download the entire playlist to your channel. It's a library, and you download it, and then you just, God bless you, baby girl. And uh, one of our cats just sneezed. <laughs> so, anyway, so you go there, you download his whole playlist, and then you just play it, and it's a library. And it's in chronological order, how you put it out and everything. So, yeah, I mean, that'd be the best way to uh, watch your channel and uh, learn from it. And if some people are interested still, after watching through that season one, sure, you know, then contact you. You know, get your get your name further out there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you put it in one more time, Lemon Pie. Boy, you're a Superman, Lemon. <laughs> thank you so much for putting this out. All right, we're getting close. So let's go ahead and say thank you, everyone, again, that came on the panel, the Steam panel tonight. Uh, Suzanne and I are overwhelmed with the love, the support, the prayers that everybody has been giving us over this past year. Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, you guys were all awesome when you were waiting for me in chat there when I started this evening. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's just, I'm overwhelmed. I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, you guys and gals are just absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm getting a little emotional, sorry. Uh, but uh, here's a couple of, uh, items going on. Um. Uh, uh, first, I do have some bad news and some good news. The bad news is uh, next week, like I said, we do have some personal matters to attend to. We have a couple of uh, one or two meetings we need to attend for our association here in our in our complex, in our apartment complex, So, which are important matters. So uh, we're doing that next week, and we get a free meal out of it. So that's not a bad deal. Um, and then next Friday... There will be no topic time, sorry to say, but it's <laughs> the logical reason is because uh, Suzanne and I will be celebrating our official eighth wedding anniversary because we got married on April 19th, 2016. Uh, so, you know, I mean, plus we're going to be calling some friends and family next week uh, most of the time just to, because my brother-in-law also shares <laughs> that he has a birthday the same, uh, you know, day that we had our wedding anniversary. So, we want to call him, you know, and wish everybody uh, the best and, you know, try to stay in touch with everybody down there in the States, uh, you know, see what's happening. A lot of things have been going on. So a lot of personal matters. So we're just, we're just going to try to, you know, stick close to family and we'll have our uh, anniversary celebration uh, dinner. You know, we'll, we'll have a nice anniversary dinner uh, next week. Uh, so yeah, there'll be no streams. Uh, There'll be no Mikey TV on my, on Monday, uh, nothing on Tuesday, which, you know, I normally do 18 with Jay, but we're going to postpone it till the following week. Um, Wednesday, you know, I do uh, the Greatest American Hero uh, webcam stream, but uh, I'm going to close that down too for just the week, just for next week. And then on Thursday, of course, we did the Shazam Isis Hour, but I'm going to postpone that. And then again, like I said, we don't have topic time. So all next week, it's, it's just, it's going to be, you know, just for, just for the week, uh, we're going to take some time and relax, you know, and enjoy our, our 
anniversary proper next Friday. So, but this was, like I said, this one year anniversary of being on tube wasn't just about me and Suzanne and our kitty cats, uh, Moon Pie and Deja Vu, but it is all about you guys and gals. Everybody that came to support us over the past 12 months that were there for us when terrible computer I had, everything else that went wrong, but you guys were supportive. You wanted us to succeed, and you still want us to succeed. And by the turnout we had tonight, that absolutely proves to me that there are still good people out there in the world that care about other people and want to be there for you, and they want to help you and do what they can to promote your channels, to help you out, and uh, make you successful. And isn't that what Stark, uh, Tony, or Tony Stark of Iron said, and what Deleted Scene said, with when we all come together, we win. And that's how we win. And Stark says, we have to be together in this or nothing will succeed. So, I, you know, it, it's wonderful. And again, I just want to say thank you. You guys are, uh, guys, you guys are simply amazing. I'll finish these out and then we'll go. We'll just go ahead and go. Um, I have you on YouTube at least. Yes, that's true. And that's great. Aw, that's the sweetest. Well, you're very welcome, Lady V. Aww. I, aw. And she says, I'd never married. I wonder if I'd have the patience for it. You never know, Lady V. You may come across the very man that you least expected, and he's going to be there for you unconditionally and forever. <laughs> yeah, just have a frying pan ready. <laughs> That's what Suzanne said. Have a frying pan ready. <laughs> right. Two of them, really three, right and left and on top. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. If, if, <laughs> if one don't work, the other two might. Exactly. Oh, Hakeem, you're so gracious. Thank you. Yes, this is one of the best chats on the tube. It is. And you guys need to come and, and have some fun. And that's what you did. And uh, like I said, we may not have anything going next week. I'm sorry. But uh, the following week, we will. Everything will go back to normal. Everything will go back to schedule. So, uh, you know. At least know that we're just enjoying ourselves for a week and relaxing and uh, give you guys a chance to recover, too, you know, and have some fun out there. LMAO, doubt it. Yeah, right. Uh, but thank you for the confidence. Of course, son. Of course. Okay. So we're caught up in chats. Everything's done. Uh, Jim, again, I bow to you, sir. I bow to you. Thank you so much for being a big part of our, our panel tonight, helping supervise, taking care of everything for us. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you again. Uh, God bless you, sir, uh, for the rest of your week, uh, weekend and week, next week and the month, and uh, continued success on Cardboard Productions. I hate, sir. <laughs> oh. What, what, what? It makes me feel old. Well, you are three years older than me. I'll keep reminding you of that fact. Uh, you, I know you will. <laughs> that's 60 that's before me. <laughs> that's right. I'll be 60 before Suzanne. Ah! No! Uh, stop! Time must stop. More chance. Hey, more chance. Where, 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 where is Professor Brainy Specs the Time Lord when we need him? Damn it. <laughs> I need him right now. <laughs> stop time, please. Uh, yeah, I'm the same, Levin. He says, I'm getting older and set my ways. Not sure anyone could stay in me. <laughs> I understand because you're in Texas. Uh, fun stream. See you all next time. Okay. That's enough now. <laughs> yeah, we got to stop because we're getting way, way long here. Okay, again, so one more time, That's everybody, thank you so much again tonight for coming. This was the, some of the most enjoyable five hours I've ever plus hours I've had. Uh, with you, Jim, with, uh, you know, Brother J, PVP, Sif Dan, uh, Gorilla's Random Thoughts, LDG, Moira, Raquel, everybody we knew saw tonight. Um, thank you guys again. We'll talk again in a week. We'll see you. The next time we'll see you will be Monday, uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, when I'll continue, I'll go back and continue the Mikey mm -hmm. TV uh, show I do. Uh, it'll be Mikey TV episode six. Um, we'll, it will probably just involve letting you guys know what we did last, uh, this next week and, you know, without going into too much detail. That, and I'll promote a, uh, I'll choose a, a Blu ray at random and promote it. 
let you know my thoughts on it and grade and stars. And then, um, then I, I give like about half an hour for people to ask me questions from chat and I just try to answer them as best I can. Uh, that's the webcam. So that'll be the next time. So until Monday, April 22nd, the aisle is officially closed. And have a good night, everyone. Not everybody, but there's a mess on aisle five again. I keep telling you that. There's a what? There's a mess on aisle five. Oh, yeah, there's still a mess in aisle five. <laughs> That's okay. I think Suzanne cleaned that up with her brand new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, well, someone let the dog and bears in. Right. Oh, yeah. Thank you, lady. You go snuggle with the wife. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thank you, Lemon. Right. Okay. Now. Now that the mess in aisle five is cleaned up, <laughs> I'm going to snuggle my pillow. Okay. <laughs> Go yep. ahead, Keith. See you all. Well, now that too. the aisle, uh, uh, now that the mess in aisle five is cleaned up, now the aisle is closed. Yeah, that must be where she passed out. <laughs> Please, uh, good night, everyone. Good Say good night, Jim. Say good night, Jim. Good night, Mikey. Good night, Suzanne. Good night, girls. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. <laughs>